morning, yes, it's me. It's Saturday morning. How are you? I feel like I haven't been here for ages. But what a day to come back to. You know who's in the house, don't you? Yep, yep, she's here. She's here, all smiling and giggling, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, Actually, we have a look at today's menu? Let's have a look at today's menu. Coming up today on Designer Day, we've got Make... Oh, Make with... I would, that would be Make It. Make with Mandy Shaw. Make, she's got another, I've got another of her books here, by the way, it's gorgeous. At nine o'clock, we've got Jennifer with the K Facet Cushion. Uh, that's a kit in kit form, so you can buy the kit for that. Then we've got Jennifer, oh, Make with Mandy Shaw. That's another hour with Mandy Shaw there. Blimey, she's getting paid double today. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got Dressmaking with Jennifer. Now, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. Uh, this is Stone Quarter, if you're new to us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're a very interactive channel here, and uh, there are lots of ways to get in touch, but the best way to get in touch is on our web chat. Now, I need to warn you that it's got limited, it's got limited letters, li limited characters. So sometimes you message, because your messages come through to me on an iPad now. Uh, oh no, on a tablet, on a tablet here. Go to our website, www.sewingacorta.com. Uh, then you'll, you click on watch the show. There we go. And then you'll get a be even bigger, oh no, it might be the menu. Then you scroll down the screen and then you've got the, see the box there, it says message your studio. Now it's producer Haley today, everybody. Oh, she's typing. Hello and good morning from us all. Kiss, kiss, kiss. So it's producer Haley, as you know. Well, she's not producer here. She's more important than that here now. Far more important because Hannah's cycling around Cuba and little Paul's in, still in bed. Um, she's decided to uh, produce the show with us today. Uh, and uh, also, uh, so, so if, you, if you send a message there, that will go straight through to Haley. Keep that one short. Now, if you need a long answer or an answer from our customer service team, don't send there. What you need to do is, I'll come back to the website in a second, but if you want to email in uh, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. They still go straight through to producer Haley. They still will get read, oh no, they can't get sent to my tablet, but she reads those out. But if there's anything that's got a question for the, the customer service team, the customer service team will answer within two days. What Haley does is she forwards it to the customer services team and they will answer you within two days. Won't you, Haley? No reply. Won't you, Haley? Yes, she will. Uh, anyway, now, or if you're going to buy something, right, you can either ring the number 0800 112 4433, or you can go back to the website. Uh, now, you see me there. What will happen is, well, all during the show, you'll see me there and Mandy and Jennifer and everything. See to the left there. Now, obviously, yesterday, they had neutral coloured Gutemann thread bundle there. Uh, what you do is, all as the live pieces come up, they go there and you just click on add to your basket. Then you pop up to your basket. And what you need to do is check out, if you know you want it, check out straight away. Oh, there you go. There's your basket uh, with the threads in it. Check out straight away. Now, each time it will say delivery £2.95. But don't worry about that, because at the end of the night, at 12 o'clock, it's all consolidated. And um, you only pay one post in package of £2.95 for the whole day. Uh, it will be with you in four to six working days. Now, if you also go back to the main uh, there, if you scroll down the page, you will see everything. Now, it'll be empty now because we haven't done anything yet, but you will see everything that appears in today's show. So if you come in later on, you can have a look there and just think, oh, I wanted that. And you can click on it, put it on your basket from there. <gasps> right, I think that's it. One post in packaging. Now, um, I'll ju let's go, let's go over. Am I taking, no, I'm not, I'm to take a book. I normally have to take a book, don't I? So I know, she doesn't come light, she doesn't come with a little bag, does she? In this first hour, we have got uh, uh, the book. We've got this beautiful, I'll take you through all this in a second. We've got a book, we've got a rag doll, we've got that beautiful bag there. And come with me, come with me, because it's not me you want to see, is it? It's old, ma not old, she's not old, she's not old. I'm not old. 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 How are you? I'm um, good, thank you. Um, you've been on your travels again, haven't you? I know, I know. We haven't had time, we've been so busy no. prepping, we haven't had time no. to talk about it. I went to Verona and Venice with Arena Travel. And was it nice? A spectacular, gorgeous group of 18 ladies. Um, hello, ladies. And, um, and we, we stitched and we saw quilts and we, we travelled. We went to Lake Garda. Unbelievable. Oh. A, cl a classy little You have number. such a life, don't I you, really? Do, don't and then you're here on a Saturday morning with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> OK, right. Now, before we start yes. making anything, I'm going to go through the four items yes, that we're yes, doing yes. in this yeah, hour yeah. and then we'll go through it, yes, won't yeah. we? So we're starting off yes. with... Now, what book number is this? Oh, it must be five or six, it, I think. It's a beautiful... Beautiful book. Yeah. It's a beautiful. It, yours won't come with a little yellow. Um, that must be in there for yeah, a reason. For a reason. Yes. Celebrate oh, yes, yeah. with a stitch. Yeah. 
14 so, so it's all about um, you, the birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, babies, all the things you'd celebrate. Oh, do you know what? We should buy one of these for Jay, should we? We were just talking oh, about yes, Jay. Yes. Jay Floor Manager's not here today, so we can't pick on him. It's Munch. If you know me from bars, Munch is here today. But um, Jay's got a new girlfriend. They're talking weddings, yeah. babies. This is perfect for this. Perfect yes, for yes, them, yes. isn't it? We've got classy buntings, unusual buntings, lovely new baby things, little baby shoes, a little baby bag. We'll go, we'll go, I'll go through it all fully with you, don't yeah. worry. I will go through it fully with you. I just want you to have a look at it. £14.95. Now, can we go to a still of the next bag? Because I was meant to bring it over with me and I've made a mistake already. Yes, <laughs> have a look at this still of the bag. There it is, look. Right, now, what is that? What is that bag then? What do you call it? I call it, it a quarter's retreat bag. Um, but of course, it's a crafter's retreat bag or whatever you choose it to be. Right. But it's an overnight bag because you must make sure that you have special days in your life. Right. And you must look out for those cheap hotel deals and you must go with your children or your husband and see our wonderful country. And just a little pair of panties, a little nighty, um, lippy, and off you go. This would have been perfect for me because I've just been to Eaton Hall, you know, the D Duke of Westminster oh, store fashion wow. show there. Went disastrously long. There was no power. We had to go yeah, outside yeah, in yeah. the end, yeah. everything like that. Anyway, uh, we'll show you. We'll show you this in a second. It's thirty-five pounds and ninety-five pence. Yes. Right. The own, one other thing we've got to show you is oh. this beautiful rag doll. So this is Polly, a traditional. I've gone traditional. So we go. So I'm a real doll fan, but I love traditional rag dolls. Yes. And um, she's got lovely hair that children can play with. You can t pull it down, and it's. Very, and it doesn't very just come from the top of the head, does no, it? No, no, no. She can and. Uh, not bungees, what are they called? Um, scrunchies. Scrunchies. <laughs> you can have a bungee. You can have a bungee in your hair if you So look at that. Wouldn't she she oh. can plait it and she can pigtail it. And she comes also, in a kit as well. She's, she, this is the complete kit. Everything you see here with her panties, her leggings and her T-shirt and her pinafore and shoes is this kit. That's a kit coming yeah. up. We're going to yeah. go through all this. Don't worry, we're just showing everything's yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out. Because what's this then? But this is the, her second wardrobe. Oh. So she's got a onesie. A, a onesie. A onesie. Oh, it's got, has it got a pin in it? Oh, it's only for the uh, display. It's for display, yes, I think so. She's got a little onesie. She's got a frock, a proper little frock, a nice Love traditional the fabric. frock. Oh, she's got no panties. That's oh. Right. These things happen. Right, just so you know, you don't get two dolls. The second no. kit, this 1995, is the kit for the dress. And the jacket. Little sheepskin jacket. jacket. Yes. Faux sheepskin, yeah. obviously. Onesie, Onesie. And faux leather shoes. Oh, my word. So these I made out of my husband's uh, T-shirt yesterday. The little socks. Yes, I went in that... his knicker drawer and got some T-shirts out. Yeah. <laughs> that poor... He'll be going this morning to find those socks. When yeah. you go, Where are those socks? Yeah. Right, OK, so let's start in yes. full with the yeah. book. Yes. So we can go through the book. I just wanted you to see everything that we've got yes, in this yes, hour, yes. because lots of people go, oh, what's that, what's that, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's talk about... Now, remember, if you send in a message, if you've got any questions for Mandy, you can just send them in. If you uh, web chat them in, they come up here and we can read them. Yes, oh, right. we could. <laughs> yes. Or not. <laughs> or not, yes. Don't worry, they only no, send the nice yes, ones yes, through. Yes. Uh, so, what, so you were saying this book is about celebrating times Celebrate. in your life. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I know that people think I'm crazy, but every time yes. there's a celebration, I will put bunting up all over the place i will put tablecloths out but you do that not just for celebrations you do that for different times of the year yeah, and everything, because, don't we, you? because you know we're very lucky to have health yes. and well-being and 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 if your families and yeah, invite friends and family and, and celebrate it enjoy them and make an effort lots of people say oh i'm too old or i haven't got grandchildren no make an effort it is makes um, brings a spark to your day exactly oh no yes. I, th I think we yeah. should celebrate every day you're so yeah, right yeah, celebrate do, every yeah. single day and, and what about celebrating with a bit of bunting exactly now i see we've got some bunting up in the studio here, wafting in the air, yes, yeah. air conditioning. Uh, that's a is that in this book, yes, that bunting? Yes, it is, and it's a wedding-style bunting made out of vintage laces and old calico and linens and things. Oh, I thought it was your old wedding dress. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it could be. It could have been a wedding, your mum and dad's wedding dress. Couldn't it cut, <laughs> cut up on your bunting? Uh, I've got a first message. Yeah. Paul from North Yorkshire. Good to see the dynamic duo back together. Good luck, Amy producing. No, Amy's not producing. No. It's Hayley producing Hayley, today. Hayley, Hayley. Yeah. No, no, yes, yeah, hey, good luck, Amy. Oh, it's good not luck. Amy, it's Hayley yeah, today. Yeah. But good luck, Amy, yeah, with us too. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Oh, Janet, look, they're all going to flood through. This is oh, going to be it now. No. So, so glad, John, that you were on with Mandy today. <laughs> Made my day. Lots of love, Janet. They love you, don't right. they? Well, they love us all. They love us all. And they totally love you. They love you. making, and yes. it's great for them to have a TV programme yes. where they can watch making. OK, what's so this that, is, then? This is babies. You have, you've skipped a bit here, darling. Oh, sorry, I was and too overexcited. And this is we're celebrating a baby, a great little, um, a little back back stitch and you can have well, there's an alphabet in the book so I was going to say is there other patterns in this all book patterns in, all full size patterns in the back of the book oh, okay, I'll, okay. Get, I'll get yeah, to that yeah, in a second yeah. so this is all babies and then we've got a little uh, a receiving blanket a little weenie 100% cotton flannel to receive your brand new baby 
I watch one born every minute last oh, night. Oh, no, I, cried I can't watch that. Cried. I can't and, watch that. Bibs, little baby Bibs, personalised. Oh, oh, no, they're not Bibs, they're crowns yes, over they're there. Oh, yes. um, Dribble bibs. Dribble bibs. Uh, what's how many projects snuff. are there? There seems oh, to be hundreds. Uh, hundreds. Baby shoes. Baby shoes. So that's babies. Oh, I like that yeah, one. Oh, you're right. Like, she's had enough with that. Yeah. Wedding. Weddings. Now, why did baby come before wedding? Uh, because it does these days. Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you're born before you have... Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, is that in here? Yes, it's in here. It's for... Um, uh, to re oh, this is a horrible story. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, it's, I thought it would be nice for favours on the table. Yes. One of my students, yes. Deanne, made millions of these for her wed daughter's wedding. At the end of the wedding day, they cleared everything away. Some of these were left on the table. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. That is. Not, they didn't take them. Well, you've got it instead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, wedding bunting. Wedding bunting. So this oh, that's is, that. That's yeah, that, that one up there. This is precious because you're collecting old things and you can make it together. A little a little uh, wedding heart. Do you know what? I've got a feng shui tree, wishing tree in my yeah. sitting room and it's got lots of little hearts on it yeah. and everything. And I've got one of your red work yeah, ones from yeah, last yeah. show. I'll have to, get, I'll have to make yeah. one of these, won't I, for it as well? Not that I'm getting mad. Favors, You're loving the book. Little favours, little favours. So you could put little almonds in there. They're just made out of old vintage handkerchiefs. Oh. Corners folded over, dead easy. Um, They're beautiful. Uh, a button bracelets. Um, oh, yes. The gifts as well, little gifts as well for, for favours. <laughs> oh, that's... A, now, we've, we've done something like this before. Wasn't there something decorated? Last time you were here, there was a cushion, I think, over there. And you oh, yes, buttons. Yes, that's yes. belt buttons as well. Yeah. So we've, we've got the wedding. A uh, ring cushion. A ring oh. cushion, yeah. Oh. Do you know what, J Jay, Jay and what's she called, Danny, are going to love this. Oh, I've got Pauline in Yorkshire and Sarah in Hampshire. Hi! <laughs> oh, it's Paul. It says Pauline oh. on my screen. So now we get on to birthdays. Bertie Cakes love a fabric birthday Can you eat cake. it? You can't eat it. It, makes oh. it keeps you really thin and slim. Oh, look. Are they nice? Love them. Oh, so, oh, 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 one, six. Yeah, and of course we've got these little name tags as well, so all little uh, numbers for your birthday. So 60. 60. Oh. Mm, oh. Let's not talk past, about that one. Birthday, birthday badges, yes, yes, Passover. Yes. And a little, a little embroidery. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, lots of little there. And then we've got party hats. Party hats, every, every party, every celebration. Oh, we have hold hats. the book, hold yes, the book, yes, hold the book. party hats. Now, this is a great idea. Uh, oh, yeah, are you pink? Oh, no. <laughs> You've chosen the pink one. Oh. <laughs> Fancy that. Hang on, what's happened? Do it properly. <laughs> uh, Mary in Hampshire. <laughs> Just had to get the rag doll. Love it. Lots of love, Don't, Mary. Oh, stunning. You won't, won't Don't you be putting that. a pin in the back of my head now. <laughs> the bits of blood dripping on the table. Hey, we have fun We always here. get medical. Have you got your um, forceps with oh, you I've today? Got my forceps. Oh, I've got my forceps. I've got my forceps. Got medical forceps. But what, what I did one Christmas is as when everyone arrived uh, for Christmas, I had a table full of festooned with glue and things, and everyone made their own party hats. Oh, and we still got them. before they were drunk. Uh, before they were drunk, and that soon warmed them up, I tell you. Oh, this so is... Oh, there we great. go, the party hats, that's crowns it. and tiaras. Oh, that's the one over there, that's fine, it's boys. So, it's boys and girls, um, uh, seven more sleeps, a little wall hanging for seven more sleeps. So, you could be a birthday, could be oh, Christmas, holiday. Oh, that's a lovely idea, because yeah. that's a take on, like, the adv advent calendar, Absolutely, counting down yeah, to Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a brilliant idea, yeah. I'd never thought yeah. of that. Oh, that's it's lovely. Really lovely. Uh, I just need to warn you that all the things we've shown you, uh, you can buy them, and they're flying out already. Everything's flying out oh, already. So this is a stunning little quilt, uh, very, very lovely bit for the quilt maker. Okay, let, I just want to go to the pattern. Oh, Christmas, we love Christmas, we love Christmas. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas lampshades, miniature bunting, Few very Christmas miniature bunting. Tree. Oh, I can't wait to come to your house oh, when I get an invite. The quilt, oh, there's the, quilt, there's the quilt, there's the quilt, there's the quilt, sorry. Look, look at this. That's uh, on the table yeah. as well over there, Michael. So it could be a tablecloth, a picnic cloth, tablecloth, picnic blankets. Oh, yes. Um, a wedding, one of Josie no, and Jill. No, I don't want it, you have to take a picture yes. of it. Josie and Jill had made this at their wedding and they got all the guests to sign all the flags. Oh, with a... Oh. And, and actually, we had a, they had a pre-wedding uh, uh, sort of get-together and we all made um, this quilt and the old, old baby grows an old wedding... <sighs> Oh, somebody, Amazing. somebody suggested the other day, I was talking about my old shirts Come and everything, up. and someone said, make a quilt out oh, of all your shirts. absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Anyway, anyway, there's the quilt, there's the quilt we were yeah. just showing you. Now, look, this is what's important. Yeah. It's got all the techniques pens, of yeah. how to do them. Yeah. We'll just, there they go. And then it's also got templates, yes, doesn't it, yes, in there? Yeah, yeah, All the templates. So you can photocopy it, but you can make it bigger if you want yeah. to. You can photocopy oh, yes. because photocopies big, big do hats. everything. <laughs> do I? <laughs> what was that little snore? Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on, I've got Mr. Lou's. <laughs> Two, the laughable, infectious duo. Best tonic for the morning. Love watching you two. Oh, Love Louise good. in Suffolk. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, Louise. <laughs> oh, there's another one. 
Julie in Greater London. Good morning, John and Mandy. Oh, I can't. Am I allowed to say that? No, no. Thank God for you two, she says. Thank goodness for you two. Oh, she's a rotten you week. You have already started to share up a rotten week. The book is in the basket. Lots of love, Julie. Oh, Julie, it's beautiful, isn't it? Can't you have a good oh, weekend. Oh, we've got them flying yes. through the message. We must get on with the rag doll. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Sandra says, Mandy's so enthusiastic. She isn't she just? You try yeah. working with that. Uh, nearly as enthusiastic as you, John. Uh, they are a joy to watch. That's from Sandra. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, and then Iris says, love in the hats, question mark. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, did <laughs> I we look gorgeous? Hang on. on, so did I. Uh, so, we, are we starting with the ragdoll? I thought we were doing the bag, but we'll do the ragdoll. We'll do the ragdoll. Oh, oh, you want to do the ragdoll? Yeah, yes, go on. Yeah, yeah, if you're happy with yes, that. Yes, I'm very happy to do the uh, ragdoll. Hang on, wait, stop, 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 stop. Produ it's her first day producing. Right, yeah. In prep, we said we're going to do the bag. Oh, OK. Shall we do the bag? We'll do the bag. Because oh, we've just got to talk through the bag, haven't yes, we? Yeah, we're not yeah. actually going to make the bag. Yeah, yeah. Now, this comes in a kit, doesn't it? I'll be back in a yeah. second. Uh, I've got the kit that includes absolutely everything. The button, the uh, mag magnet, the wonderful tape handles, and a beautiful zip here as well. So there's nothing you need. If you'd like to make your bag thicker or more sturdy, you could put thick interfacing inside. But as the fabric's quite firm, it's it's not dress, dress weight. So, yes, it's that, that sounds a bit, a bit cheap. Affordable, affordable, not cheap. Affordable, affordable. Well, actually, don't forget, you want the pattern for always. Right, OK, it let's just look at the yeah, pattern first yeah. of all, shall we? Because it's not like one flimsy bit of paper, oh, gosh, is it? Oh, no, it's a bag. It's a full-blown full bag. Pattern's full size. Oh, wow. Well. So you just have to cut it on the fold. Make it on the fold. So I'm going to... Yeah. So you get all of this for your £35.95. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's gorgeous. And the fabric's all 100% cotton. And very right, OK, gorgeous. let's talk about the fabric. So you've yep. got the spotty... Oh, there's lots of that. Yes, because it's because it's you've got the pockets and you've got the... The these straps, bits. Yes, that's thing. Yeah, yeah. So and you get lining. all of this in the kit. Yep. That, that's yep. pretty fabric, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. Love Where do you source your all these fabrics? Well, I do, I, I, I do have a really good look... Can't you when these reps pop up and they've got nylon and things? Oh no! Not no so no, no, when no. I see something gorgeous, I tend to use it quite a bit if I yes. can until it runs out. But if somebody, if I wasn't here on the show with you yeah. and somebody showed me this kit, yeah. I'd go, "Oh, that's a Mandy Shaw." Do you know oh, what do I mean? You think so? it's, yeah, it's because I, I, you've got yeah. that quality signature. Yeah, I tend to stick. Oh, nice button, a nice big button. Oh there. Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Oh. Similar sizes, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Nice, oh, look. Nice. Oh there. Blimey. So hang on, you get spotty fabric. Yeah. How much the spotty fabric do we get? Uh, I can't remember now. Half, okay, no, Hayley, Hayley, Hayley should have that upstairs. <clears throat> anyway, we've got the spotty fabric, the gingham heart. I love yeah. that fabric. The calico. For the lining. The big, oh, that's the lining. Yeah, the big, big button. Big button. Yeah. Then you've got a magnetic yeah, clasp there. Here, look. Clip, clip, clip. Now, this is from France, isn't oh, it? This webbing. French, you sound French, oh, sorry, French. you're not on there, sorry. This is France, this. This is a webbing yes. from France. Very yeah. good quality. Rick rack. Rick rack. Can't go anywhere can't without your rick rack, can you? Piping cord for your lovely oh, piping on the outside yes. edge. Yes, piping cord. And the, zip, zip, and, yeah. and the big zip, and the big zip there. Big quality zip. I mean, not going to get stressed about zips no. because we know that I can put zips in in a very easy yes. manner. Exactly. I exactly. Can, but all yeah. the instructions of how to do the whole yeah. thing. Is it now? Do you do these? Are these your drawings? Yes, they are my oh, drawings. Yeah. Look, yeah. I should yeah. say it quickly. Bless. People, are, if people tuned in now, they're going to go. What are they doing with those silly? Hats? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, stuff. Talk us. Just want to talk us through. Are there yeah. any things you should watch out for? Because we're not going to make the bag. We're going to make. But just. Out well, for. it's not uh, a project for a beginner. Right. It's for a project for somebody who's used to sewing on their sewing machine. So you do, you can be um, intermediate, absolutely. Yeah. And and so you, it's not for a beginner. It's easy, but it does it's worked in stages. So you have to work each stage at a time. Oh, okay. So that's all in. Absolutely. So it, that might cause you to have. I love doing got, yeah, but so do I. But what I suggest you do before you even do this is treat yourself to a piping. Yeah, oh yes, definitely. And then you can get your stitches right close to the edge. Exactly. A, a really, really amazing bit of piping. That gives, that sparks great joy. In my oh life. no, 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 exactly. So. When, when we learned how to do it, it was like a zipper, it's like a zipper foot, isn't it? Yes, you could, yeah, and you yeah. pull it, so you just pull it round like yeah. that and the stitches yeah, just go stunning, right next to the stunning. piping. So the piping's great fun, I'll show you how to do it, it's not a problem. The zip's dead easy because we make it in panels, long thin panels, and because we've bound the edge of the fabric, the bind edge sits close to the zipper teeth and it doesn't move over. Oh, okay. It really is quite easy to make. Um, y y until you've done it, you realise how easy it is to do. Uh, for so. those of you, there, there's the piping. Yeah. Just the piping, that right, beautiful yeah, piping. Yeah. Right. I just love because obviously I trained in period cutting, so on, yes, on yeah. period dresses, oh, you'd sometimes yeah. put piping in the yeah, seams yeah, and everything yeah. like just lovely. Stunning. So that is thirty-five pounds and ninety-five pence. Yeah, what yeah. a gorgeous bag! Yeah. I'd need two if I'm going away for the weekend. Oh well, it's, oh yes, well uh, yes, uh, yes, you might. And um, we should travel lighter. Shouldn't have so many clothes. No, 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 no. You never Save know what's going to be like when you get there. No, do you, you don't, especially in this country. But it's great for a baby bag as well, and it can be made in PVC. We've made lots of these in oil cloths. And oh, that's nice. Um, 
I've got an announcement. I'm yeah. so sorry. If everybody who has in this basket, if everybody who has this bag in their basket checks out now, we're sold out. Oh, it's that popular. It's, it's that gorgeous. popular. It's, it's gorgeous. This always happens with Mandy's show, so you yeah. just need to be so, careful. So, so if you've got it in your basket, please check out. Yeah, so there you are. It's, it's, a, it's a weekend project. Thank you so yeah. much. I'll just pop that in my dressing yes, room yeah. for later. <laughs> right, so what's next then? Should we talk about dolls now? Le yes. Let's do a rag let's doll. Let's do a rag doll. Let's talk about dolls. Let's I'll pop that let's down. Talk. I it. don't like her hair being down because I feel like it's upsetting her. So, of course, um, I, I, I designed this because I've got a doll. No, I haven't got a doll oh. fetish. I adore the dolls that I had as a child. Well, it's because you're very girly, isn't it? I'm just going oh, yeah, to go and get the kit. Yeah, I now, am. Now, she's a... called Polly, this one, isn't she? Yeah, I've got a little niece called Polly. So I called her Polly. Um, and she's made out of calico, so that's good. Shall I, get, yes, shall I go yeah, open the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, kit yeah, and yeah. see what you get in this one? Um, this one's got a little bronzed effect. It's what? A little bronzed effect. Oh, okay. And that's because I dumped the calico in. Um, so if you look at the difference in colour. Oh, I'll show you that in a second. Look yeah. at this. So yeah. did you dip it in tea? I dipped it in tea. Um, that's so an old I, film technique, that is. Oh, is it as well? Because yes. you can't ever, you know, um, white, white shirts. Yeah. If you show them on film, they, they're too bright, so you dip them all in tea to make them that colour. Oh, OK. It's fine. Okay. That, Sorry, that, am I boring you? <laughs> but um, so what I did is I got six tea bags in a washing up bowl. I wet the fabric first. Very, very important. Oh, yes, Otherwise, yes, you get that important. sort of muddled look. Yes. Well, um, she might have. She might have. Cellular. Yeah, she's, she's actually not perfect because we don't, no one's perfect with the Lord. No. And we do like a little bit of indiscrepancy in our... So don't worry if your tea dye calico is a little bit um, uneven. The thing is, with tea, dye, with tea dye, if it goes wrong, put it in the washing machine, wash it out, yeah. try to start, start again. again. Start so, again. So, so wash it up, bowl six tea bags, wet your calico first, <laughs> leave it in there while you have Any your flavor? breakfast. Um, <laughs> peppermint tea might cause green <laughs> effect. Um, and then you rinse it out and you wash it and then you, you, you press you it beautifully. It, yes. So, so uh, but this one's not been done. No. And if you don't do it, it doesn't matter. It's just a paler version. And then we, yes. can, we can blush her up with a little bit of lipstick. Exactly. Later. Okay, so exactly. that's very easy. So I've got a little strange technique, an odd little technique, um, not so odd, but very clever. Um, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, stitch on the line of the pattern so right. we don't cut it out like you would traditionally cut the pattern pieces out. Oh, OK, right. Hang on a sec, then. So just take that one for now. I've got it here. Right, right. so okay. these are your pattern pieces yeah, yeah. here. All so that done. is yeah. your arm. Yeah. Yeah. Make two. Yeah, so what you do is you trace this um, onto some freezer paper or, or ordinary paper. Yes, freezer yeah. paper has a wax silicone back, so when you yeah. iron it down, it stays in place. Yeah, we haven't got any of that in stock at the moment. Yeah. So we're but, but it doesn't it, matter. But, ordinary yeah. paper yeah. is fine. Don't cut your pattern up because you'll need that for later of on. Of course. So you're going to trace it onto some ordinary paper and pin it onto two pieces of calico. Right. Um, obviously, they'll be right sides together. There is no right or wrong side I'm in calico, paper. But if no. you're using something other than that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stitch on the mark line. You do not... Absolutely not cut it out yet. Oh, OK. Do not cut it is out. That, is that in big capitals in the, in uh, the instructions? I, I say it, and I, I, I ask you very lovingly, and I write it everywhere, do not cut it out. Right. But somehow your scissors pop into your hand before you even know it. I know. And, you, and if you cut it out, she won't, she'll be the wrong side. So this is just her, this is everything, isn't no, it? No, it's just, just for her, her, but it's the template, so it's her body pieces. Yes, her so body. her arms and her legs yes. and her body. Normal dressmaking is fine. Normal dressmaker, like the clothes are fine. You have seam allowance added already. Yes, yeah. But, so what you're going to do now is stitch on this marked line, OK? Yeah. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to reduce your stitch to about two. Um, that means that so that when you stuff her and this child, this the, the child or is played, plays with the doll, it doesn't come undone. So your normal stitch is about uh, 2.4. I've got a question for you. Yeah. Was it Beverly, did you say? Beverly loves your dress. Did you make it yourself? No, I didn't, darling. A little number. A li <laughs> <laughs> I've got some lovely, a lovely... Do you always wear blue? Oh, I... I... Do you think I do? Well, no, no, because every show we've done together, I've yeah. worn a blue shirt with butterflies, yeah. a blue storm shirt, and yeah. today I've just realised yeah. I'm wearing a blue... I do like enemy things. Oh, okay. I, I thought the decolletage was rather lovely. Well, you, you look lovely all over. No, but I think in a boost of nice shape. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, loads of messages. You carry on sewing yes, and yes, I'll yes, shout yes. the messages out to you. So I want to talk to you about this sewing for a second. Go on then, go, um, go on. So, so I'm going to stitch with a very small stitch, loving this machine, needle down facility. If you're buying a new machine, grab one with a needle down facility. 680, that's the Elmer 680. But going round corners and curves you must stop and start right okay so let's just here move I that go. so i'm going to sew a little bit even i don't go round a million miles an uh, hour so well that sewing machine's also got the if you want to go a bit slower we yes, can put the snail yeah, yeah. pace on can't we yeah so i go. stop start do you see that i can't and don't worry if you've gone off the line that doesn't really matter too much but if you start going off piece for goodness sakes for goodness sake stop and come back on you know, don't just continue going off the line. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, it, it can yeah. make us at the arm. You could be making anything. Yeah. 
so, so you'll see I'm not quite on that. Now, you're making it very easy, but is it easy? Yes, it is, but don't forget, I've said to you, loving... You don't always listen to what I say, this is the trouble. Do you know what? We had so many messages last time you were on going, we love it when she shouts at him. Oh, no! Well, this is true, this is true. So, um, so what you, you haven't got Hayley wittering in your <laughs> ear the whole time. <laughs> Bless Hayley's little heart. I don't want to know about your curtains, Hayley. We're looking at a rag doll, thank you. Um, so what you're going to do yeah. now is take this paper off, OK? OK. So I've stitched the mark line beautifully. It's stop, start around the curves. Yes. Nice little, so that's machine control. It's You've very done that good. beautifully. I've done that beautifully. I've left the top open. Yep. OK. I'm going to scratch my perforations with a nice, thick, chunky pin. What, where the, where the, uh, by the side of the stitching? Are you oh, right next oh, to the stitching? Over si the holes oh, okay. of the stitching. So it doesn't, it doesn't break your stitching? No, though. it doesn't break your stitching. But because I've reduced my stitch length beautifully, uh, Oh, it will course. peel off beautifully because what I'm trying to do is save. I'm trying to save the pattern because I could use it again. Yes. I could use it again. Oh look, it's, that, it's like a stamp. I, I always wanted to play post offices when I was a child. I wanted to be a postmistress and do that with the stamps. Do you remember that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I would be a telephonist with long wires. That's what I wanted to be. <laughs> um, I've got a message from Patricia. She said, can you just photocopy the, the pattern onto another piece of yes, paper? Yes, you can. Yes. Yeah, so the, uh, there's a great tip coming up here. Uh, I didn't... I didn't con um, great tip. If you trace your pattern with pencil, the pencil mark will go through to the calico and vaguely mark it. Oh. I did. I did. Oh, you've done it. I'm not a problem with that because I'm turning it inside out. But be aware in a future case, if you're using white, the pencil mark might come through. So you're better off using an indelible pen. Yes. Very fine indelible pen. Or a washable pen. Washable okay, pen. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so then I'm going to try and peel this off beautifully. So I could reuse this. Oh, and to next do the other time one. I would only stitch, I would stitch close yeah. to the edge. Yes. Okay. So that's gorgeous. I'm going to tear it off. Yeah, because, go on. Yeah, hey. And then we're going to cut that out very, very Oh, so you cut out now. Afterwards. Then. And the, the advantage of doing this is that you get the shape I drew. So yes. If, if I left you with a quarter inch seam allowance to sew around, you would have all sorts of quirkiness. So at least yes. we're getting a perfect shape, a beautiful, beautiful shape. So we're going to cut that out with our beautiful Ernest Wright scissors. English, Sheffield. OK. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then we're going to cut them out beautifully. A, a half of a quarter of an inch, so um, about five mil, would you say that is? And because you've done a nice small stitch, you don't have to worry about your curves because you've got the nice small stitch. I never snip more yes. creative. Don't leave these. Some people... <laughs> no, yeah. Right, Okay, tools. so what are you doing now? A chopstick. I'm going to cut the fleeces to the instructions, look, and you're going to put them one on, one right. on. okay. So then, oh, then you cut yeah. these. Two on. Yeah. Do you see? You could be in a hairdresser, that's called oh, sectioning, isn't it, in the hairdressing yeah, department? Well, I put four on, shouldn't I put four on? Oh. Three. Oh, no, that's three on. So yeah. there's the three backs, and there's your big curve, your big circle there. Yeah. And that means that you don't have any gaps if she happens to waft, waft her hair like and that. she hasn't got any gaps. And the final one, which is a great big long one, you put around on the outside edge. You put around the outside edge of the hair. I've just sewn it all on around here, look. And you could make a little creative fringe there if you like. So that the hair is well covered and kids can... And it, it doesn't break off anything. No, it's just it doesn't wonderful. fray or anything, so does it? So she could plait it and put it up in a... I love doing this to it, like, do this. She doesn't mind. <laughs> and, and just do... It's it. like having your hair washed yeah, on a yeah, Sunday yeah. over there to the bath. Give her a little bit of height. OK? It's gorgeous. So the hair's dead easy, not a problem. And at the ends, I taper the ends lovingly to give a little... Yes, snip, yes. Snip. Uh, when we come to the face, very important, uh, little black buttons for They're eyes. There. Yep. But always indent them to pull them right through to the back. You can see you get a little now, indentation. Now, at which day do you do those before you do the hair? Yes, you do do the face, face before, before you, you do the hair. hair. Yeah. Um, and also it gives you a chance. If you get the face wrong the first time round, you can whip her body round. Oh. But you'd have to move the feet. Move the feet, yeah. Anyway, we should be walking yeah, backwards. Yeah. So don't forget to, to pull them really tight to get that lovely intent yes. little, little bridge of the nose. Yeah. Um, a little weeny marks. Don't go overboard with these, these lips and things. And yeah. by great big chunky lips, we don't do chunky lips. Delicate. And this is just a little bit of lippy from your own lips. Oh, right. You know, like this. Yeah, and you just mark it. And what are the eyelashes? You just drawn the I've drawn them on with on. a little... Um, you can use a very fine tip Sharpie yeah. or a, or a micron, pig pink, yeah. uh, oh, micron, micron Pigma pen. Yeah, it's a dressmaking pen. We have them... Okay. Micron we, Pigma pen. Yes, Pigma pens. Have I got them here? We, we don't, don't sell those yet, but we will no, do. They need to, need to. As recommended yes, yes, by Mandy Shaw. Yes, 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 yeah. Okay. They come in different so, colours. Yes, a very, so very delicate. Do not, I don't want to say great big long lashes. We don't do long lashes. Well, actually, it's quite trendy, but we don't want to no. do that. Uh, this is a traditional rag doll with no, no. Uh, vices. <laughs> 
So that's your doll, that's your hair. Right. Okay. So when it comes down to making the dresses for this doll, I've told you already that the um, the t shirt at t shirt fabric. No, 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 we're still in the same kit. We're still in the same kit. Yes, still we in are the same kit. Yeah, same doll. And we've got a wonderful pinafore dress. Now, this is light making, light dress making, but don't forget it's doll making. Right. So we could have raw ends and dodgy pieces yes. if you needed Inside to. Inside. I've yes. actually made it very nicely, I do believe. Um, <laughs> oh, you've overlocked all the edges. Yes, I've overlocked all the edges. But you don't, oh, it's, uh, even got the, it's even got the face. It's even faced. It's faced. Mm. So it's much easier to face something than turn the edges under. Exactly. So I'd always suggest you face even dolls' clothes. Face exactly. them. So we've got a wonderful pinafore dress. That's lovely. And she's this got lovely... This all comes in the kit for 34 Yes, this is the one kit. And lovely felt slippers. Look at that. Just delicious. Um, right, so this, that's the facing, first yeah. of all. And yeah. then these are the gorgeous felt slippers. slippers. Yeah. They almost look like they can make those for a real baby. Well, you could. But you could. Yeah. But you anyway, could. anyway, anyway. So there you are. That's Polly, the traditional rag that, doll. So that comes in that kit. Yeah. Traditional, Mandy Shaw, traditional rag doll. Yeah. Right, 75% of the stock has gone. 75% of the stock has gone. Then, then, we then see, now, this kit, you don't get Polly. No. You just get the yeah, clothes. It's the clothes. So or the, we're the fabric we're to make the clothes. We'll talk about the clothes, because this is on, very exciting. Oh. So we'll talk about there? the clothes. So, here we go. So, this is our Polly doll. Same doll, OK? Yeah. Our Polly doll. And this is her. Now, just look at the fabric. This fabric, to me, is delightful. It's got all little bunnies and kittens and little reindeer. We get a lot of it. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, because it's fully gathered. Look, look yeah. at it. You oh, appreciate that. Yes. Look at that. It's fully gathered, absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely fabric, and it's like a, it's the best dress. A yes, best that's dress. a Sunday best, yes. Yeah. Yes. And I've even... By the face. Oh, what about this one? No, no. no. So that's a delicious little um, best dress, party dress, you see. And she's got, so it's the same pattern as before, but this time I've given you faux leather. Okay. It's there somewhere. Ooh. Oh, I might have had it. Oh, here it is. Have you taken it? it? Yeah, I've this taken one. it. There we go. Oh, yes, like pleatherette. Yeah, oh, that's not a nice word, pleatherette, is it? That's not a nice word. <laughs> but how much? You've got loads no, there. No, you get 12 by 12. I haven't oh, that's, so that's, that's not what you get in the kit, sorry. But they're, they're very, very gorgeous. Look at those. Um, you don't get the socks in the kit, you get the pattern, but this is what you need to do. Your, hu your husbands have far more t-shirts than they ever need. Yes, so uh, just... they're very white for husband's t-shirts. Yeah, because it was um, a building yard gave out free t-shirts when the Rugby Club World Cup was on. Oh, so my okay. husband took about ten and filled his drawer up with them and doesn't use them. So I grabbed a t-shirt and I used the hem of the t-shirt. Look, did you yes. see that? Yeah, let's have a look did at you that. you see that? The hem of the t-shirt. There it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah. As the top edge. Yes. And they're actually the simplest shape ever that you don't have But they're to... just the same shape as the bottom of the foot. I you yeah, yeah. use the bottom of the yeah, foot pattern. Yeah, yeah, Look. And just imagine the delight a child is going to have putting socks yes. on. Yeah, absolutely. So there I you have are. to say, I think it's just child, not just children. No. Do you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's okay. We can have doll fetishes. Exactly, of course you can. And then, so the piece of the resistance, really. So there's, that's the dress. There's her party shoes. A bit chilly going out in the evening. So look at this right, wonderful... Hang on, what's the zip for, then? Uh, it's for the onesie in a minute, Diane. Oh, sorry. Stop, stop, stop. So here we have a wonderful little... It's like a shielding. It's oh, like it's come from Wallace. I know. So this oh, other shops are available. Uh, this makes her quite trendy, because she's clashing her, her yes. styles a bit. Um, a very simple, and don't forget, no raw edges with this. No. Very easy to do. Very forgiving. Very, very forgiving. Nice little collar. Look at that. But the that. pattern for all this is yeah. in the kit, isn't it? Absolutely. The pattern's all in there somewhere. Beautiful. Oh, well, I but all, all the pattern yes. pieces are yeah. in there. So there's her lovely jacket. Okay, so she's going to a lovely little party. She's all warm. You can make her a nice scarf around her neck with a square of fabric. She actually has two jackets just to test was test testing. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And then when she comes home and she's a bit chilly, she has the choice of two onesies. Look at this. And again, this is a jersey fabric. It's jersey fabric, so you, you could use a ballpoint needle. Um, I didn't, and I oh, got yeah. away with it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I didn't. Um, but my machine loved it badly, so no problems. Or if you've got an overlocker, you can start practicing your overlocker. Yes, of course. Um, and I'll just put the onesie on for you. Now, did you say there's enough fabric for two onesies in no, there? No, just or, the one onesie. But you've I, made two onesies. I made onesies. two because okay. I was practising. OK, then. I was practising, OK, so... Um, oh, I, you get one at home. You yeah, get one at home. And then yeah. same with the shearling jacket. You just oh, get the yes, fabric yes. to make one of those. It's, I've just actually brought them both along to show the amount of effort I go into testing and resizing of these course, things. Of course, yeah. So, um, and I thought one, one set might be on the table and one might be... Um, Over here with yeah. us. So I just think my granddaughter's too young to play these yet, badly. Granddaughter? She, oh, I have a lovely little granddaughter, Dusty Rose. Oh, 
What's she called? Dusty Rose. Oh, oh a lovely God. name. She's gorgeous. She's, she's a bit of a hand for at the minute. Oh, but I love her. And, um, and Mandy's as mad as a box of frogs. That's what's just come in from Marie. Oh, yes, but it's fun to be a box of frogs. Isn't it? Yes. I it's, say box yes. of spanners, Marie yeah. and myself, but that's fine. So here we are. Look, a little zip up the neck. <gasps> look at that. Is she's that very tall. How tall is she? Uh, she must be about 20 inches tall, but she's lovely. I had dolls when I was a child and I've still got them and I love them badly. Yes. And I, want, I want these to be treasured and loved and a bit battered. Yes. Um, I put lipstick on my doll, it wasn't a good look. <laughs> but there you are, there's her onesie. Okay. So, so let's just go dresses. through yeah. what you get in this kit because yes, yes. there's so much, isn't there? Yeah. So now in this kit, these are the extra clothes. So you yeah. don't get Polly the doll. No. Because we've made that with her set of yeah, clothes yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah. This is like an extra wardrobe. So within this kit, you get the instructions yes. and all the pattern pieces yeah. and everything like that. You get that the fabric to make this gorgeous little dress. Now, you've put Rick Rack on the bottom yes. of there. It's, 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 it's in the kit, it's, it's in included, it's in the kit. Yes, my well, kit's not complete so what, then, what happens at home with the girls in the workshop, you see? So they say, don't put all those bits in, Mandy, because we can't spend hours cutting up yeah. bits. And when they're not looking, you put I them put up. them in. Okay. Because I thought that dress just needed that little touch. Oh, no, I, I agree with and you. And then I, I needed to put that in. Yes. And, and I thought, oh, they're going to get to me. Yes. But, they, but they're fine, they understand. So you get the fabric and the rick rack yeah. to make this little dress within yeah. the kit. So we've got the pattern, the rick rack, and then the, the little, uh, well, what do you call this? Faux leather. Faux leather. Faux leather. You won't get this much to make the shoes. That's obviously what makes you get. You get 12. Oh, that's still a lot. It though. is. It's not that rec It's that square. Yes. Yeah. 12 by 12, you get there. Uh, so you get that to make the shoes. Now, also for the back of the dress, you get poppers on yeah. tape. Yes. Love it. Love these little details. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly. And they're so easy to put on yes, as well, yes. everything. Then you also get. No, yes. that's not this. Then you get the. Um, well, I'm calling it shearling, but it's faux shearling, isn't yes, it? Yeah. Like sheepskin. Yeah. I love the fact you've picked a, a pastel dusky oh, pink. Um, actually, you, you might have enough left over to make another little pair of shoes. Oh, you might slippery be, but, uh, I'm not <gasps> quite sure about that. Or like little, little, little boots. Or, or, don't, don't, don't say the name. Bug boots. Yes, they're the ones. <laughs> oh, there it all is in there, you see. There it all is. Um, I, I think you also get Rick Rack. The Rick Rack's not on there, you see. You also get the Rick Rack in there as well. Yeah, you do. And then, OK, so that gets one side. Then... Uh, you also get the fabric. The jer now, That's beautiful. stitching this jersey. We said about the jersey yes. earlier for the underwear. Yep, yep. Ballpoint ball needle. needle. And what happens to the ballpoint needle, it doesn't pierce the fabric. It's, it's not sharp. It yes. sort of finds a hole in the fabric to go through. Yeah. Um, but I, I suggest you, if you haven't got a ballpoint needle, you're not to worry. Oh, I you can get ballpoint. You can pick them up. Oh, anyway. Anyway, anyway yeah, you sorry, can. Shop, but you? I don't want you to worry about that because I didn't use one. <laughs> Okay, then you didn't use one. And did you use a stretch stitch or just use normal um, stitch? I didn't, but uh, all you need to do is put your, your, your machine on a little weenie zigzag, Zigzags. a fine zigzag. Yeah, because when I trained, we didn't have all these fancy no, 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 zigzags. No. Did you you use... literally did zigzag. Yeah, that's fine. You did zigzag. But I didn't, girls. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't use it, but you can. These are the things that make life a little bit easier. A zip. A zip, and you also get the zip to go in the back of the onesie. The front of the onesie, don't Front of the onesie. Front of the onesie. And don't worry about putting the zip in. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a toy. Yes. It doesn't have but, to be the most perfect no. zip. No. But it's good way, it's good yeah. to practice. Oh, yeah, that's why I practice. think it's great fun to practice. And there you are, she's got her little Oh, so she's got her onesie on she's now with her little... She's going up to the supermarket to get something she's forgotten. <laughs> I know onesie. <laughs> then you're not allowed to do that. That's not good look, is it? I there think it's a cute yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Isn't nice? And she can wear her hair tied up, because yeah. obviously the, the original pack, the, the, the poly pack, comes with a piece of ribbon to tie her yes, hair up it does with, doesn't indeed. it? Yeah, it, it does indeed. And you're, obviously you, can, you could also then give your, whoever you're going to give it to, a little bag with a collection of ribbons in. Oh. Um, and you can do that. You think everything way. through, don't yeah, you? Yeah. Right, let's just recap the whole hour. Yeah. Let's just recap the whole hour. So we started, well, we've made a rattle mess here, haven't we? We started with this gorgeous book, didn't we? Yes. Celebrate with a stitch. Now, it's everything to do... Oh, excuse me. What does this say here? Oh, Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, we can. Sure can. It's, yeah, that's what that yellow page was. Oh. <laughs> Kirsty, I'll stop... Oh. Yeah. Yes, because you appear on her... Um, Programme. Her show, yes, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Kirsty wrote the forward for me for this book. Oh, that won't have taken her long, will it? No, Just no. <laughs> I did the forward once for... Um, uh, what's she called? Uh, Countdown Lady. Oh, uh, oh, yes. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Vorderman. Yeah, yes, she did yeah. the Carol Vorderman detox. And I yeah. did the forward for her book on that. Oh, anyway, that's yeah. about a yeah. lifetime ago now. Um, everything in this book yeah. for different celebrations. Yeah. We did, what we didn't see at the end, if you go, go to the okay. end, we didn't see the lovely Christmas ones. Oh, right, let's yes, go through yes, Christmas. Yes, oh, yes. Because yes. Christmas, we should be thinking Christmas shortly uh, if you're crafting. 
because in July we have a massive Christmas event here with me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're yeah. giving away secrets now. Yes, yes. we're doing Christmas we're in July. July. Yeah. And so I've got something very special for Christmas in July. Oh, fantastic. Something very, very new. Oh. In paper form. Oh. Been shooting it in the garden yesterday. Right, I yeah. just need to tell you, I can't show you the bag kit because that's completely sold out. Right. And we're now very limited, very, very limited. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. Because putting it in your basket doesn't mean to say you've got it. You only have it once you've checked out. That's yeah. sort of simple. Right, Christmas lampshades. Yeah, man, this is amazing. These are amazing. These are, these are white wine glasses, large white wine glasses. We make these little lampshades for them and put a tea light or electric tea light inside. And it... It's the most beautiful decoration oh. ever. What do you, how, where do you drink wine at Christmas? Well, you don't drink wine, it's a decoration, darling. No, 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 no. But if I use my white wine glasses to do that. We're not using the posh ones, we're using the supermarket ones. <laughs> Mine are supermarket. Oh, yes, well, they are. Then you need to get yourself some posh ones. I will, I will, I will. I will. <laughs> so you've got little robins, look, lovely robins, which are lovely on the tree, miniature bunting, wonderful glass lampshade. Yes. Uh, now, what there. date do you put all your Christmas things out in your oh, house? Oh, no, no, we don't. We second second weekend in December. Oh, so Hayley's just thinking about coming to your house to film for Christmas. Oh, well, say. actually, I have had the film crew in the house and I've had to do Christmas in July. Well, I had Christmas yesterday in the house. Oh, did you? Yeah. But actually, we didn't overdo it. Before, I've had Christmas cakes and mince pie. I asked Mel to make a Christmas cake for the photo shoot, knowing that photo shoots take a long, long time. I thought she'd make it a traditional cake, you know, like would last yes. for Christmas. She made uh, Nigella's um, plum and plum oh, nice. delicious, but it, it got, it kept, it's a, I didn't know, and it was very old, and it started oh. to sink and leak. It's only six weeks um, shelf life. And so I thought we had six months. Oh, um, no, so no. So I no. normally have Christmas mince pies and Christmas cakes and everything, but we, we didn't for this shoot here. Just seen a Mel. I thought Mel was a sewist. Mel is Mel. Mel not a... sews. She 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 does everything. She remembers that she's got a good memory. Oh, she, you need she, one of those. Yeah, don't oh, you? yeah. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that when I moved into a new house I was on this morning at yeah. the time and they were doing what the experts do at Christmas yeah. so I'd literally just moved into a new house at the beginning yeah. of September yeah. and they brought a Christmas tree round they decorated yes, yeah, the lit yeah. so none of the neighbours knew me right? I didn't know yeah. who'd moved in and suddenly on the first day I've got a Christmas tree yeah. in the front window but then they left at the end of the day and left without the Christmas tree. Yeah. So in the, September, I had a Christmas tree in my front window and all the neighbours were like, well, he's a bit strange, isn't he? That well, man in number 54. When we did that with the um, magazine thing, we kept it up. The whole of September, we yeah. didn't put bother putting no, it down. Exactly. So, so this is just lovely little little decorations for your tree. Um, and the these robins, are sweet, yeah, yeah. aren't so these? Robins, robins are lovely. And imagine giving. Now, this is a new concept I have in my head. Um, banners. So you've seen them, they're all over the place. Yes, so, yes, yeah. They're, they're quick to make, so no, not much sewing, lots of gluing. Yes. And so if you've got someone's birthday, you can make a large banner. Oh, a pennant, yes. pennant. They do that in America a lot. What's this? What's this across the that top is, oh, this is clever. This is a wooden dowel, and I made a, a strip for the wooden dowel to go on. Yes. Made it too big and gathered it up. Oh, oh, so it's not, it looks like it's, it's had um, thread wrapped No, no, it's it. a wooden dowel. So, so are all these designs, your designs? Oh, you've yes, designed yes, everything absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I, they, I can't, oh, and this is the Oh, this, this is the quilt. quilt. Don't quilt. go in yet, Munch. Let's just have one last look at that quilt that's over there. It's it's lovely. It's really it's simple. It's just six inch squares, five inch squares, a load of five inch squares with bunting put on top, yeah. applique on top. There it is. And great to have as um, I, I said it about the wedding, you know, but you could sign it. You could have all your oh, guests yes. sign it and things. Beautiful. Like that. Yes. A very very lovely quilt. And lovely for picnics. And you could even make that Christmas Eve if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, different colours. Because that, yeah, that's yeah. saying summer, isn't it? And of course you, you could use all your old shirts. Mm. We were talking about this before. Yeah. You shop your shirts. Try and keep your colour scheme the same for the background and then make sure your buntings are quite striking yes um but that's i only sew those bunts on by hand on top of oh so quilt. you've made the quilt yeah and then yeah, the bunting yeah. sort of yeah, gets yeah, sewn yeah. on afterwards but it's oh, a that's lovely nice it's a lovely idea. quick fix weekend quilt really lovely you yeah. know what you could do as well though if you're doing this as a wedding you've made the quilt yeah. and then you have all the bunts yeah. separate yeah. and they all sign it and everything yeah. and then you stitch them on in the not in the honeymoon but you know after, yeah. afterwards well there's a problem with that you've got to get guests early before they start oh no they do it on the way in yes, they do good, it when yeah. they put yes, the presents yes, down you don't on want the a table glass they... of wine do no, you know no, 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 no. no. but then it's something it's just one you don't like you don't, or, don't like the writing don't no, put it on because no. I think about those old sharpie pens they get carried away those sharpie yes exactly things, yeah. I know I went to yeah. one wedding um, and we had to write on a heart and hang it on a tree yeah. and everything and it started off all oh love 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 and then as the wedding went on it was yeah, like it, yeah, you know, obscene anyway things, yeah. uh, love, oh, these are the pennants we're talking about yes really lovely and I've got them for all seasons so if I've just got a quick fix for decoration I just grab something out and when it's someone's birthday I quickly slap on the. So this book's also got all the numbers in the back, which is really handy, and all the alphabets. You haven't got one for 39. I'll be 39 no, this yeah, year, you yeah, see. Yeah, no wonder I haven't got one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, so a you're not That's a 60. That's a 60.
Where is the six? I've seen it somewhere. No, it's so. in further back yeah. in the book, is it? <laughs> right. OK, quickly. So that's Sorry. 14, 95. Quickly show the rag doll. Uh, there's oh, just a few of these left. We're very limited. So this is Polly, the rag doll. And in the, uh, the first kit, you get everything to make her, including the hair yeah. and the um, combination underneath. And there's the kit. Have a look at it. And the fabric to make the dress, the beautiful dress. And the fabric, the jersey fabric to make the underwear. Yeah. And the pink felt That's to make it, yeah. the shoes. And the buttons to make the uh, eyes. And the thread to make the... You only need oh. stuffing. You only and you need, get, you need yeah. to supply the yeah, stuffing. Yeah, yeah. And what's more important, you get all of Mandy's designs and her drawings and everything yes, like yeah. that. So for £34.95, you get everything to make Polly the traditional rag doll. Very, very limited. Then if you've already got that, which a few people already have... This is a premiere. These clothes are a premiere. So what you get in this, you don't get the doll, but you get everything to make. Every this is beautiful. That fabric, it's like oh. the most beautiful vintage fabric, oh, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. It's just Really lovely, gorgeous yeah. fabric to make the dress. Uh, you get, oh, I, forgot, I keep forgetting I've got a crown on. <laughs> uh, you get the, the button, the popper thread at the back to put the dress yeah. together. Yeah, you get the faux shirling to make the little jacket. You've got the faux leather to make the shoes. shoes. You get the jersey. This is such a pretty jersey. So it's yeah, very yeah. pretty, isn't it? Really lovely pretty jersey onesie. to make the... Oh, now this is about to sell out. This is about to sell out. You... There are three left. There are three of this kit left. Not the clothes kit. The clothes kit for 1995. Check out your baskets, people. There's going to be disappointment. There's going to be disappointment. If you don't check out, there will be disappointment. Because don't forget, I only, I can only cut so much. And when it's gone, it's gone. Yes. I don't have... No, a, you don't then come... Matching, no, no, exactly. No, no. Right, OK. Back. We've got 30 seconds. Yes. You're coming back in an hour's time. Yes, yes. What are you having in your break, first of all? Are you having some porridge? Oh, no, I've got a banana and some nuts. That, I, I came virgin first class and they gave you food. Did you know that? It's better than a plane on oh, a train. There you go. Good advert. And so I've got... <laughs> oh, am I gonna... Yeah, you can say what you like. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I've got some nuts and some bananas and I'm going to just check through for the next demonstration. So what are you making in the next demonstration? I'm going to show you some wonderful quilting techniques. I'm a quilter by trade. Yep. I've got some a wonderful little laptop quilt to show you and I'm going to show you some quick fast techniques on how to make those blocks. And we've got the lovely little mice back, oh, Pippin's yeah, back because yeah. he sold out, yeah. he she he, sold yeah. out last time he was here. And the most beautiful... Sussex trudge. Oh, yeah. it's lovely. You have yeah. to come back yeah. for that. Um, we're going now, Jennifer, well, no, I'm not, I'm staying. <laughs> Jennifer Mills is up next. I want to, oh, oh, K facet cushions. Yeah, really, really yeah, lovely yeah. K facet cushions. So don't go anywhere. Mandy will be back in an hour, and I'll be back in three minutes with Jennifer Mills with K facet uh, fabrics. Go nowhere. We'll see you in three from now. Bye. <laughs> follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us, even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter, and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. 
You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sevenquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Join us on Monday the 8th of May when the new Craft House team are back to show you some beautifully simple kits. The new Craft House team shows us how to make some of her favourites, including their brand new bow tie kit and makeup bag kit. So, join us on Monday the 8th of May at 9am and 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Just so you know, the rag doll sold out as well now. Um, <coughs> I need a bit of a lie down after that. It's very frenetic, but great fun, isn't it? Now, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Jennifer's here to show us how to make the most beautiful. Um, oh, <coughs> I do apologize. Uh, Kate Facet cushion. But before we start that, so many people, I, I, I relaunched this uh, last week. It's eau de coat uh, coating. I'll tell you all about it. I launched, I relaunched it again last week. Loads and loads and loads of you came to get it, and lots of people have been texting. Chris, my next door neighbour, you know, the one that goes to the um, uh, Chipping Camden Lady Quilters uh, Society, she got, uh, she's got some of this now. Um, oh, now apparently your tub won't look like this. Oh, it's been redesigned. This is the old one that's only got a little bit left in it. Yours will be revamped, apparently. Um, yours will be revamped. Yours won't look like this, apparently. Now, are you actually sitting there going, what on earth? is eau de coat. What on earth is eau de coat fabric coating? It's the most brilliant thing for £14.95. Now, I would have brought you... Oh, hang on, I've got the new one. I've got, I've got the new one, Munch. Come on in, Munch, with your funny ginger hair. Thank you. Do everyone, oh, everyone remember Munch's arm? This, Munch, Munch. Oh, well done. Uh, it's exactly the same content. They've just rebranded the, 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 the packaging. That's all. There you go. Oh, yes, look. Anyway, 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 it's £14.95. Let me just explain what you do. I did have lots and lots of samples, but Jay has lost them all, you see. So I'll just go through it very, very quickly with you. What you do... Actually, if you go to a... If you just um, Yahoo, Google or Bing, or go to YouTube and put it in, there's lots and lots of um, lessons in how to use it. What you do is you just literally... You can do it two ways. One, you can, you can coat your fabric before you make it. And what you do is you literally... I won't do it now because I haven't got a brush or anything. You literally coat your, your fabric with it. You lit, and you scrape off any excess. And you leave it for an hour if you're going to do another coat. Now, I'll show you the different coats. You, can, you, you do one coat, two coats or three coats, depending on how uh, crunchy and how uh, waterproof you want it. So you literally just... It's just a gel. I don't know if I can do... Let me just open this. Right, let's see this. Right, it makes your fabric waterproof. It makes it like an oil skin. You know what I mean? I'll show you. So it's just this gel. Now, on the, on the um, films, you see... Uh-oh, this is going to be a nightmare. On the films that you see, they put it on with, like, an old credit card, and they scrape it on, and then they scrape off the excess. You can do it with a paintbrush as well, as long as you wash the paintbrush afterwards. And literally, so if you're going to put more than one layer on, you can leave it for an hour, then put the second layer on. Leave it for an hour, and you put the third layer on. Then leave it for a good couple of hours to dry. If you're only going to do one layer, leave it for two hours so it's totally dry. Uh, it won't affect your sewing machine needle or anything like that. And what you can do is this one... You see this one? This is the Purple Rain... Um, uh, batik fabric that we sell. I don't know if we've sold out. We used to sell... And they, they did the fabric first. This was shown Natasha did. They, they did the fabric first, and then they made the cloth. Now, this has been coated three times. And you can see it's got that. I mean, you, you don't lose. In fact, it gives, it gives it an extra sheen, doesn't it, to the fabric. Um, right, now, you see, now, what we're saying is... All right, right. What we're saying is, is you can make a wash bag. Now, some people said when I did it last time is, I don't want the outside to be crunchy like that. Well, what you can do is you could coat the lining... Coat the lining, you see, 
And so the inside is waterproof, and then the outside could still be. But if you've got, you see, this is brilliant. Now, when I was on the other, so they made, they, they coated all the fabric before they made it with these. Then I was on with Rebecca Reed, you know, crazy Rebecca Reed the other day, and she said, you can just coat. So these, she made these in, uh, was it that one and that one? She made these in her show, a, a show before that wasn't an Oji coat show, and then we coated it with one layer. So that's one layer of eau de coat on both there and there. So you can see it doesn't take anything away from the fabric, but they're now waterproof now. Now you must be saying, well, how waterproof, John? How waterproof are these? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I will show you. Um, what it is, nobody believes me, do they? Oh, no, I'll have to do that one there. Right. So here's your bag. You got this, Michael. Bowl of water, in the water. Look at the way the water just... Um, you know how it, how the water, I'm just putting it back there so it's tilted off, but look how the water, the droplets will just come off. The droplets will just come off. I've got a little towel here. Oh. Means you can change your fabric. You know, you know like if you've got a favorite cotton, it's best on cotton. They do say you can use it on other fabrics, but I wouldn't do it on silks or anything like that. But if you've got your favorite fabrics, you want to make them. If you've got like a little, look, because look, the inside's dry. The inside is dry. I don't know if you can see that there's wadding in there. But the inside is completely dry in these. There's no, no, none of the moisture has gone through to the inside. So if you've got your favourite fabrics, what you do is you just cover it with your eau de coat. Um, and I, we did ask, oh, I haven't got my glasses. It might be on the new packaging. Somebody asked how much a whole, you get 250 millilitres for £14.95. The, the, that one that I threw at Munch, right, we had done three shows and Hannah had taken it home and done a makeup bag. And then she had to bring it back because we realised she'd got it in her house. Um, uh, Basically, and there were still loads left over, so you can do lots and lots of fabrics. So, that's your eau de coat. Sorry, oh, sorry. That's your eau de coat. Uh, coating there, and it's brilliant. Waterproof adhesive gel, it's called. Now, the only tip I would give is one, if you use a paintbrush, uh, wash the paintbrush straight away afterwards. And two, if you do it with your bare hands like this, later on you will have, it'll look like you're shedding skin because it makes like a plastic coating, doesn't it? So, now remember as well, if you're a brand new customer, I haven't got one here so I can't show you, you get a free sewing kit. You get a free sewing kit if you spend over £10 on your first purchase. I've got a bit of over there. Anyway, it's time to go and see Jennifer. Come with me, come with me, come with me because we need to look at this. Hello, Morning. you. Mwah. Happy to see you. And you. Now they have to take a still. Hold that because they need to take a still of it. Right, are you ready? Oh, they're going to take it like that. Is that it? Done. I thought you wanted us smiling, not just the cushion. <laughs> um, remember, get your questions in. If you've got any questions or messages for Jennifer, get them in because they come on our, our tablet here now. Um, oh. Now, this is gorgeous. We're doing a kit so you can make this cushion from the kit. Now, before you go, 37 pounds and 95 pence. Wait till you see what you get in the kit, right? Wait till you see what you get in this kit. Um, we'll, I'll do the one you've made first, right? Have we got, we've got a picture of it here. You can have a look at it there. You only get a book. You only get a book. I'll go through the book. It's the K Facets Brilliant Little Patchwork Cushions and Pillows. You get the red dotty fabric. You get the lovely cream background fabric there. And... And you get that lovely charm pack there. Oh, well, I can't reach. I'll get it for you in a minute. That lovely charm pack. So that one is this one here that Jennifer's already made. Now, um, oh, hang on. I've got it here. I've got it here because I can tell you how much I've got of everything. So we've got uh, half a metre of the ivory, half a metre of the bright red fabric, and then the charm pack and everything. Then I'll put that there. Right. So should we look at the book? Mm. Uh, did you enjoy making this? Oh, no, I know what I should ask first. I know you enjoyed making it, but are there any things we should watch out for? You're talking about what yes. we discussed earlier? Yes. Yes. Uh, the imperial to metric conversions are a bit out. So if, so, you, if you follow all the inch imperial yeah. measurements, yeah. you're fine, but double check the centimetre. Yeah metric measurements that's all because some of the times when they convert it from inches into centimeters it doesn't quite yeah. tally up and normally that wouldn't matter but it's going to matter here because you're it's it's all about precision this it isn't very it? much is yeah and as you know i trained as a metric pattern cutter yes. and i think it lends itself to body measurements but i think inches lend themselves to this yes 
So, so I followed the inches. I worked well. entirely in inches. A lot of our patchwork and quilting ladies do work in inches anyway. Yeah. So it's like I think it, it goes with the yes. project. So now, how, oh, these are lovely. There are how mm. many projects? Are in? There are so many projects in here, aren't there? There are, All, and really oh, good instructions as well in terms of binding, how to put the binding on and that sort of thing, which is on a separate page. Oh, that's like that great big... Um, page. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> That's like a great big quilt. He does a flower quilt, doesn't he? I know. He? I went to his exhibition at the American Museum in Bath and it was wonderful. Oh, wow. So the, you can't buy the book on its own in this kit because it comes in the kit, but it sells at 16 95 normally. So, so, so then just, just take this. So, so 16 95 then you've got two half metres of fabric. On one kit, you've got the cream and the red spot. In the other one, you've got the lilac and the lilac spot. You've got a charm pack and you've got threads as well. I just think it's a brilliant. So where do we start? How do we start? Oh, you can need the iron on? Yes, please. Okay, I'll just put it on now and let it yes. warm up. So I've right. got my little piece of fabric in here. So I looked at this. Sorry. I read the instructions yes. first. And went, ooh, over the charm pack, which is, ooh. I've, I've admired his work for so many years. It was really exciting oh, to no, open it up. Oh, no, beautiful, yes. So they've, um, they tell you exactly how many. So they've coded each square right. or each group of fabric. So A, five pieces of A, four pieces of B. So, so you know as how the charm many pack isn't so identical to these, no, of course. what I did was I cut three inch squares. Did you, I was gonna say, did you decide before you, so you opened your charm pack, did you go, this is going to be my A, this is going to be my B? I cut them all into three inch squares first. Right. Because I thought right, if I got the scale absolutely right, that would be a good starting point. Right. And then, Yes, I decided that was going to be my A, that was going to be my B. Right. And I laid them all out without the um, lilac strips yes. or the cream in that case. Yes. And then stood back and walked away. And a bit like when you prune trees, went away, had a cup of tea, came back and had another look. I was going to say, because <laughs> it might be that you've gone, oh, this is my A, my B, my C, my D. And then there's a repeat of C there and everything or whatever. Yep. But... You might come back and go, well, I don't actually like that exactly. zigzag there. There's a lot so, to be said for getting a bit of a distance and, and then returning come back to it. it. Because yeah. even though they tell you where to put the pieces, your personal choice might not be that you want A there and there. You might want A there and there or something. So you yes. can move them around. You don't have to make it exactly as they say. But this is how they've suggested mm. to get a balance, you would work it out. And because of the quantity and the types of prints that are in the charm pack, F, for example, that's an F, and I've also chosen that as an F because there aren't enough pieces right. to make all the Fs out of that. Oh, okay. So okay. I kind of went with similar ones. So that's an F, and that's an F. Okay. So using, I'll just put that to one side because we need to work. We need to cut the things out first of all from the charm pack. How did you do that? Well, they're all beautifully simple three-inch squares. Right. So using the rotary cutter. Uh, what you've got in the graphics at the moment is this lovely, big, huge cutting mm. mat there, £39.95. And, and then the lovely rotary cutters that Jennifer's using are the, are they the geometric ones you've got. Mm. Yeah, the geometric rotary cutters. Now, yeah. you're like me, you're dressmaker based. Yes, my so, background is with scissors. Yes, However, exactly. I'm comfortable yes. using these and they are absolutely the right tool for this. Yes. Scissors just... Aren't, aren't well, no, amazing. exactly. So the rotary cutters are there, the geometric design, 45 millimetre, which everybody wants, £13.95. Uh, when we went to that thing, what was that thing called, Hayley? We went to um, the Sunday sewing thing. They'd all sold out. The Fiskers had all... These are geometric and the, and the floral. They come in geometric and floral, sold out completely. Now, why would you say that rotary cutters were better for, or good for doing this rather than scissors? Um, because of that lovely clean line, which... And also, you're keeping it absolutely flat. What you get with scissors is you'll be raising the fabric up slightly. Yep. And it, it could be done, but this is the right tool for the job. Yep. Okay. I also wanted to minimise waste because you could use those little slivers for another project. Of course, yes. So lining up the three inches. There's the rotary cutter in its packet. That's how it comes. I'm focusing, focusing on the top, not because we've got measurements oh, on yes, the top, yes. oh, measurements yes. underneath. Don't use the measurements on the so bottom. So if, if it looks the slightly skew if on there, I'm not being inaccurate. I'm focusing on this one. Yes, yes. And, of course, the ruler cane comes from Rachel the ruler. I'll tell you about that in a second. Oh, really good. So lining it up and checking from above. 
So it's nice and accurate. One, two, three. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, three yeah. inch scale, she said, yes. Yeah. I was doing my measure twice cut once then. Yeah. So the cutting um, took a while. Yes, but you can, what because you could do is you could layer up, if you know which ones you're going to cut, you could layer them up and cut through two or three at a time. Yes, especially when the blade, I'm just going to go through, that's one thread there. Uh, yes, you could, yeah. Uh, and also, um, you could also, we had the road, we had the, um, we didn't see it, but Mandy had the, uh, um, no, 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 the, the cutting mat that turns, you could it's so easily do it on that as well. Then you have to even move anything, you just move the board round, don't you? Yeah. Right. So there are 24 of those. Yes. And that could be used for something else. Yes. <laughs> so so that, that means you can only get one square. If they're three inch squares, how big is one of yeah. these? You one can only get one that square amount out of, of wastage. There. Yes. Yeah. But I'm sure there are projects that. Oh yeah, we weren't saying wasted. We were just saying put bits. it to one side, put it in your stash box. Yeah, yeah. But you can. Only, I was saying earlier. Oh, you get four squares out of that for that. But no. Okay, that's the ruler. Like I just said, the Creative Grids, Rachel the Ruler. What's brilliant about this? You've got your 45 degree line on it. You've got your inches. You've got them in black, and you've got them in white. Um, and you've also got these um, uh, little uh, discs of non-slip resin on the bottom. So when you're just moving things around, it fits beautifully. And then as soon as you put a bit of weight on it. They don't move anywhere. They don't move anywhere it's at all. They're brilliant like that. And, and whatever colour fabric you're using, the black, she's done the measurements in black and white, so you can see them if it's a light or a dark fabric. You can always see the measurements. Right. So we've cut out our 20 24 squares. squares. Yeah. And all the measurements are in the book. And like I said, I go by inches. Right. This is the, now, this, set, this is the second kit we haven't shown you yet. This one is the purple kit, where it's the same K facet. You get that. No, you don't get... Uh, you get the same uh, charm pack, but it's in a different colourway, the purple colourway, with the purple spot and the purple fabric. But you still get the book and you still get the thread there as well. To make to, to $37.95, I mean, just to get the book in there as well, with the fabric and the charm pack and the thread, is a, bri a brilliant price. And for a gorgeous finished product as well. Uh, but of course, you can use it to do any, a lot of the projects in there because mm -hmm. they're little patchwork cushions. So you could use this fabric for other Definitely. projects in there, not just this one. Yeah. That's right, isn't it? OK. I've numbered my rows as well to okay. make it ultra clear. And this is just masking tape that can easily be yes. peeled off. But it makes it so much easier when you then are going to sew it. Of course. That nothing gets confused. And you right. don't end up with them in a different order to the order that you've thought when it's on the table. That's yes. how I like it. Yeah. So that's... I've just got a couple. I was going to show how important it is that that is a quarter inch yes. seam allowance. Because if it's slightly more or slightly less, it throws the whole thing out. And you don't get that nice linear Yes, because you're having to do there. all of, all of these have to match exactly, don't they? Because yeah. as you say, if one is slightly out, what either that way or that way, you're going to notice it. Well, I'll do it on the, I'll do it on the finished thing here. Imagine if one of those were out, it's not going to have that same impact, is it? Okay, right. So your so you you sewed them together in rows. I did. So row one, row two, which I've attached the border. Yes. As I call it, but sashing um, to each of those. And then I've got row four here that needs a press. OK, we'll do that in a and second. And they're all pressed to the dark side. OK, so hang on. So we're, st we're still making this to start with. Yeah, you this make is this row three I've got here. OK. So I was just going to show how to sew the pieces yeah, if together. You mind. But it's a simple quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm sure everybody's very familiar with that. But I just didn't want to miss out any stages. No, 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 of course not, no. And I'm doing a little reverse at the beginning and end as well. So the Now, why are you doing that? Because our quilting ladies, you're doing because you're a dressmaker like me, your quilting, our quilting ladies don't do the backwards. Well, backwards. I thought it would make it more secure. And when I scrutinised the photo in here, it looked like they had. Oh, OK. So that's why I decided to do it. There's no such thing as wrong. <laughs> They're just saying in the gallery, I'm always wrong. But everyone, everyone does have their own different ways, don't they? Yeah. As long as it ends up being accurate and you enjoy making it, that's exactly. what counts, isn't it? Uh, mine or Jennifer's? Oh, right, somebody wants to know what my shirt is. It's dragonfly fabrics, cotton, and they're dragonflies, coloured dragonflies. So 
I was going to say. Print. Right. So and you just stitch it. Well, while they, when they say, oh, actually, I should get the iron out, I should know while you're doing that, so we can iron. And the um, pressing, I've got another message coming through in a second. Pressing each row makes a really diff really big difference to when you actually attach each row to yes. this strip that's in between. Oh, now you see, when you have this great big cutting mat, there's not enough room for the ironing board cover as well. Hasn't come through, Hayley. There's no message come through. Right, so that's a complete row three. Trees are in the Isle of Wight. Ha! Oh, hang on, I did a whole metre with one coat and still had a fifth left. Oh, tre oh for the oh. undercoat. Oh, thank you, Teresa. So you did a whole metre with one coat and still had a fifth left. I think you can, I think it depends how much you put on, but yes, there's a lot of fabric you can put in there. Hang on, so, yeah, that's on. So this one's already got the strips added horizontally right, that just on needs so pressing we, so we have well, so what you and start off one, with is you make all four yes. rows like this yeah so it's six squares and then uh, the strips okay, in between so all of these mm. all the measurements for the strips in between are all written in the book yeah the really book. really clearly as well that's where the piece of fabric is in there yeah so. It's not like Cave to do instructions. Normally his books are um, kind of, um, they, do, they do blocks and everything like that, yeah. but they're more about the inspiration, the colours and his fabrics, yeah, so aren't it's, they? it's sectioned, sashing, binding, backing. Okay, How just many go through these. So, so these are, what do they call these then? They call those central panels, do they? Uh, yes, yeah. And then the sashing is the, this go, the bit that goes between yes. the colours. Yep. Yeah. So those... And then the binding is what will go round the outside eventually, isn't yeah. it? I'm just going, because they've got yeah. sashing, banding, yeah. backing and yeah. patchwork strips. All separate. Yes. So, so if you've if you not done anything for this, this is a brilliant one to start with. A photo of them laid out yes. as well. And then a photo of one row yeah. joined together. And then that will be then sashing that as well going between the rows with the sashing the either side well. of it. And then... All of the rows. It's really being put well together. described how to do it, isn't it? Useful with photography. All photographs yeah. and everything. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, and then there's a separate page that gives you more detail all about attaching binding. Okay, we'll get to that in a yeah. second then. We'll get to that. Uh, hello, Margaret. Uh, good morning, John. Do you sell the Dragonfly fabric? I love it. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. But I have suggested we go to Claudio Lugli and sell some of his fabrics, but I'll find mm. out about that for you. So oh, Sandra's. Oh, hang on. Sandra, Sandra's got this kit, apparently. And Janice. I, I, she's confusing me now. <laughs> so, well, so what are you doing now, sir? I'm turning it over. Right. And I'm going to press these quarter-inch seam allowances. Are you going to press them way? all the same way? Yes, I am. Okay. To the dark side, as they say. Yes. And then I'm going to turn it over and check it, that there are, you know, that all the fold lines are nice and neat. Now, can you iron, is it all right to iron with um, masking tape on then? Um, well, I'm focusing on that, that bit, section. so yeah, to be honest, be the, so yeah, the sole tape, plate then. doesn't really come into contact with the yeah. masking tape. Like there, it just needs folding back a tiny bit more. Yeah, I'll show, uh, what I'll do is, in, when I get back, I'll show you the two colourways that's available, so. And then, a little bit like I do with garment construction, I find a midpoint and mark it. Very right. much like when I um, have made skirts and things on here. So I'm just going to do a dot in the absolute centre. So that's on the... And what's that? Why are you doing a dot? Because I want to match the centre of that to the centre of this. Okay. And it gives me a reference point, as oh, well as lining all of those up. The sashing is already on yes. from the row before, of yeah. course. Yeah. I want to match up all those lines. So I'm going to pin it in place, but I want a central reference point. Like that. OK. And so that's row three. So that'll yeah. go there. And then I'm just going to fold that over. put a dot for matching and then right sides together mm -hmm. so 
So checking that's row three. Now this is where I found it's really important to the pins to line up those. So I'm, I'm going to pin and then fold it back like that to okay. check that it's in line. Because a couple of millimetres that way yeah. and it would really jar when you exactly. look at it. All right, while you pin that, I just, people just want to see what the two different options are. I don't know, can I stand at the end of the table here? Is that going to be all right? Only because the, then I'm out of the way then. Oh! Hang on a sec. Too many things on the table. There we go. So we're going to do the... Oh, which one are we going to? This is the red one that we're doing first. It's re, this is the finished, this is the finished um, item. And you get everything you need in the kit... To make that, you get, get everything. I'll go through it all with you now, right? But this is the red one. You obviously don't get the cushion filling. You have to do the cushion filling yourself, right? Uh, I, but if you go to our website and have a look, I think we have got, we might have a cushion filling that shape. I know there's a sausage one. I know we've got square ones in different sizes, but please, please check. Am I looking at the right camera? It just feels like it's looking somewhere else, that's all. <laughs> anyway, 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 sorry. I sound very um, amateurish, don't I? But I just, uh, right, okay. So this is what you get in the kit, right? So you get the book, right? Now, just because we're giving, we're getting all, giving you all the fabric, I'll go through the book with you in a second, but you don't have to do the uh, project that Jennifer's doing there. You can do any of the projects in here, but what we're getting you, giving you for $37.95 is this book, which normally sells for, was it $16.95, just say? Normally sells for £16.95. In the kit, you get a reel of thread, you get the book, you get half a metre of the red spot, and you get half a metre of the cream, which are beautiful as well. And this, now, I don't know if I can open this or not. You know, it's the Kaif Facet Classic Collective in red. Right, that. You get 30 pieces, they're five inch squares for £37.95. So that's the red kit, that's the red kit. And then the purple kit is this one, the same thing. You get the book. You get the book, which I'll go through in a second. You get half a metre, I think that's... Um, is, uh, well, hang on, does it say what colour that is? I think that's um, mist, something mist, isn't it? Mauve mist or something like that. And then you've also got the lilac spotty fabric. And then you've also got the, the charm pack there as well. That's the kit in purple. So half a metre of the... I'll do up. Half a metre of the lilac spot. Oh, violet. Half a metre of the violet. You also get the K-Facet uh, Classic Collective uh, in purple. And the book... And you get the thread as well. And you get the thread as well. OK, what we'll do now is I'll take one of the books with me and I'll go through. You all right there? Mm -hmm. So that's row four, pressed. OK. I'll just take you through the book very quickly and then we'll get back to Jennifer's cushion. Because there are so many different projects in here. If you look, even from day, from day one, page one, look. You see, you could make that... Oh, actually... Isn't that, isn't that some of these fabrics we've got here? That's insect fabric. We've yeah. got that dot fabric we've got in this one. Yep, and that one. Yep. So, um, again, it's a beautifully photographed book. It all comes in the kit. You don't get it separately. You get it all in the kit. Full instructions of how to do it. Look, aren't they lovely? All of these could be made from um, charm packs and pieces of fabric that you've got. Oh, stash in your stash at home. Really, really beautiful, isn't it? That's nice. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? That's more like an applique one, isn't it? Mm. That, um, all the, that all colours. come in the book. So you get this book in the kit. So you might not want to make any of these. You might keep this book for something else. You might use that stash of fabric for some, all that fabric to put in your stash. And you might keep the, the charm pack just to have at £37.95. You can get it in the red, which is at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't say it, does it, at the bottom? At the red at the bottom and purple at the side there. Just If you're on the phone, just ring the call centre. Or if you're just clicking on the web, you'll be able to see which, which one. They're both very, very, very popular at the moment. OK, back to the demonstration. <laughs> so I've pinned it together and checked that those line up. Because yeah. like I said, I actually sewed one of those and then I stood back. And it was just two millimetres out, but it looked really skew Yeah. So it's really important to check that. And I put a pin in each one, so there shouldn't be any moving going on. So that will, I'm going to sew that. Yeah. And then I'm going to pin that one, because I find if there's too much attached, it's quite distracting. So I'm going to look yeah, at it row now, by row. Also, you've got the sashing already attached, that one. Whereas yeah. would you, if you were doing this, do this and then put the sashing on there? Yeah. 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 
different ways of doing it. Yep. All the instructions are in the book as well. Uh, it's a brilliant book with all those different patterns in it. So again, you've got to be aware of precision with this pattern. So it's a quarter of an inch uh, seam allowance. And I'm sewing with the seam allowances facing me so that they don't, they're not underneath and they yes. can't flip yeah. to one direction or the other. Just get my no, hurdle, which oh, disappeared got, under yeah. the table. Slippy floor. Yeah. That's going to need a quick rethread. Oh. Go. You know how sometimes it comes yeah, yeah, yeah. back out of the needle, so I'll just pop it the right way and carry there on. There we go. You're bobbing, oh yeah, bobbing, sorry. Yes. That just happens sometimes, don't know why. I think sometimes when, it's, when you start right on the edge of fabric, have you found that yeah. ever? Oh, yes. When the feed dog isn't doing back. enough yeah, exactly, work. Exactly. Um, people are loving the fact that we're doing uh, kits like this because it means you haven't got to pop out to the shops. You've got everything you need to make the, the, this cushion. Apart from the cu cushion pad, you've got everything you need, haven't you? You've got the fabrics, your thread, your, your choice of fabrics, your backing fabric and everything like that. So we're just, just stitching now the uh, row C, or the th no, third row, mm -hmm. onto, um, uh, and you're, you've got the seam allowances facing upwards so they don't get caught. Yes, and then I'm making sure, because you see as I approach that, it probably wants to flip towards yes, me. Yeah. I'm just going to make sure it sews over it like that. It goes under yeah. the foot in the right way. Yeah, now you use your fingers to do that. I do. Uh, Janice uses her, her seam ripper to do that. Just hold it. It's called the Janice ripper now. <laughs> Uh, just so you know, the red is the, it's selling faster than the purple. At and a third of the stock has sold out already. And we're only, what, halfway through the show. And I'm using cream. As you can probably see, I used the a colour match lilac thread when I was doing yep. the prep in my sewing room. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But this shows up better in here, in case anybody's thinking. Oh, yes, exactly. That's a bit... Uh, yeah. Odd. Um, it's a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Striking, striking design, isn't it? The, the a juxtaposition of the cream with the vibrant reds and oranges within there. As well, also, I suppose, if you didn't want, this is like a pillow shape, isn't it? If you didn't want a pillow shape, you could always, could you stop it off at four? Uh, four. You could stop off at four there and make a square. Mm. Couldn't you, if you wanted to, if you had, if you had a favourite pillow yeah. that you wanted to cover, or cushion you wanted to cover, just do four and four, that would be and nice. then it would be a full square, and then you'd just lose those two there. Yeah, that would look good. So I'm just going to check that I'm happy with that. Am I happy with that? Just checking it's lined up still. Are you happy with that? Mm, not entirely happy with that oh. one. I have to be, yeah, I have to I'm be honest. Girl. Are you? No, it's your thing. You see how easy it is no, for got something to move. Like still see it. <laughs> well, you can, well, the other thing you could do mm. is you've got your ruler. Yeah, yeah, well. See how easy it is for the fabric yeah. to move even though I pinned it. Yeah. So I'm happy with the others. I'm she, not... now, she, now, the thing is, this is the difference, right? You're a perfectionist. You don't pick that. I'd go, oh, it looks quite nice like that, and I'd carry on. I'd press it into place now. So I'm not going to unpick, no, okay. but just... But would you, press, would you press this now? Before you I'm going to the sew next row one. four. On. Oh, you are going to sew row four before you do that. Yeah, so that we can get an idea of the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, because we want to talk about the backing as well, because the backing yeah. goes so beautifully with it. I just it? want to be honest and say that one is a couple of minutes. What you don't which... want is people sitting down going, oh, she's off on that one, yeah. and you not mention it. <laughs> that Jennifer Mills. Ooh, very inaccurate. Yes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same process with this. Yeah. And then we've got. The backing. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll press that backing while you stitch that. And then that overlaps by quite a lot. Yes, because it's an envelope backing yeah. on this one, isn't it? Again, this is only one of the projects from the book. There are lots and lots of different projects that you can do in the book as well. So I'm going to mark my centre quickly again. I was going to say, I've not seen this book before. It's a lovely I haven't book, either. It? No, it's lovely. Oh, it might be a premiere, we'll just double check. Maybe Natasha or Amy have had it, but I definitely haven't had it before. The book's a premiere. You've never seen the book before. This is like a little workroom going on here, isn't it? <laughs> yes. See, we, I'd have the radio one. Yeah. If we were at home, doing this at home, would you have the radio Always. one? Always, yeah. 
six, or, well, six lots of people music. have us on in the background now, wittering on in the background. But um, when I used to, before Sewing Quarter was here, and I used to be making, I'd always have, it depends on the time of day, but right, I got a bit highbrow for a little while. I had Radio 4, used to have Radio 4. Know? Because it's not, because if it's a song, say if Steps, Afraid of the Dark comes on, you see, I'd stop and I'd sing and I'd do the dance routine and everything. And then, carry, whereas if somebody's just talking in the background, <laughs> then you don't stop, do you? It's just like white noise. You do the whole dance routine. I know all, well, I don't know the dance routine to Afraid of the Dark, but I know all the others. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, do you? Of course. <laughs> That's tragedy. I've seen oh, them on everything, I'm afraid. Wow. Anyway, Claire's lost a lot of weight, hasn't she? Yeah. I don't think I'm in on Tuesday. I'm not in on Tuesday. Oh, yes, I am. Tell the fear by I'm in on Tuesday. Hang on, how come I'm in on Tuesday then? Oh, OK. Yeah, I'm in on Tuesday. I'm in tomorrow. I'm in tomorrow. <laughs> Why? So can I treat that one as an example of how easy it is for it to, to make be, it wrong? Uh, yeah, to, well, to it's be not slightly wrong. out. The thing is, Audrey Gee, who was my brilliant dying teacher, she used to say, if you wanted it absolutely spot on every time you get a machine to do it, you know this one's handmade by Jennifer. Because I always go back to when I was hand block printing and it was one up, two down, one up, two down. I got to the end and I had three up and I was like, oh, oh no, I've got to start all over again. And she went, no, you haven't, because that makes it a John Scott original now. I like that If you went philosophy. to the department store to get one of those, they'd all be identical and clean, and mine were all blotchy around the edges, like potato prints and things. This anyway. is true. I think maybe it's finding a balance between yes. those two. And also, if you're going to live with something, I think there's a lot to be said for looking at it and feeling... Yes. ..really that lovely sort of feeling of joy and pride that you've made it okay and my eye would keep going to that thinking yeah, if only that you. was two mil over anyway you could put that bit with another cushion over the top of it so it <laughs> or always it. cover it with your hand yes. no i would move <laughs> People i would move go it around, like this. <laughs> come in do sit down <laughs> right come on what we do yes so i would um go i'm not going to do that right now but i I definitely would shift that one. I also think that when you press it, it might make it look better when it's pressed. Do you think? Yes. <laughs> I'm convinced. Are you? Right, I'm going to look at something in this book. It's a premiere, this book. There's so many, there's so many projects. Oh, look at that. That's like tumbling box, isn't it? But it's called shadow box, that one. That's nice, isn't it? I'll just wait. There we go. Look, there it is. That looks like, yes, it's like a sock drawer. You know those things you can buy for sock drawers? I haven't got one, obviously, but... I do wear socks, but they're all black, so it doesn't matter which ones you pull out, does it? That's the one we're doing there. I just think there's so many... That's called the stamp collection cushion, ours. It's called the stamp collection. You see, Hannah loves ones like this, doesn't she? Our Hannah producer, who's happily in Cuba at the moment. Boring us with her photos. <laughs> well, she put a film on of her going along in the street, and if she's on a bike, it's a very tall bike. I'm telling you that much. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's like that beautiful Kenyan fabric, that traditional Kenyan fabric, isn't it, that one? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, it is. It definitely is. Anyway, sorry. So they, the... they look like stamps in an old-fashioned stamp Well, that's mostly book, it's called stamp, they? isn't it? Yeah, yeah, whereas I was just looking... When the different. background was cream, particularly. Yes. I think less so when it's this colourway. Yes. But, yeah, with that. Is, what's his next? Pressing? Yes. And then we can put Rem the backing Remember, wrong you get size everything together. in the kit. You get the, bo the book, the charm pack, the backing fabric, the... The, the uh, sash fabric for the front, you get half a metre of both of those. Uh, and the thread, there it is, there you see. So you get the book, the charm pack, the thread, half a metre of red spot and half a metre of the cream. Uh, that could be a spectrum solid there, Mako a spectrum solid. That's the red one for 37 95 Remember, the book sells normally for £16.95. Uh, and we also have it in purple. I'll show you the purple one now. I'll show you, I'll show you the, uh, what you get in it. Purple. Uh, you get, oh, it's, who took that photo? Who took that photo? Oh, well, it's purple on one graphic and green on the bottom. It's because the K-Facet, it is the K-Facet is a green collection. Mm. But they've, they've got a bit, so why does it say purple on one and green on the other, I wonder? Anyway, you get half a metre of the 
no, it's not lilac, is it? It's uh, violet. Violet, half a metre of the violet fabric, half a metre of the spot fabric. You get the book, you get the charm pack, and you get that thread, all for £37.95. So, well, I'm not going to sit and work it out, but if you think of the book 16, 16, you are making a saving, because the book 16 95, how much is a charm pack? How much, you know what I mean? How much is a real thread? How much, you know, you're getting a saving. You are making a saving. And there were some pieces left over as well. Oh, and there were some pieces, yes, left over. Because I've used and six you've got the L shapes as I've well. I've used 24. Yeah. Um, these were very useful, but we don't need them anymore. No, that, that, that's just talking about the masking tape thing. Yeah. Do you want to go back to your station? Or you got more earnings? I was do? just going to press oh, without these here, here so that it looked off, yeah. nice and crisp. Because I've got some names. Oh. Thank you for being with us, Carol, Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette, you're just down the road. Tessa. Oh, it's posh where Tessa lives. Joyce, Madeline, Karen, Mary, Colleen, Sandra, Maureen, Francis, and Carol. You've, they've all bought, how do you know they've all bought red ones? Oh, oh, I see, they've all bought the red ones. But Leslie, Janie and Marlene, make sure you check out your baskets if you want them, my love. Oh, yes, I see, at the top it says red, yeah. Very popular. It's fabulous, it's really striking. Uh, well, would you say this was a starter, a beginner, well, a starter or an intermediate project? I think a beginner could do this, yeah. definitely. It'd be a great project for a beginner. Well, it'd be also good because all, quilting is all about precision, isn't it? Yeah. And it'll be good to practice your precision. Yes. And it's nice not to rush either. No, 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 don't the rush. Cutting I mean, is, we always the cutting rush is because, fun yes. in itself. And then the laying out, like I said, it's nice to go away and come back and then have a fresh look at them. Yes. I tell you what would be brilliant. Have we still got any of those guillotine... Um, you know the combi cutter and ruler? Oh, it's sold out. So there are... Oh... Two more strips, so it's like it's framed. They yes. go down the side. Oh, you don't need to put ones down the side because you've already got the sashes at the top and the bottom. Yeah. So when these you're doing are the it. last two. They yeah. go like this. Okay. So I can attach those very quickly, and then that folded over yeah, like let's that. See, we will this. then match that that wrong sides together. Yeah. Okay. So do the two. Are you going to do the two sashes first? Yeah, because that won't take me long, nope. and then. And then we'll see how to do the back. Surprising how much more there's still to do here, despite the fact I already did lots and yes. lots of Oh, yes, of exactly. Rows. It's amazing, really, in a good way. <laughs> I thought I'd done masses of prep. Now you find your midpoint on that one as well, even yes. though just it's, it's just a plain fabric. You don't have to match anything on that one. I just don't want... I, I've measured them accurately, so I, I just want that reference point for the centre. Yeah. And also, it'd be quite useful matching to the backing as well. If you want one of the markers, there's a washable and the air erasable markers are on the website. We've also got those lovely um, pencils, retractable pe mechanical pencils now in green, oh. white and black, if you want those. Oh, and there's red as well, is there? Oh, I've not had a red one. Have I had a red one? Oh, no, I haven't had a red, no, I haven't had a red one. I had red, I had the multi one and then had the red um, paper underneath, the red tracing paper underneath. What are they for? They're for, they're, they're, you know, like uh, um, the, uh, when I went to school, it was the posh people had retractable pencils. You yeah, know, where you I use the one for pattern cutting because the lead is so nice and sharp. Well, that's what we're selling. We sell them in... Coloured ones. Grey or black, white, red Ooh. and green. So you can mark straight on the fabric if you want to mark straight on the fabric as well. Ooh. Anyway. Well, I'll have to get that. It's 9 I think you'll find. And you get six leads, six extra leads as well. Mm. And I was going, it can't be lead, it can't be lead. And then I read on the graphic, lead. <laughs> <coughs> oh, apparently it comes in yellow as well. We've not, we've not demonstrated the yellow one yet. Right, so those are just two short strips. Yep. They're different to all of the others because they're down yes, these sides. Yes, each side. So we're, we're, what we're basically doing is putting on these end... That's the it. ..the two end sashes down there. Yeah. Not the binding one, not the, um, not the spot here, obviously, the... Oh, again, so you're doing it again with the seam allowances at the top. I am, yeah. I always have the side facing me that needs the most attention. Yeah. What size stitch are you using? Uh, two. Two? Yes. Oh, yes, I can see now. I can see that now. Yeah, I couldn't see that. <laughs>
So these are the, just the two sashes down the end. That will then create, finish the front of the cushion. Yeah, sort of framing it all. Yes. And I'll go straight round to the other side. And I can snip those threads in a moment. Oh, you're tailgating. No, it's not called I am. tailgating. Well, it's I call it that now. Chain piecing. Because of you. Yeah, everyone's all called it because that me. <laughs> I called it tailgating, but it's not. It's chain, pie chain piecing. I don't even know the right terminology. But I know what we mean. Ooh, it's very warm in here, isn't it? It is very. It's on, the aircon's on. Mate. And there's quite a lot of thread snipping Maybe to do. Maybe I'm having a ma menopausal flush, that's what it could be. <laughs> oh, but you're having it as well. Maybe you're coming out in sympathy with me. There's quite a lot of thread snipping to do because of the number oh, of pieces right. that are all joined together. But I won't oh, okay. do all of that. That's a, no. that's a sit down but and enjoy. But they're all enjoy. inside, so you won't see those. I know, but it's important to need it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so okay. those are the last two border pieces. Border patrol. <laughs> it's amazing what a difference the pressing makes. It always exactly. surprises me. I bet you me. any money you can't remember which one it is now. That's like, don't, don't even look, just iron. What, you mean the, the, in terms of rows? Yes. Now that's to the dark side, isn't it? So it's that way. Okay, so we've got about nine minutes. That's plenty of time to finish your cushion, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, this large cutting mat we've just shown, which I've had to turn round, been very popular today. I've never, it's huge, isn't it? Are you going to put it in the bottom? Yes, that's you, Hayley. It's Hayley's first day producing, oh. as you say. She's not, she's not a trainee, she's a boss, but because Hannah's in Cuba and little Paul's, he'll still be in bed, I imagine. So, wrong sides together. Right, OK, so this is now, this is an envelope. If you've never done an envelope back, Hayley, you need to watch this. So the measurements are in the book. Yes. And I've turned over two hems of the same amount. I did that in centimetres. Yes. Two and a half centimetres. Yeah, so it's uh, just over an inch. Yeah. Twice. So enough, fa so there's obviously enough fabric to overlap that much. Though. Yeah, two, um, yeah, it's a very, um, a very good overlap. So there's no danger of that. You know when people don't do much of an overlap and, and the gates, cushion yes. like uh, this, pad is this. kind of... That's what it does, look. <laughs> the cushion pad's kind of oozing out the back of the yeah, cushion. Yeah, this is the cushion pad <laughs> oozing out the middle of my cushion. <laughs> right, so now you're putting right... Wrong sides together. Wrong sides together. Because then it's bound. Oh, it's of course. It's straight course, grain course. binding. Right. So I'm going to pin the corners and baste it all the way around the edge right. to attach the two together. Straight binding though, isn't it? It is, it's straight grain binding, yeah. And all the instructions are in the book about that with some really good photos as well. Good. On a separate page, all yeah. about binding. Oh, okay, so you just go to the binding page. Yeah. Let me try and find um, I've put a piece of card in that one, if that helps, oh, yes, on the binding you. page. Oh, yes. Attaching the binding. We're, 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 so, we're, first of all, we're just putting the two layers together, mm -hmm. wrong sides together. So you're almost finishing off with the seam allowance sticking on the outside because you're going to put a binding on. And then there's a whole section here on <clears throat> attaching the binding. Did it tell you how wide to make the binding and everything like that in the instructions? I'm yes, sure oh, there are patient. different ways of doing it. I've done a single layer of fabric and folded it in both sides. OK, brilliant. But I know some people do it double. Yes. So remember, the book comes within the kit. So the kit is £37.95. The one that's on the top of your screen there, the red one, you get the red polka dot fabric, you get the cream fabric, half a metre of each, you get the charm pack, you get the thread, and you get the book for £37.95. That's the one at the top, £37.95. The cutting mat, 90 by 60 centimetres at the bottom, that's just going. And we're going to put the purple slash green one in. Oh, just taking that one out. There you go, there's the purple one. We're, 
They're calling it purple and they're calling it green, depending on which graphics you look at. But you get the half a meter of the violet, half a meter of the lilac spot, the charm pack with 30 pieces in, you get the thread and you get the K facet, brilliant little patchwork cushions and pillows book. Everything for £37.95. Mm, yeah, I thought. Um, We've got, we got like about I three said, minutes left, I'm afraid. I thought doing all those rows would actually yeah, give me enough time. time. Yes. Yeah, well, it saved some time, but not yes. enough. That so be. that would be basted rather yes. than me actually basting that now. Yep. And then the binding that I've Would touched, you machine baste it round then? Yes, yep. on a stitch length about 4.5 and ensuring that it's within the bound edge. Yes. Now the binding is going to be sewn on six millimetres. Right. Which is. Just under a quarter of an inch. Okay, so let's have a look. So what you do is you've got your fabric, you just literally cut strips. Yeah, and because of the width of the fabric, it needs a join in it. Right. And I know I've taught people who find the joining of bias strips a bit confusing at this first. This isn't bias, this is straight, isn't it? Sorry, I meant um, the angle yes. that you, you join it on. It was the way I described it. Sorry, that wasn't clear. So it's straight grain. But instead of doing a straight join, which is more noticeable, yes. I've joined it on 45 degrees. On and the set, bias. set squares are really yes. useful for that. So when you put them together, so we've got one piece of binding, other piece of binding, and it helps to lay things out, I find, before you stitch it. It makes it clearer. Yes. If you lay one on top of the other. And what you do is you make you also lie it slightly up a little bit exactly. like that. Exactly, and so, that's the bit that sometimes yes. throws people. Yeah. Imagine your sewing line is there, so there needs to be an overlap like that, and at the bottom. Yeah. So there is a join, and I've pressed that open. I've okay. also pressed in both sides. Now, because there's a join, and then there'll be another join. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've got <laughs> to, uh, you, one disappeared, Haley. I've got just bought the lilac kit, can't wait, love all the shows, lots of love, Chrissy in Cornwall. Thank you, Chrissy oh, in Cornwall. Lovely. There was another one there before Chrissy's and it disappeared, because when you put another one in, the first one disappears, Hayley. Oh, Jane, I love this channel and can't wait for it to go on cable. No, neither can we, uh, as I can only watch it in the bedroom at the moment. Well, <laughs> Jane in the West Midlands. Now, uh, the thing is, Jane, you've done too many letters. It says, brilliant Oops. show, brilliant presenters, and I don't know what comes after that. Huh. We're going to change it soon. We're going to change that soon. Right. So I Thank would, you, though, for all your comments. I would think carefully because we've got a join and then we'll have another join. And again, the illustration, not illustrations, the photography in here is really good where it shows you how to overlap it um, so that it's another bias cut, but it's an overlap. Yes. Now, what I would suggest is that you lay it out and have a think about where those joins occur. It's a bit like, and you know how you said your eye always goes, or oh, we've only got a couple minutes, so I shouldn't tell this story. Your eye, always, your eye always goes to one that's quite right. I had a new bathroom put in when I first moved into this house, and you know the corner thing that goes around? The, I they, do. They do the join yeah. right above where I stand, and every morning I walk in and I go, oh, that really annoys me, and I want to sit behind me, above the door or All something like that. All in the like detail, that. isn't it? It's so important. So I would... You wouldn't do the join in the corner, though, would you? No, Because you've got to mine to the edges, yeah. yeah. So I would um, take some time to think about... And that will actually be sewn like that. And then you fold yeah. like that. And it ends it's up the giving it corner. It's in the, it's in the book, because we're not yeah. going to have time this morning to show you So how that's to do just that one, really but... worth thinking about, yeah. where, the, where both of those joins are, yes, so exactly. that they're not too lumpy on a corner and they're in a position that you're happy with. Okay, hang on. <laughs> See, I Nothing can't find gets them. past you, does it? Right, there's one. There must be another one somewhere. Jennifer. Where's the other one? The oh, hang on. <laughs> Is... I feel like I'm taking an exam. Right, I've... <laughs> I can only find one on this one, Jennifer. Good. I'm there's one. I'm not saying. I and also, um, I stitched inside those. I don't think we've got time for me to cover that, right. unfortunately. But instead of it just being a fold, I wanted it to have a bit more sharpness to it. Yeah, uh, what you normally do on the mighty corner is when you go round, you just stitch it round here. What Jennifer's mm. done is she slip stitched or ladder stitched it down. Is that what you've done? I actually machine stitched oh. the side. Oh, see, that's because I haven't got my glasses on. But you could, and also you could machine one side Wait, no, like no, this. Hands, it's not hand stitched though. No, I oh. machined it inside. But you could um, sew this right size together, fold yep. it over, and then that's a lovely sit-down kind hand of stitching. meditative hand sewing yep. 
slip stitch that all the way to the back. Brilliant. You're back in an hour. I am. What are you doing? Oh, we've got a lovely little top, aren't we, mm. Naz? Oh, no, you must watch in Naz's time. You have to listen carefully as well, Naz's time. Lovely little top coming. Thank you very much indeed. I'm leaving you for a minute because I'm just going back to the Odeco, but that was lovely. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Jennifer. Right, very quickly, lots of you asking about this Odeco that I showed you at the beginning of the show. It is the most brilliant um, invention. <clears throat> it, you coat your favourite fabrics, mainly cottons, but you can coat your favourite fabrics with this. And what it does, it creates like a waterproof, like an oil skin uh, layer on the top of the fabric. You can do it once, twice or three times, depending on which you want to do. Um, and uh, what you do basically is you get your fabric, you can either paint it on with a paintbrush or you can, uh, uh, they show you, if you look at the videos, the instructional videos on YouTube, they put it on with like an old credit card and then scrape all the excess off and put it back in the, in the jar. I find if you just put a fine uh, layer on with a, with a, you know, not a little, uh, not a toothbrush, a paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush. If you only want to do it once, then you do it and you leave it for two hours. If you want to do it twice or three times, which is what they suggest if you want full on, this one's been done three times, and I'll show you in a second. Um, uh, you, you put it on three, three times, um, but you need to leave an hour between each layer and then leave two hours at the end before you actually make it. Now, what um, Rebecca Reed was saying is she'd made these in a separate show and hadn't odecoated them, and then she odecoated them afterwards, and it worked perfectly as well. Um, and all it does is it puts like a plastic coating on top of your favourite fabric. And I'll just show you very quickly. And oh, no. Oh, I've spilt water everywhere. Um, Look, this one's been done three times, and look how the water just pours off it like that. And then, I'm just going to dry it with a towel, it doesn't go through to the inside. Now, what they're saying is, if you don't want the outside, if you're going to make a makeup bag or a wash bag out of it, <coughs> excuse me, they're saying, um, and, they don't, and you don't want the outside fabric to be waterproofed, what you could do is you just do the inside, because it's all dry in there, but you could just coat the inside lining and then it's, it's so, so if you've got a wash bag, you know sometimes you go away, you put a wash bag in your suitcase and it's got your shampoo in there and you get to the hotel and the shampoo's leaked everywhere like that. Well, if you've lined it with this, it's not going to have leaked anywhere if it, if it has uh, uh, actually burst. Um, it's brilliant. So this has been done three times. That's been done three times. £14.95. And now somebody emailed in earlier saying they did a metre of fabric with a pot and still had some of it left. Um, and people have been multi-buying. People are multi-buying, so if you've got lots to do. Also, we all sell out. We all sell out when we have this. Uh, don't go anywhere, because uh, Mandy Shaw's back. If I can... Um, I might not be able to talk in the next hour. My voice is going. Uh, she's got lovely... She's got the, um, the mouse. Pop in the mouse. Pop in. Pip in. Pip in the mouse. The lovely trug. And she's got the fabulous, fabulous quilt. So don't go anywhere. Mandy Shaw will be here in uh, three minutes... From now, I'm just watching Matt Munch countdown because he can't do it properly. Um, and we'll be back in three minutes' time. Go nowhere. See you then. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com 
visit our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Join us on the 9th of May when Jo Carter is back. Following her sellout show last month, Jo is back with her adorable unicorn toy project, this time in brand new colour options. Jo will talk you through the simple steps to make this popular unicorn softy, but be quick, this is sure to be another popular show. So join us on Tuesday the 9th of May at 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Look who's back. Look who's back now. It's um, Pippin. Pippin. Pippin the Mouse. Last time we had Pippin the Mouse here, uh, he, she sold out. Now, the reason I say he, she is because what you get in the kit is you get the fabric to make one Pippin, but you also get the fabric to make the dress and the dungaree. So if you want to Pippin her one week, then she's like this, and then you can change her into Pippin him in the dungarees. And I love the fact you get ribbon and you get the... Um, neckerchief fabric and everything like that. I'll just put the graphics in quickly on those because they're going to, that things are going to sell out again. I'll get you, bet you any money. They're so cute, aren't they? And gorgeous. So now what you get for that 22 pounds and 95 pence, you get enough fabric to make one mouse, but both outfits of clothes. Now, if you want this, please, please, please be careful because we had so many people missing out last time. The other thing I need just to warn you, if you do put it in your basket, that doesn't guarantee that you've got it, right? You need to check out, but you only pay one post of packaging. So you could check out on those and then see the next thing that Mandy's making and check out on that and then see the next thing that Mandy's making. Check out that, you still only pay one P&P for the whole day. It goes until midnight time. So that's Pippin, Pippin the mouse, right? Now look at this. This reminds me of Marjorie in, um, to the manor born, you know Marjorie, the posh neighbour who always did her gardening. Marjorie? Yes, yes. The, the guest, the friend was. Oh, yes, yes. You know the one, the, yes. the, uh, Marjorie Frobisher. That's right, yes. Marjorie Mar Frobisher. I don't mean, what's she, uh, Forbes Hamilton? Yes, yes. Yes, not her, the other one. Anyway, I just love it, I love it. And this comes in the kit, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. The trunk comes in the kit as well. £64, look. So, I mean, uh, Mandy's going to go through it, obviously. Look, 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 look. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just, that's something you're going to pass down from generation to generation to generation, isn't it? Lovely sewing basket like that. And you know what you could do? Last time Mandy was here, she showed you how to make all those different things, didn't she? The kit, like the, the, the little pin cushions, all go in there, all match, all works beautifully, doesn't it? Now, the next thing you've got to walk with me, this quilt that I'm going to show you, oh, I'm taking all this with me, this quilt that I'm going to show you now. Come over and have a look at this. Mandy, this is gorgeous. Yes, thank you. So in this kit, you get everything you need to make the top layer, the top don't layer, you? The top layer, and it's all beautiful, real, gorgeous, 100% cotton. Fly cotton. geese? Are they fly geese? Oh, wow! I'm learning, you see. I just love yeah. the fact... So it's really brilliant for somebody who wants to do different techniques. Yes. I'm, I'm, I never make a quilt with the same block. Never, ever make. So, and this is a very good one for a complete beginner oh, or, okay. or somebody who, who can quilt would like to knock up a quilt in a weekend. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I right. teach this now, all the time. What we've done is, that's the, that's the kit there, £84. It's brilliant. It's mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. We will, we're going to spend the majority of time on the quilt, aren't yes, we? Because yeah, yeah. it, is, it is just, we're going to we'll show you different techniques and everything. But what we're going to do to start with is, let's st start, are you starting with the trug or pipping? Oh, I'm, I'm going to talk about Pippin, because yes. they can watch right. the video, can't they? They can watch it on YouTube. Listen yeah. to her. Oh, they can watch it on so YouTube. Me these days. Right. Yes. So this is the kit that you yeah. get. This yeah. is the kit that you get. So all the instructions, you get the pattern pieces, yes. don't yeah. you? Now, I do need to warn you, this sold out. Last time yeah. we were on yeah. together, didn't it? It completely sold out. Lots of people missing out. So look there, you get the grey. Uh, it's like a wool worsted, is it? It, it is. It's ash coating. It's called coating. It's got polyester, uh, viscose, and uh, oh, okay. It. But it's it, it's called coating for making coats yes, out yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Then you also get like the blue denim fabric yeah. for the dungarees. You get the pink gingham fabric for the dress. Yeah. And you get there's some white fabric in there. That must be the neckerchief, neckerchief fabric. Neckerchief as well. Yeah, yeah. We ch uh, the only thing that's changed from the last kit was we've got a different colour pink. 
uh, a different oh, I see what print, you mean. printer piece. Oh, hang on, there's more. Oh, that's, that's there's rip rack, rack, there's ribbon, tape, there's yeah. eyes. Yeah. You everything you need, just just not the stuffing. Yes. Yeah. So everything you need, just not the stuffing. So they, are they on the picture? Twenty two pounds and ninety five. I love that ribbon with the. It's like a grow grain ribbon with a stitch detailing oh, going classy through. Classy done. Beautiful. Classy. classy. It's your middle name, isn't it? Yeah. And what's lovely about this pattern, as you can see from here, it's a two piece pattern. You just need two pieces. And it works, so you don't have to add arms, add heads, oh, they're all inclusive, see. so it's really lovely. It might be a four-piece pattern, it is, but what I meant is you don't have to add arms yes. or heads. Yes, so, so the arms and the... Yes, really, really lovely, yeah. yeah. So it's four are. pieces, yes. but but yeah. the front and the back, yeah, basically, yeah. so you're not... Like with the rag doll, we have lots to of add bits, the arms lots, and yeah. add so the legs. So this is really these. quick, and you can knock them up. Let my, I've been teaching the ladies, I always teach my ladies before I come to the, the TV. Oh, yes, so we know what, practice yeah, on your ladies. Practice on ladies. And they'd be knocking them up like no one's business. Erica's made to half a dozen, I think. You know, so so they're quick to make. And then of course you get the lovely little dress, beautifully designed here. Of course. Um, and you even get the velcro so you can put the. Um... So literally, you get every single yeah. thing you need. Yeah, except for stuffing. Apart from the stuffing yeah, yeah, to make yeah, these. And don't forget, you you can use an old pillow for stuffing or buy a new pillow if you haven't got a haberdashery shop. Or so it's that dress or the Dellen dungarees. And so it, so it's a really lovely quick fix. It's yes. a nice Sunday afternoon project. Great to teach young people how to sew. If you've got a, a beautiful oh, sort of yes. eight or nine year old granddaughter, she would be be able to do that beautifully. And you could. Oh, you say granddaughter, but you know Joe Carter, oh, who's yeah. our, she's got her two boys love no, sewing. No, absolutely. My absolutely. son does as well. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, I'm not... No, no, up. it's good. Um, actually, my, there's this, this story about my, grand, my son. Um, at Christmas, he wanted to make his sister some presents, and he was about nine, and he, I gave him some fabric and left him to it. And when I came back, he had made a beautiful little heart with blanket stitch. And I said, who taught you to do the blanket stitch like that? And he said, I didn't, I just... I just watched you. So, so by being creative around your family, it gives But you're, all teams. your family are creative, Yes, aren't they? they're lovely yeah. girls, yeah. Lovely. Uh, liberty scarves. Uh, we'll just say that. Um, right, now, I need to, I need to... I thought of something important I had to say then. I can't remember what it was. I'll come back to it. Yes. It'll come back to Full me. Full back. But, but that's what I was going to say earlier on. Don't forget, you can reduce your patterns. Just take it to the li local library or your local food shop. Yes. Um, play down a little bit and they would reduce it for you and you can make mini ones. But you, but my, my um, photocopier does yes, that. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So if you're a bit, ta you, you know, if you've got a, a grandson or a, a daughter or something that can help you, but you can reduce them on your own photocopier. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if you, like Mandy just said, if you want to see these actually being made, all you need to do oh, is yes. go to YouTube. Yes. Now, what, <coughs> what date? It's been about a month ago, wasn't it? It was exactly a month because I do, I come every month. Well, not exactly, you know, but four weeks ago. So that's again, Haley's wittering away in my oh, opinion, sorry. sorry. It was four weeks ago. I four weeks ago. Yeah. Four yeah. weeks ago today. So if you go to YouTube, look up Sewing Quarter, and then you can look up by the date, right? Yeah. So let's just show you these. This is the, this is, you, so in the kit you get enough of the coating fabric, the mouse fabric, to make one mouse, but you also get the fabric to make the dungarees and dress. the dress. Yeah. But you also get the ribbon, the little fabric for the neckerchief there. Look at the ribbon on the back of the dungarees. That's the ribbon I was saying earlier, I absolutely love. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice ribbon. It's a cotton ribbon. It's not nylon and shiny. No, exactly. No, 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 no. 8th of April at 8 a.m. Oh, that's right. That's 8. So if you look so, at that on YouTube, yes. which my ladies have, because they didn't know how to do yes. this, and you'll, you'll see us all over again. Exactly. All we, day. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> yeah. And you can, par uh, you can um, pause it. So if she's going to go into a difficult bit, difficult phase, <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> that. If she's going to a difficult bit, then you, she, sorry, Mandy, is going to a difficult bit. You can pause it, you can rewind it, you can, yeah. then I start talking, you can fast forward through all my, yeah. everything you need to know there. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, fast forward buttons. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you've made one, if you've made one already, send oh, a picture. Oh, yeah, I see it. You can only it. send in by email, though. You can only send in by email. Yeah, we'd like to see it. Lots of people have made them, because I've seen them. They, they show me on their websites yes. and things. So that is our pip in there. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we're not going to spend time, on, no. I'll keep, we, we need to uh, we need to uh, get on with the trug and the quilt, yes, don't we? Yeah. So what right. would you like me to do first? <laughs> Say that. What would you like trug me to do first? Trug, trug, first. trug. Okay. Uh, what made you come up with this gorgeous? Because this is a gardening. Oh well, this is really, um, isn't this it? is a genuine Sussex trug. Let right. me tell you that now, and not a Chinese copy, which no. you can get in all sorts of places. Yes. Industry. And this is made by the. I live in the area where they make these. Oh okay. And there's only four four trug makers or three I think or four trug makers left and uh, the one I get this this one from Robin he's um, he has apprentices is he watching he Robin. hopefully he's watching should be I told him to he <laughs> has apprentices young young people that he passed the skill on to I think apprentice the, the, 
going off sewing yeah. completely. Yeah, apprenticeships. I think yeah. apprenticeships are the Whereas best that, thing because yeah, you yeah. really yeah. learn yeah. how to do something. Yeah. You go to university and do any old degree yeah. now and then come out yeah. with... Anyway, yeah. I've stopped watching and, so, and so what he does, he's got a wonderful old village hall that he makes these trunks and they're handmade. That's why they're expensive, but they're not expensive. Well, the they're thing good is, value. I think if you went to one of those places, <clears throat> like those posh yeah. garden centres yeah. or a trunk centre... I think for, just for the truck, yeah. I think people would be expected to pay yeah. that much. But actually, don't forget, you can... What I want you to know, that these are made in Sussex, not China. There are ones... The imitations. OK, imitations. that's fine. Um, but uh, they're beautiful things. And they are, were made for gardening, and we do a larger one as well. Um, but... I um, made, thought this is amazing for sewing. My daughter thought it was a great idea to give us a baby gift as well. So you could do this oh, in baby yes. colours. It's very lovely. Anyway, so, in yeah. this kit, though. Yes, in this kit, you get the truck. The 64.95, yeah, yeah. you get the, the truck. Yep. Yeah, that's not on that picture. That's what threw me then. You get the gingham fabric. Yeah. You get that lovely, it's like really, a linen, yeah, it's linen good it's quality linen. And this is a beautiful now. quality check fabric. It's not yes, any old fabric, I exactly. promise you. Yeah. Um, foam interfacing, loving this stuff, loving this stuff. When we first made the trunks, we were using a different type of interfacing. Yes. And now we're using this foam interfacing. Like that's right foam in yeah. interfacing yeah. there. Yeah. Then we've got some uh, batting. Wadding. Wadding. Wadding, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, then we've got some... Iron, um, it's a fusible web. Fusible web, yes. bonder web yes. is yes. what we yes. call it. Then, I'm not going to open this, but you get rickrack, you get embroidery, red work. Red work, oh, you, you get, get you train. I love this. That's, that's French. French ribbon yes, with French, hearts yes, on it, look. Yeah. Then there's, that's, the, that's posh, that that's one French, there, posh no. rick rack, isn't it? Yeah. That's just, you're at Commoner Garden. That's French, rick rack. That's, not common, <laughs> to, that's not common at all, that's 100% <laughs> cotton. I did it just to rise, <laughs> get the rise. I don't do common. No, I, no, well, you're working well, with I, me, darling. I don't <laughs> oh, shame, <laughs> shut up. I forgot about that one. <laughs> um, piping cords. Yes, yes. Button. Yes. And, the, and French yeah. rick rack. Yeah. Le rick rack. Le rick rack. <laughs> right, okay. So what, what is it we're making here then? We're going to we make the do? lid, and if you look inside our, um, and the base to the trunk, this is my old, this is my trunk, so it's a little bit tatty, but right. you're making the base and this beautiful lid here. And what I've done is colour coordinated it all oh. with all the bits that you made last time. We didn't make that last time we were on TV. We made the, yes, we, we made, made the little dolly, the, things, the, and the scissors. Dolly. And, and the case, the sewing case. And we did yes, that some yes. time before, yeah, yeah. didn't so we? So all yeah. these things could go with your truck. It's like a little yes. collection of things. Yes. So this is what we're making the lid. And right, it... can we just have a look at the... It can take yes, the lid yep, off. Yep, yep. Does this just come out? Right, this is just good. This is just goes in the bottom it's of a, it. That's just because you always get pins and things. But and attention to detail, just for oh, the lining. Yes, yes, I think yes, it's yes. just beautiful, isn't it? So the instructions and everything yep. are all... Oh, there's the... Yeah. There's the linen, yep. lovely blanket stitch yep, going around yep. there, and then this beautiful red check gingham yep. fabric. A little bit of quilt, just a tiny bit of quilt. Yeah, only a little bit of quilt. Oh, you can I see. Mean... Oh, look. What happened? No, it's the gorgeous oh, heart. Right. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, nothing <laughs> went wrong. No one's going, oh, oh look. I, made saw, a I saw something wrong. Look, I've been practicing something on here. But I like a creative moment. Okay, I need to tell you, half the stock's gone. We haven't even started talking oh, about darling, it. Half the stock's gone. Oh, right, right, make the top. Show us how to make the top. So that's our stunning truck. And so what we're actually going to be making is this. Now, when we first made this we made it with thicker interfacing now we've got the foam interfacing yes. it's much much better and so we're going to do a little bit of red work first so right. the first thing you're going to do is um you're going to iron this is wonderful news for you guys yes because well, we have an iron on transfer which works six times up to up six, six times, times depending yes. on fabric and um and we, we didn't have this in the first set of trucks and you're going to iron your iron on transfer oh, yes, onto um that's a different that's another one as well there's two or three different sorts in there but this i've pinched yeah, this out yeah, got it. Oh, you've got, and it's also got your cross hatching on so in the first truck you had to work your own cross, cross hatching hatch out. yes cross hatch you know that cool. one yes oh, I, love I love i love empowering people with lovely things <laughs> and so we're going to and um, this is uh, we're going to stitch the red work designs first so the, this little design okay. here just go back quickly so yeah. all you've done is you've taken that yeah, transfer yeah, yeah. and ironed it you've off. ironed it onto yeah, there yeah. you can use that up to six times uh, can't yeah, you yeah. and so the print is on your yeah, piece yeah. of fabric sorry and I what just, you can do yeah. also is um you can cut this out and just use that for one of these little creative oh if you wanted to yeah, yeah, you want to. I think it's, so it's quite nice yes, that the way yeah. you've done it. Right? So it's, it, the iron transfers are very, very valuable. Yes. So you're going to iron it on and you're going to, I, I've cut the shape out to show you, but I would cut it out after you've stitched it, oh, okay. because, just in case your edges get a little bit frayed, okay? Yes. And what we're going to use is cotton abrode. Which is in there. Which is in the kit, which is a stunning DMC thread, which is just one strand, so don't try and split it. You 
we've had, right. that, we've had that story about yes. the lady that ruined her holiday because yep. she tried to split her threads yes. and it didn't work. And, and she, we, you ruined, she told me. She you ruined, ruined, ruined her, her holiday. holiday. And we're going to use, what needles are we going to use? A chenille 24, the most perfect little needle in the world. Um, I, I always use English needles. Okay. Very, very, um, just the most perfect size, shape and point. And they're only a couple of quid a packet and they're worth they're worth, exactly. it, they're worth it. We'll get those on our yeah. website. What size, it, uh, we had the question, it hasn't yeah, come through yeah. here. Noel has asked, what size is the trunk? Oh, well, the we thing is, it? That, well, you can't, oh. you can't do this. You can try and measure it. But what happens in life is each individual trunk maker makes individual size trunks. So that might be number five, but somebody else, there's three trunk makers. Right. And number five or somebody else isn't the same shape. But, but the ones that come in your kit will yeah. all be around yeah, that they'll, size. They'll be right around right? that size. They're Have you got size. a tape measure there, Munch, quickly? And and so what you it. could do, if you've, got a, if you've got a truck at home, an old inherited truck, you can just take the shape of the top using a piece of newspaper and transport this design onto, onto the that, onto that. So you can recycle. But you, in this kit, you get that you truck You get that anyway. truck, yeah. So yeah. I'll, I'll, no, I'll, we'll have a quick measure and it goes to be roughly around Yeah, they're normally, size. our ones are signed and uh, got a label on it, a yeah. beautiful label on it for Thanks you. Much. Okay. So, um, we're, so we're going to cotton a brode and we're going to red backstitch this yeah, beautiful Yeah, we'll watch you doing that now. Yeah, just okay. And um, I started, I haven't got any iron-on interfacing on the back here or anything because we're going to use a foam interfacing to put on the back and you can't stitch successfully through the foam. Oh, it, it, no, it of course. It sort of clings onto yes. it and it's very frustrating. Yes, exactly. So we're just going to, and it's nice and dark anyway, so we didn't need to worry about that. Uh, no, well, it's about 15 inches by about 9 inches, the actual truck itself. Just so you know. Yeah. So this is me doing a back stitch. Now I do a back stitch the size. Half the stock's gone, just seen no Oh gosh, I know. half the size of a grain of rice. Half the size of a grain of rice. And I'm talking about ordinary long grain rice. Long Uncle Ben's. Yeah, yeah. Uncle yeah. Ben's. Not wild rice. No. And not um, risotto. Well, you get bits in your teeth. Oh, That's yeah, arboreal. Yeah, 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 is that the? Um, is that the? Yes, one? yeah. So you're just going to do a lovely little back stitch through there. So and I um, I tend to do. I uh, say so my stitches aren't minute, but I have got girls. Uh, that work for me that, um, well, Mel, Mel and Iris make much need job of this. But I actually want to empower people with loving what you sew. Yes. Because I don't want you to compare with Mel or Iris. No, no. I want you to love what you're making. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna... That's what Hayley was just saying, down my earpiece, it's like what you've heard, you heard her. Oh, well. Not that you wouldn't yeah, have done. No, I didn't hear her, but this is love what you sew. So we're just, I'm going backwards for you, so you can, I'm, I'm going to go forward. Your shiny nails. Oh, I know, it's that, I do it especially for you guys. Oh, thank but you. I've broken quite a few off. Oh, no, I was lump, hump, humping boxes yesterday, and yeah. I snapped so many of mine. Yeah. Um, I love the flourish you have. You do a stitch. Yeah, yeah. What? And then flourish. <laughs> I'm so, <coughs> I'm, I'm so theatrical, aren't I? Yes. I do. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, it makes yeah, it means yeah. the threads in the right place yeah, every yeah. time, doesn't it? So obviously this is great. So this here you'd put in your, you'd have in your handbag in a little carrier bag. Oh, actually you wouldn't have in your handbag. You'd have it in your little pouch you made last yes, year. Yes, exactly. Last time. Last year. And, and you fold it in and have it when you're watching your son play cricket or football or, or on a train dance, to on Birmingham. A train, oh, on a train. Oh. In first class, in eating first your nuts. Class? Eating me nuts. It was very pre uh, It's better than an airplane. Oh yes. Better than better BA. Better than BA. Oh, shh, you can't say that. <laughs> Other airlines are available. Um, we've only got five of these left, just to warn oh, you. All right, OK, so let me stop that lot. That's easy, OK, yes. that's gorgeous, OK. Yes. So what you're going to do then is very lovely. This stuff has got sticky side both sides. You do need long, thin strips to go around the outside edge. So don't, oh, be, yes. don't be wasteful how you how you're going to yes. cut this. Look, look at how much you've got. Yeah, it's wonderful. You're going <clears> to <throat> iron that in place. You're going to iron that in place on there. I've got one I'll do it earlier, I'll show you. And you are going to um, watch your iron doesn't touch this because it's sticky. So, you know, just... Oh, do you know what you need? You need one of our Teflon. Oh, We've got these Max, special yes, Teflon. Yeah. You can see, find them on the web. It's like a Teflon pressing cloth that you could put yeah, on there. Perfect, yeah. absolutely perfect. Um, and so you're going to press that on there without any backing on it. You're going to cross hatch these lines. You're going to sew. But I'm going to so, do. So you've stuck this side to it. Yes, yeah. And then you do your cross hatching. Yes, yeah, yes. Cross so I don't want the backing. To, there's no cross hatching inside. Fine. We've got to use it as a lining. Yes. Uh, but what I would love you to do is experiment with threads. And I love using Orophils and Madeiras. I like, the button hole thread, button hole thread. Yes, yes, yes. You can use them all on your machines, yeah. but all you have to do is enlarge your needle. 
well, use a larger needle. Yes, yes. Sometimes you have to reduce the tension, and the tension might not be gorgeous on the wrong side. We don't mind that. That doesn't it's matter, no. But and also, it's just practice. It's, it's oh, yes. practice, so, practice, before so you the do more, the real so, thing. So when you do your cross hatching, you see, um, that's an ordinary thread, but I have done them with a thicker thread. It's yes. very, very lovely. Could you also do that by hand, if you had the time? You could, but this, this foam interfacing is a nightmare to oh, stitch through. Yes, okay. I so I, so I want you to embrace yeah. your machine as well. I want you to be yes. ambidextrous. Love your machine and love your hand Yes, stitching. of course. So you're going to do that beautifully, OK? That's very, very okay. nice. Now, this is the olden times when I didn't do, do it in this method, but that you can see how I've made the top. Yes. We would have already had this embroidered. OK. Yes. But we're going to put our lovely decorative tapes down the middle. Look at that. Yes. Very, very nice down the middle. And then we're going to put the piping around the outside edge. Because you get the piping, you get the fabric and everything, you get everything in the kit. everything yes. in the kit. So we're going to... Just going to talk to you about piping for two seconds. Yep. I've got the most perfect combo in my little head about piping. A number four piping cord. Right. Number four. Yeah. It's all, all in your kit, but don't use any other sizes. And make sure you've got the pre-shrunk one, because if you happen to wash this, which you're not going to no, wash no, it, no. Yes. Um, it would shrink. So use the pre And then I want you to have bias binding. Um, use bias binding. This is already cut for you in the kit. It will be cut and popped in the kit. We've, oh, wow. It's not because it's easier for us to cut them rather than give you too much Extra fabric. fabric yeah. Yeah. And the <clears> perfect <throat> size is one and a quarter inches wide. Right. And the perfect size with that you pop it inside oh, I here. I still love doing piping. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just tack it together um, on your sewing machine with a zipper foot. So right. Have I got time to do that for you? Would it be helpful or should uh, I? Uh, you haven't got a zipper foot on there. That's yeah, I've you got, got it, one inside. Yeah, I've got a zipper foot inside. <coughs> I love this machine and its little gadgets. So let's see if I can get as far as a zipper foot because this is quite exciting um, how you do this. And that combo, um, some zipper foots are nicer than others, aren't they? Do you yes. Do you think... I don't know if I can turn, move this round over. I want to move my needle over. I most probably can't do that without concentrating really hard. Thought it was that stitch there. Is it this? Is it one of this? Oh, that'll do that, lovely. That'd be. Oh, lovely. do you want to do the other way? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Just press it. I think if you just press it. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. No. Oh, no. Well, I'll show you. Yes. I'll try and do it back to front. All right, sorry. Um, so, you, so most machines, you can use your move your needle left or right. You most you can, on, can that, on, you them, on that one. But we can't yes, remember yeah. that quickly. I didn't didn't prep myself that well. So don't just get a bit of this. So um, don't forget, it has to be part bias binding because yes. we're on a curve. No way can you do this not on a curve. You can't. So, do so it. It has to be bias binding. Right. Has to be a bias yes. binding. Bias binding. Yeah, bias definitely binding. has to be a bias binding. So let me do that beautifully. And so this first line is going to be a tack. So I, oh, hang on, I will do it on the machine, but it will be a tack. So I'm not worried about... Uh, and because I'm tacking, what am I going to do? I'm going to enlarge my stitch. Yes. OK. And I love this beautifully. So just you see, you're saying you're doing it the other way around. That's the way I always did it. Uh, actually, that's the way I did it. <laughs> 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 oh, you pointed out things. We could have covered that up. Oh, sorry, sorry. We could have made ourselves... Should we do that bit again? <laughs> oh, that's very we, interesting. Yes. Though. We could have made ourselves far more um, efficient looking than we actually are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do very well as a pair. I think we do, I do. I, considering this, yeah, considering the personalities... Because you're good cop and bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just cut that off here. Uh, oh, we've had a, a, a picture in. A picture in from who? David. Who's made... Oh, look. Oh, Oh, the sewing bucket. Oh, she's done it in blue. Look. So this is another thing. You see, you can use a pattern. Yes. Your pattern. You buy the kits, use, reuse the pattern. Yes. That is amazing. So, of course, if she had the truck, she'd use it in blue, wouldn't she? She'd yes. do it in blue. Exactly. So Love. It's a boy, I think. Was that from David, did you say? It from might David? have been David. Oh, it could have been David, but I imagine it's her husband. What made it email, for her? Email. Oh, you're right. Yes, you see. Sharp, sharp. Very sharp. You know who it is. Do you know David and Kim? No, I don't, but it's very nice. They're very nice. Yeah, they're lovely. Yeah. David and Kim. It's oh, Kim that's made it yes, from David's David, email. Yes, yes. That's Hayley, not yeah, reading yeah. properly. So. so that's perfect binding. That is perfect binding. That's perfect. So I've only just tacked that in position, OK? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, when we put it onto here, so let me just take a piece. Right. Let me do it on here. When we put it on... Where's it gone? Before you do, before you put it on, let me yeah. just show. So that's it on, and this is the one we've made yeah. here. But what I'm okay. going to show you, yes. the, 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 the inch and a quarter is the most perfect size because when you put it on here like this now and you stitch in there, it's a perfect seam allowance. Yes. So just see that. Oh, perfect seam allowance. Now, one of our lovely, lovely ladies, Christine, made a couple of trucks for her best friend secretly for their 60th birthday. Do they know? They have they have, they've oh, had them. They yeah. were delighted. It was the most gorgeous thing to do. But what she, she was a bit um, un, unattentive to her seam allowance. Oh. And she was too chunky. 
So I'm a quarter inch seam allowance girl. Yeah. Always yeah. have been. And so it, the lid didn't fit the trunk. Oh no. So we had to do it quick. She came around quickly and we sorted it out beautifully. And we, all we did was took, took the edgy off and moved it out. So that's why I've done that measurement exactly to that there. Exactly to that point. Because it makes it absolutely perfect. All this is in the instructions, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely everything. Yeah. And I've got pictures as well. Okay, Lots of pictures as well. And so there you are. That's your, that's, that's the, 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 the red work's easy. The cross hatching's easy. The decoration's easy. And putting the piping cores easy. Yeah. And I break a few rules now and on that curved edge. Oh yeah, done clipped. snipping. Did you love that? Yeah. Because you can't, I don't want you to go too, too thin on no. the seam. So we have clipped our little curved edges, okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is put a lid on this. Yes. So uh, where's my big, this, uh, this one here as well to show you. You're going to put um, your edging on. This is your little edging around here, this edging here. And what you've got to just do is make sure you leave a gap in the middle for the handle to go in. Yes. Okay? your little handle to go. Now this is how we help Christine with her little uh, problem. Okay. We made this gap a bit bigger. Oh, So and I do not it, want yes. you to get wound up because yeah. everyone sews differently. So just make sure that um, when you come to put your edging on, you start in the middle and come round. Yes. So you, we could have two inches there or three oh, inches. Oh, yes. It, so it's a contingency. But as long as there's a gap. As long as there's a gap. Yes, yes. You need a gap. Yes. But it could be a little contingency plan so in case you don't okay. sew exactly the exactly. same seam as exactly. I do. So that goes on beautifully. Um, and now we've got the foam interfacing much, much easier, much, much lovelier to do. And then we've got a secret little way of your, you always think I've gone crazy. Yeah. But when we put the um, lining on, you can't see because it's not turned inside out. Um, we have it overlapping and so that you can turn it inside out beautifully and we sew up the seam in the middle. Right. Have I done it with that one as well? I did, I have done it with that one as well. So there's a big, that. So it makes it much easier. You don't have to join any little things around. Oh, uh, so it's sort of stitched all the way around. Beautiful. And then you pull it yeah, through yeah, the gap yeah. in the middle. Otherwise, you'd have to have a gap that yes. you've got to sew up. Oh, okay. no, and you don't want it. So that actually is all it is to the trug. That's all there is to the trug. Just a little bit of precision sewing around these edges here. I think it's a lovely a lovely project to make. But oh, it's also lovely. as a gift. I'd like oh. your friend, Christine, oh, would give it as a And gift. what we also do, I haven't put the button on here, because this is, I do have afterthoughts, so it's quite nice when I make something. Yes. And look at that snug little fit. It's I know. Gorgeous. It's a bit grubby, actually. Um, <laughs> these here are just to tie the trug on. Yep. So make sure you do allow the, uh, the, the, the measurements I've asked, because yes. you do need quite a bit for a little bow on there. But look, I've got a little tag there, a little buttonhole thing. Oh. Up. And when you hold uh... it up, it buttons up here. So at, when you're at your sewing class, yes. you can just put all your lovely little bits inside. There's three left. That's oh. all that just three left. Well, they're delicious, and I'm very proud and very pleased that they've got them because they're lovely to make. It's it's not again, it's not a total beginner. You need to know no, your, you need to know exactly. your sewing machine. Um, take a note of what I say in my instructions. Well, I was going to say yeah. the instructions are very thorough, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so you they get are. this little yeah. booklet yeah. with all the instructions. Oh, there are all sorts in here. And pictures, lots pictures, of pictures. Yeah, yeah. Instru oh look, look. Yeah, yeah. I won't open them all out for yeah. you, but the pictures, the instructions, and everything are all in yeah. there. And I give you instructions on how to make your bias binding as well. I mean, and yes. yeah, how to join it as well yes, and everything. Yeah, yeah. So you get all of that, yeah. you get all, you get the transfer. Transfer, you yeah, get full the, size um, pattern, look. All the pattern pieces and you need. And you get an iron-on transfer pattern I've already chopped up that looks like that as well. Oh yes, yeah. that's, that's yeah. one. Yeah. So, so you get all of that, all of that for six foot, and you get the trug. Yeah. And you get all the fabrics you need, that beautiful, beautiful yeah. linen there. You've got it the really gorgeous gingham yeah. fabric. Yeah. Everything, everything is top, 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 top quality. Yeah. Just it, have a look it, it at the really fabrics. It really is. It, I don't reflect it in the price, but I swear to you, this is an heirloom. This is, there aren't many of these around. Yes. No, 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 no. exactly. So uh, if you have a look at the fabric here. You've got the linen. That's where you get in the kit. I just want you to see yeah. the real fabric here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can you see beautiful, it? Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful quality linen here. And then the gingham as well. And there's the button. There's the wadding. There's the, you've, you've nicked the, um, the, the, oh. the, the, the what into it? spongy interface. Oh, it's here, darling. Oh, yeah. Then you get the yeah. ribbon, you get the pipe bind, um, uh, piping cord, you get the lovely uh, le ricrac, le ricrac petit. Yeah. And you can't really see the, the beauty of all of the pieces in there. And the bond web, everything you get there for £64.95. There's only three left, though. There's only so, three of those left. We, we need, to, need to move on right, to something Right, we do else. need to yes, move yes, on to the yes, So yes, give yes. me the trug and put that yeah, there. Let's put that all over there. Uh, like have we got any of the pipping? The pipping's still available. We'll just double check. Yeah, well, I'll, right. I'll do the quilt next and yes, then we yes. can talk about Pippin next. Yes. Right. right. Let's take this off. Yes, right. Uh, Pippin is very limited as well. Oh, 
Bless right, its heart. It's a lovely little sure. thing to have. Right. So I, I try and bring things that are more challenging and simple things. I try and make sure the show has a good mix of stuff. Oh, so, it's, it's you know, cause, fantastic. Cause, yeah, because I now teach, lots of my ladies have been teaching for years, so they're a bit more advanced. Yes. So if I show some of my ladies this, they say, oh, Mandy, we, we're beyond that, which yes. they are. So I, I do try and mix things up. But even if you're beyond this, it's, <laughs> it's still a beautiful, beautiful yeah. project. Oh, it? it's stunning. And it actually all stems from a wonderful quilt that I saw that my friend has, Jill, Hillage has, and it's a, a Red Cross quilt that was made in the 1940s. Oh, wow. And they came over from Canada and were given to all the people who had bombed, had bombed cities. Oh. Yeah, they had, you know, yes, like yes, Coventry yes, and places yes, yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes. And there are not very few left because these quilts were worn and used. Yes. And so they are now in the Quilters Guild Museum and they're collectible. And I oh. have one, Jill has two. But this pattern here came from that quilt. Oh, how lovely. So that's how I'm inspired by things. So that's, it, but has that got a name? What's uh, it? I, no, I, it's not got one of Just those. Just got the Red Cross. It's, it's, well, it's not, I call it the Red Cross quilt. Yes. But it's, it's not got a particular name. It's not like Ohio Star in here. Fla oh, you know this one. You this is flying geese. Yes, this yes, is flying yes, geese. Yes, yes. Uh, but there's all sorts, there's yes. all sorts There's on nine here, patches there? and nine patches. <coughs> there's a square within a square. And there actually is a log cabin in the corner here. Yeah, we love log cabins. Uh, now, <laughs> what you get in the kit for 84 95 is everything you need for the, for the top. top. Yeah. There it is, you see. I'll go through all the fabrics in a second. You get the instructions, yeah. you get the embroidery thread, you get the uh, fabrics. I'm not quite sure that I was on the left-hand side there, so I'll need to go through the reel. I, 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 right, iron on interfacing. Iron oh, interfacing. iron on interfacing. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go yeah. back to the reel yeah, so yeah. we can have a look at yeah. all these different fabrics. We've got the red. They're all moda. Okay, so okay, they're really they're good, good quality, good fabric, quality yeah, yeah. fabric. This is the same as yeah. the trunk fabric. And that's fabric, actually not Moda, that is a lovely Danish company, but that's stunning. It's right, yes, they're all beautiful. It's, they're yes, all, yeah, the quality, but the thing is, when you've got your name on it, yeah. you don't want to put Oh gosh, I wouldn't one, put polycotton in, no. I, wouldn't dream. I, I wouldn't sell it. I, no. I would rather go home, uh, be at home and dig in the garden. Yes, now look, oh, look, look at all them. these, I won't unfold them all. Look at all these different yeah. fabrics you get in here. Oh, I love and that And they're one. mixed ranges of modes, so you're not going to be able to go out and buy these yes. like this. Oh, That's, I see. So yeah, you've yeah, created... Yeah. Yep. You haven't just gone into mode and gone, right, I want all that, I want that. No, no, no. You've put all uh, yeah, these yeah, different... Yeah, and yeah. then you've put them together. Yeah. Fleur de lis, more French. So yes, definitely. Were you French in a past life, do you think? I think I might have been a I little bit. I, I, I would love to have thought I was. Yes. Yeah. I can yeah. see you there in the, the corset the, and the trog, like no, this. No, I think I would Nell have been... kind oh, of. Oh, yeah, sort of, yeah, ploughing the fields and... Scattering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, beautiful and such lovely choices of fabric yeah. in there. So you've got enough of all of these fabrics yeah, to make the whole of this. To do this. Now, in the instructions, does yes. it tell... Oh, hang on. Oh, this is the bond away. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, yeah. The, uh, And there's your... There's your um, the threads, yeah. Your threads. Yeah. There's beautiful top quality threads. So now the instructions in this are going to be very important, aren't yes, they? Yes, but, but it's easy. It's easy. This is what I... If you were a beginner and you came to a five-week course with me, this is what you'd make. And you come saying you wouldn't be able to do it, I can't do that, and you end up making it because oh. it's... Half the stock's gone already. Oh, no, OK. Right, slow okay, down. Okay. Don't buy it so quickly. Hang, no, hang, do, hang, do, hang do, on, do. hang on, hang on. Because uh, we've got loads of... I'll just show you the instructions here. Let's start at the beginning of the instructions. Yeah. Because there's so much going on in here. Yeah, it's lovely. It's a, the, and because I teach it so often, I know it inside out, you know, I know, know it inside out. It's really, and I've got another one to show you down here of a different colourway, the same quilt. So you could, once you've got the pattern, you could then use your own scraps. And I've made this my grandson's quilt. So yeah. everything, all the blocks yep. are all, to, you're told how to do all yep. the, oh yep. look, I mean, it's yep. fantastic. Thorough, yeah. thorough, thorough. And I love the fact that you haven't gone down the route of having it printed yeah. By a computer, this is your this drawing. Is me. Uh, that's the, actually, that's, the, that, that's what I do. This is how I do these, these patterns and things. And they, they look homemade and they are homemade. Yes. It's got that feel about it. But I just think yeah. that's... And also, as you say, once you've made this one with the fabrics yeah. you've got, yeah. you put your two... Chunk, chunk, hole puncher yeah. in a folder. Yeah, and, like, all quilters have yeah. stashes, don't yeah. they? This one is gorgeous in the red. Oh, it's a stash but... buster. It's a stash buster. Yes. It's six half metres. Oh, well, there you go. There you Six go. Oh, do you know what I should do? You're taking this home, though, aren't you? Yeah. What have you got? It's, no, no, because I do, I do shows where yeah. I, I sell fabrics yeah. by the, in bundles of half metres. Oh, right. Oh, this so is, for all yeah, you need yeah. for this is six half yeah. metres plus that. Plus yes, yes, plus an extra. So if you've got six half metres, so it's four... Uh, it's, I'm going to use yeah. that as a selling yeah, point. Yeah. It's because crazy. because if you if you've got the one in red, so yeah. and then you've got like a bluey bedroom yeah. or or you know well, somebody this, who loves look pink. pink. Look at oh. this. Oh. oh, is this the one that's on the website? Uh, it's another one. Look. Don't look too close. Oh, yeah. that, uh, this is the one I saw on your website. Yeah. That's so this beautiful. is 1930s fabrics, but I just want to show you the different feel yes. you get. Completely different. Yeah. And it could be very scrappy with the same background. Yes. You could have two two yeah. meters of a white background, yeah. and you could just use it. Okay, brilliant. Anyway, okay, so let's, let's, let's start. Do. 
Let's do some oh. guesses. Oh, we'll turn it. We're going to just carry on. There are only five left. There's only five left, oh. I'm afraid. So we will carry on. We're not like some channels where something sells out, we move away from it. We carry on oh, going we're with it. Oh, so. I'm used to that, aren't I? Yes. So let so. me show you something wonderful you're going to okay. love. Let's keep it on the table. Um, and then I can show you something lovely. I love showing these. Love, I love sharing what I know. And um, don't forget, I love your quilting teacher um, and because she's in, she's empowering you stuff but everyone does things slightly different yes. so if I do it slightly different to your teacher it doesn't matter she's not wrong and I'm not wrong no, no. this is how and I choose to do these methods because I love what I'm doing yes. okay so let me just get myself uh, can I just all say organized. somebody's just messaged in saying they want uh, uh, the sewing box that you've got next to the um sewing machine we're not doing that this time that was no. the first time yeah and it will be back on us us we will be bringing it back in a new colorway to sewing uh, to uh, where we're sewing so it's where sewing quarter <laughs> sewing quarter it's we'll, yes, sewing yes, sewing quarter. Quarter. Yeah. so we will be bringing it back with a new colorway that which will actually blend in beautifully just in case that's gone but right. we will be bringing it back so, so that's what happens when it's gone that's it's it gone. um you're back on june the 8th anyway so yeah. i don't know if that's coming back on june the 8th but mandy's back on well, june if you want me to bring it back on june the 8th i can bring it back. Oh, okay oh, i might have to do that's that not my, i'm not um, that's not yeah. my um, yeah. responsibility yes, I'm, okay. not, I'm not allowed in that meeting no, no. right uh, so what are you doing so what i'm going to do to first off just warm us up lovingly and just show you very easy thing i'm going to show you how to make the flying geese oh really this is my stalwart block yes. um, I didn't make it up it's around it's been around for a long time um, but I don't like triangles I can't stand triangles with that bias edge they upset me make me tearful and I don't love the quilts I make with dodgy triangles so I, I use squares and rectangles instead right and so this block is 3d if you I was don't, gonna say it's got yeah. like little pockets yeah. underneath doesn't so it, if look? you don't like the 3d you can just stitch them down but if you do love the 3d you can I embrace do. it yes. by curling them back but there's so much you can do yes, to make yes, it your yeah, own, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You know, we're not saying, this is a Mandy Shaw and this is how you have to make it. Oh, gosh, not me. I, saying, I break all the rules. Yes, but also, if, like, if somebody, like you say, likes to just catch that down like that to create that curve bit, they can do. Yep. Not uh, everyone's going to get this. Not everyone's going to get this. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. Oh, so what we're going to do, lovingly, yeah. is make uh, these. I, and also, the other thing I do, cause, because, because I can't do it the other way, is I work on a two times table. Oh, so yes. all my quilts oh. are vaguely two and a half inch squares. OK. OK. Um, so it, it's a nice scale, actually. If you look at the quilt, you don't realise it, but it, it flows well because yes. the scale's good. So if I suddenly did a 10 inch block and a one and a third one and three eighths it would be dodgy yes. so it's nice and easy for everyone to remember that mandy's off yes. on a two and a half so i'm going to cut some two and a half inch squares here okay. with my rotary cutter and ruler uh, you've got the floral rotary cutter there i've got the floral one here the flush did i my oh flourish. that was another um, flourish and let me just tell you something also i don't often use i don't always i'm ambidextrous i don't use a board as my cutting tool i use especially with stripes i use a ruler for my measuring oh yes for the measuring yes. Yes. so normally um some people might just oh, put no, that no, on no, there no, and make yeah. it. I, I deliberately don't because I think it's easier to put the ruler on. Yes, so exactly. we need two and a half inch squares. I'll just cut a few of them for you. And um, that's beautiful, two and a half inch squares. Uh, these. So the okay. That's gorgeous. Do you see that? Uh, the, the board that Mandy's cut on oh. is the rotating board, £32.95. Oh. Watch this. I just want to go, watch this. <laughs> oh, well, it means you don't have to move anything, do you? You just heaven. move the board rather it, than it, you finish heaven. those two bits. It's a hat on. So the, it's heaven. So you want to watch this carefully. Yes, we're watching pins. carefully. Lovely. So you take There's one rectangle, board. one rectangle, yes. and that's two and a half by four and a half. I hope it is, because if I haven't, yes, it is. Yeah, two, and, two half. and a half by four and a half. And you fold it together, wrong sides together. Now that's right. the first mistake you might make, because I know exactly what mistakes are made. Yes. So, so, um, so you fold it together, wrong sides, sides together. together. Yeah. You sit it on top of a, a square, right sides together, and you put all the raw edges in one corner. I'll just pin that for you to see. So all the raw edges in one corner. Yep. You are meant to have that gap. Don't suddenly fl fluffy around the, oh, God, I've got a Doesn't gap. Match. And make it equal. It's meant to be like that. Okay. Okay. On top of that, you're going to put another square on top. So you're sandwiching that rectangle in the middle. Right. Okay. So you always use a few pins. Stacks. This is your forte, isn't it? This? Oh, this is what I love badly. And you're going to stitch along a side which inc incorporates a fold. Right. So that, oh, okay. there's no fold in there. Yes. And there is a fold there. Right. And there's no fold in there. Right. So there is only there's two options, but we often get it wrong. Mm-hmm. So are you, where, where are you stitching? 
Uh, so I'm going to stitch, sorry, Johnny, along a side that incorporates a fold. Right. So down there. Yeah. Okay. Just there. Just down there. Okay. And I'm going to use a, a quarter of an inch. So, of course, I'd like, so if you do this, you must be using a quarter of an inch. Yes. Either a quarter of an inch foot on your sewing machine or a quarter of an inch tape. We use that as a guide. Which you wash your tape. Well, it's like we should wash tape, isn't it? But do you, do you, do you know the quarter inch tape? I mean, yes, yes, oh, yes, you yes, do it well done yes. because uh, not not everyone uses it. This is actually a bit. This is a bit chunkier than a quarter inch, but I'm just demonstrating. Okay, it's very nice. So I've sewn down one side. Okay, watch that. That's one row stitching. Yeah. That's it. When you open it out, and you do that. Oh, that. right. You're gonna have to do all that again. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you so mind? Let, no. Let me. Let me just. Do that one, finish that one, yeah, but then we'll... So if, excuse me. Oh, he's sneezing. Just, sir, excuse me. Um, if you missed that, we'll do it again for you yep, in a second. Yep. So that's the back of it. It's lovely. And you finger press that beautifully, OK? So just me pin that... That's how you get the... Flying geese. But the, but the, but the little pockety flying yes, geese, yes, not just yes. a flat triangle, no, no. like you say. The, oh, oh lovely. And I just love it because it's dead. Let's do a different colourway. So you're going to get your rectangle, which is okay. two and a half by four. Two and a half by four an inch, fold in half, half, wrong sides together. together. That's the bit that you might forget. Yes. Because you're used to doing fold, that. Yes. Yeah. So fold it in half, wrong sides together. Put it on top of a square, right sides together. I always yes. have little rhythms, little musical rhythms. Oh, go on then, I'll be quiet. You do uh, the musical no, rhythm. And, and no, it's like a little rhythm. Put it together with um, right sides together. Place on top another square, right side, and you're sandwiching the middle. Yes. Okay, beautifully. You are now going to stitch along a side that incorporates a fold, which right. is along there. So we always give a few little pins. These little pins are lovely. They're really nice and fine. They're yours, I think, aren't they? And you're going to stitch with a quarter an inch seam. Yes. So I never mark a quarter an inch seam. Well, no, and also if you've got your tape yeah, or your yeah. quarter inch foot, foot on. Yeah. Um, there if should you be one in there. It should be a quarter inch. Yeah, foot, I don't there. think it's with me here. I think I've left, I think I've got it somewhere else. But what I would say to you is, um, you can get a quarter inch foot for any of your machines. You can get a quarter inch foot for any of yes. your sewing oh, yes, machines. Yes, 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 so yes. don't. It's just that yeah. one comes automatically with it. That, yes, 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 yes. Can, it's like like walking feet. You can buy yeah. those for all. If your walking if your sewing machine doesn't come with yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, and if you have if you really don't want to sub subject yourself to that sort of thing, um, it's not very expensive, but you can actually mark it up on here. Yes. You can mark up on the machine. But it's very important. You don't bother making a quilt if you're not going to adhere to that rule. Right. There's only one rule, and it's a quarter inch seam. Okay. The truck has sold out, the quilt has sold out. But we will carry on, we'll carry on, don't worry, we don't do that, we don't do that, moving on. I'll show, oh, now, we'll, we haven't got to backing into anything yet, but we've got the wadding, we'll put the wadding graphics in and we'll oh, talk yes, about, yeah, put yeah. the wadding graphics in and I'll talk about it in a minute. So here we are, so that's, that's us sewing down one seam. Yes. Right, okay. Quarter inch seam, that's a much better quarter inch seam allowance. You open it out and you've got a little thing like this. Yeah. And so what you're going to do is open out that lovely little flap. Flat origami, isn't it? Yeah. And to make it, to make yeah. it better <laughs> yeah. and go really well, you are going to open this out, and yes. this is got. This is like a little pointer in the right direction. Do you see? Oh, yes. If you open it out, you get a little um, a point to where the next seam should be. Oh wow! Can you see that? So from here, this side, don't squash it flat that no. way, or make sure everything's lovely, lovingly lined up, and you would give that a little press. So uh, the reason I'm loving this is because it's it's quick, it's fast. I don't want to be spending hours worrying about my 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 dodgy. Yes. So that's this. We just you, so you then make as uh, however many are there, of those. yeah, yeah, and uh, you just join them all yeah. together. To and when you join them together, when you join them together, so lots of people say, "Oh, cracky, what's happened? I've got a gap." No. And you, you said no because you're experienced. You've been taught. You've, that's by you. A bit, but by our, and lots of other lovely ladies yes. you have on here. But that gap is very, very important because when you put it, join two together, and you sew through that point there, yes. across there, you should get the most perfect seam allowance. Exactly. OK. So OK, yeah. now my question is, yes. if you were making this, yes. would you make all the components? So would you make the four strips of this? Would you make, or would you start off with the middle? Oh, you start off in the middle, and I'm going to show you that next. OK, because okay, you start off in the middle, but I was just going on to the easy bit case we ran out of time, OK? No, no. So that's, that's a good, that's a wow fact. Yes. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. So we're going to make this in the middle here. And right. of course, it's very, very trendy at the minute to have this, um, to make this. It's... Uh, 
Oh, the English piecing. Oh, okay. So it, it, well, I, I, um, supposedly, but I'm, I haven't got the patience for English piecing. No, I couldn't imagine uh, no, it. No, 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 no. I've done that. Been there, done it when I was seventeen and got a hideous quilt that I love badly, but I can't show anybody because the colours are so bad. Okay, yeah. so you love it badly and you can't show anybody. No, no, no. Okay. no. So this is essentially because it's over papers, okay? But I, I think, oh gosh, that's the big pieces. We could stitch those with machine. Yes. So what I've done is this. What I have done is this. So let me just take one of these. And don't forget, you can actually cut through lots of layers. Yes. Please don't worry. Yeah. It worries me badly that people don't cut through more yeah. than one layer. And that's why you've got a large rotary cutter, OK? 45 millimetres. Yes, yes. So what you're going to do is you're going to trace the shape from the pattern, this is yes. the back of the book, onto freezer paper. Right. And freezer paper, as we know, is a pattern here, is a paper that has, is ironable. And it's just got a silicone backing that when you iron it on, it actually stays put. Yes. But yeah. you could peel it off. And iron it on again. So yeah. Wonderful oh, okay. stuff. Wonderful stuff. But if you haven't got that, you just we normally to... have freezer paper. We just sold out for yeah. the moment. Yeah. So if you haven't got it, you just use ordinary paper. Yes. But what you're going to do is you're going to um, iron them, uh, cut them all out together. So I just I just mark that once on a freezer paper. Right. Fold the freezer paper into six. Yes. And cut them all out at once. Now, do you have a rotary cutter for paper and a rotary cutter for no, fabric? I, no, I do not. My life's far too busy for me to worry about finding rotary cutters in the first place, let alone... <laughs> <laughs> you see, these, these girls got a rough up a bit. They're a bit too neat, aren't yeah. they? Uh, you know, they worry me. That, you know, for goodness sake. Um, so, no, I haven't. Okay. But if I've got a dodgy blade that's really, dang, really blunt and, it, and it's been really blunt because I've gone over a pin in it, yes. I do save the blade if I was for my son who does graphics and things. Yeah. So, no, I don't. Um, no, I don't. OK, so what you, are you doing quarter of an inch around so, the outside? Yes, so now? I'm doing quarter of an inch around the outside for a specific reason, which is very nice. This is a very lovely grid. It's creative grids. Are, I, I'm taking... They're yours. Yeah, no, no, here, look, Sam, here, uh, 1695. Creative grids are unbelievable. Rachel they're Rula, an English. Uh, they're an English company, again. I love my English companies. And I find them clear, easy and lovely. But don't forget, they're... Most probably a little bit more expensive than the Chinese rubbish you see on the market, um, but they're de delicious. Is that okay? Yes. Other countries may apply. Yes, <laughs> that's it. That's all you need to say. <laughs> but it's so true. What you're saying true. is beware of imitations. Yes, yeah, beware of imitations. Saying. You've got to teach me the lingo, darling. You've got to teach me the lingo, then I won't get into trouble. I won't get you in trouble. No, you're not in trouble. I won't you're Mandy Shaw. I'm Mandy Shaw. So the reason I'm doing this, it might seem a little bit long-winded, but it's not. We're going to get a really accurate result. And what we're going to do is going to stitch one of these sides together straight away on the machine. And I'll just do a couple. So, don't you yeah. love a good blade, a good rug? Look at this lovely mat. Look, did you see I love, that? I love it on yeah. that mat because you can just turn oh, the mat around. I couldn't, you? couldn't be without mine. I love, actually, mine's virtually worn out, so I must oh, have. Oh, the 32 95 for you? Yeah, they're perfect. Just wonderful. So, I've got, I, you only need six. There's three, and you need one in each of the colours, OK? So, do lay them out to, to make sure that they look lovely. And just be aware of what, what I'm trying to join. That's what I'm joining, not this edge here. Oh, okay. They're very yes, of creative. Course. Yes, a very creative shape. Very wrong. That'd be more of a Dresden, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. Oh, darling. <laughs> so because we've cut them very accurate and beautifully, I can now put those two together like that, stitch them, and just just that side, that seam, just that little seam there. Um, just, but I might actually reduce my little stitch a bit. Because oh yes, because yeah. you went onto a bigger yes, stitch earlier yes, because of the. Um... Yeah, and um, I just do that beautifully. Listen to this. It's all about noises yeah. with you, isn't it? Well, it's just about technology taking us one step further to make our lives easier. And then I keep the paper in, and I would just press that open there. Right. And so that, that's one seam I do not have to tack under. So when you've done all of them, that seam. And, of course, the other tip is to use the right colour. Yes. Can I just show you that? I don't always use the right colour, but that's got white thread in it. Yes, but that's only because we're showing the Yes, but it's something it. we need to be aware of. Yes. I did bring red thread with me, but if that was the problem and you had a little piece of um, white thread showing like this on a red piece of work, what would we do? C colour it in with a felt pen. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I would use a permanent felt, a quality felt for tip yes. a Pigma pen. So if that bothered me and I was going to enter it into competition, I would colour that. Right. A little red pen. Do you and go so, into competitions? Oh, though? no. Oh, gosh, no. I was going to oh, say. Oh, no, I don't do competitions because um, I, I'm not competition standard. I'm a, a very casual, pleasant little quilter. But also... Um, uh, I was going to say, because you'd beat them all. That's no, no, right. no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. There are some fantastic people out there, but they've got little problems. 
I've got big problems. Yes, that mean yes, I should yes. take up more no, quilting? No, no. Well, no, there's some spectacular people. The yeah. competitions are wonderful, wonderful. But I, I'm not that near. I'm not that... Uh, not that um... My next-door neighbour, Chipping Camden Lady Quilter oh, yes, Society. Yes, She's yeah, yeah, very yeah, precise. Yeah, yeah I'm right. not that precise. But the, the difference between me and other people is that I design my own thing. Yes, exactly. And there is a difference. Exactly. So if you're copying somebody else's work and entering into competition, great. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Oh, yes, because I could make this. Yes, you could now. Yes, yes, yeah. Beginners. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. Um, the only thing I've got left for you to buy this hour are the Pippin mice. So uh, oh, and the book. Oh, and the book. I'm changing the book oh, there. Sure we'll and the book, book there. Uh, so I'll leave them there for the time being, and then we'll come back to that. And oh, mind you, the hour's nearly gone. But oh, so really if you want uh, Pippin the mouse, twenty-two pounds ninety-five pence. What you get in the kit is enough fabric to make one mouse, but you get the fabric to make the dress when it's a girl and the dungarees when it fancies being a boy. Twenty-two pounds ninety-five pence, and the book. Celebrate with a stitch. I'll take you through that in a minute. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. So what I want to show you this is yes. this. So we're going to join them all, all six of them, via that small seam via the machine. So what I'm good at doing is on the machine, off the machine, yes. on the machine, off the machine. And but I'm going to have to tack this piece down nicely because I want a really sharp, sharp gorgeous edge. point. Now this is we're coming to the point up here. Yeah. The other big trick is. If you spray starch your fabric beforehand, when you finger crease it, you get a perfect crease. So this is not spray starch. And this no, we've got some though, yeah, we, on the website. This would be lovely. So what I'm gonna do is take the whole of this one over. People worry about this yes. edge. I'm gonna take the whole edge over. I'll just stitch it and then show you. Um, I don't forget, I'm only making one of these. And so if I was making hundreds, I might glue all this down with a bit of prick. We've got a yeah, fabric yeah. glue yeah, as well, yeah. look on the website. So because it's only one, I am going, Vaguely, it. It. but people are going to be worried about that dog end or dog yeah, tail, whatever I'm going they're to show called. You. Yeah, no. I'm going to, they will indeed, but you don't need to. So don't hide it at this position. Let me just stop that. So don't hide it at the minute. Leave it here. Okay, right. leave it here. So when you come to stitch it on your on, on your work, what I want you to do is I want me to give you a pin so I can guide you. Right. So you say we're going to stitch it down. Let's let's bring it up a bit so we okay. can oh. we can show you. So what we're going to do, it's on here as well, it's quite a good example. What we're going to do, we're going to stitch it with very small stitches, very fine thread and a fine needle. Oh, so, when, so that dog end is still there when yes, you come still, to stitch still it? Yes, it's still to keep it on. Do not right. chop anything off. Right. So we're going to, the secret is a fine needle, a beautiful thread, single stranded yep. thread and um, a small stitch. So you get a small stitch because you've got a fine needle. Yes. And so you're going to stitch all the way to the very end. Do not touch anything. Don't, don't cut anything off. Yeah. Stitch to the very, very end to get a really nice sharp end. Then you can cut it off and then you tuck it under with another needle as you stitch it. Right. So if that was cut off, then you can tuck it under. Oops. Oops. Where did you turn that one to? It completely has gone somewhere. But let me get another needle here. So you stitch it to the very end. You'll trim that down. I can actually trim it as we speak. So, so. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So you trim it down, and as you turn, uh, you must put the last stitch in that very pop end there. Yeah. And then you're just going to tuck it under. You'll just tuck it under. Um. And if you look at that there, look, you can vaguely see. Go right to the end. It's a bit bulky at the end. You can see where I've tucked under. And then if you look at all my lovely corners, it's exactly what I do. You stitch to the very end and then just tuck that under as you stitch it down. Carol from Wiltshire says, Mandy is an absolute genius. Oh, done. This is simple, basic quilting, but it's, it, it, but it's very lovely to be able to make something and to make something that looks good with such simple, simple exactly. things. Exactly. Yeah. Mandy's patterns, you need to follow the pattern instructions and do not yes, deviate. Yes. She is quirky. Yes, yes, she is. How she does things, but it works. Yes. Mandy is brilliant. That's Julie from... Yeah. Moray. Thanks, Scotland. Moray. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, actually, she's really right. Let me just talk okay, about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, if you, the, the most people to read my instructions are people that know a bit about quilting right. or a bit about dressmaking or a bit about doll making. I'm not following anyone else's ideas. I have evolved these out of my own little head and I would much prefer to make those fast flying geese like that than cut triangles yes. and get my triangles wobbling. Yes. So that's why I do things. So, do bear with me when there's a pattern and you think, oh, where is she going with this? This is crazy. Yeah, because if somebody who knows about how to do flying geese, they're going to go, oh, oh, that's not how yeah, I yeah, do flying geese. Absolutely. Yeah. So please bear with me. And, and w w as soon as you understand my lingo, you, you get yes. it. You get it. But that's what um, yeah. Julie's saying, yes, isn't yeah. it? So don't deviate to start no, with no. from your pattern. And it's always the people that know, think they know. Yes. Well, I don't know better. And also, can I just say to you, most yes. ladies do not follow instructions really well. Oh, do they not? No. I thought it was boys that didn't no, do no, no, instructions. No, 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 it's ladies. Uh, hasn't arrived yet, Hales. 
Oh, has it? We've got another one coming through. So let me just talk about this then. So this is um, this is going to be uh, applique down into the middle here. Yeah. And then I think it's a 16 and a half inch square. Then we've got a one half inch. But all your instructions yeah. are there, aren't they, yeah. about that? So, so everything actually is very simple. The only thing you've got, these are beautiful little nine patches that are incredibly quick and easy to make, a very beginner's block. Yes. This yeah, is um, a square within a square, but a foundation which, uh, again, is very simple if you just follow the instructions mm -hmm. and things. So, so if you wanted to make this cut bigger and bigger and bigger, you can just repeat some of these. Yes. Oh, yes, yes you could do, yes. So you could put another... But you need to get more fabric, because the fabric yes, is just to make this but one, But don't it? forget, it's, if you just get... A, these are Moda reds, and Moda's reds are always similar. But if you're not making it... Once you've made this one, yeah. and you want to make it again from your stash, yeah. like you yeah. did with that green yeah. and blue one yeah. there. Um, Catherine from Tyne and Weir says, you two work so well together, you're a hoot. Mandy speaks the truth. You are great, Mandy. I I love your oh, tutorials. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, so darling, I, I, I think sometimes a bit too crazy for everyone, but it's a bit, it's a breath of fresh air. Exactly. It's, a better, exactly. it's better than being too straight, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So that, that's... Oh, Murray, you apparently say it Murray, not Murray. Oh, Murray, oh, you say oh, oh, oh. I do apologise. Oh, sorry, darling, Still a sorry. fantastic show, even though you made that mistake. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so the other thing to say to you is this. Right, let me talk to you about this. When yes. you layer your quilt up together, which is the three yes, layers, the three don't, layers yeah. don't forget, you've got your wadding. This is the perfect wadding size on the website here, here today yes. as well. Got it's graphics. a cotton mixed wadding, is it? It's so simple, so soft oh, wadding. cotton, yes, stunning. Um, this wad wadding actually quilts really well. Yes. Quilts really well. But look at, look at Mandy. What she's done is she combines machine quilting with hand. So what I do is I stabilise the quilt. I put the three layers together yes. beautifully. And then what I will do is I'll, I'll quilt in the ditch with um, self-coloured thread. Yes. And I just to stabilise. So I quilt it all first. So I've gone in that ditch, that ditch, that ditch, that ditch, that ditch, yes. that ditch there. Working from the centre out. Always working from the centre yeah. And then I go back and then I start decorating it with, with, chunky, a, with a cotton, cotton, cotton braid. But with the, the threads in the pack, yeah, yeah, the yeah. thread yeah. Was, came in the pack, uh, didn't but it? But this yeah. here, this here is a wonderful, um, uh, wonderful ruler from Creative Grids. Oh, right. And it's got the curl on it. Oh. And it's also got, look at the perfect corner. It's got the corner and the curve on it. Oh, we'll get, some, yeah. we'll get our buying department onto yeah, that. Yeah, because I use this template. Oh, do Rachel the Ruler's watch it? Rachel the Ruler. Oh, she's if gorgeous, you're watching, yeah. ring me up later with that curvy one. It, What's it called? I don't know. I just call it my curvy, curly one. Curly yeah. one. Yeah. Can we have a curly one, because please? Because what it is actually she does is they, they give you the corner. And so, so that's the same. And then you just fudge the middle. You make the middle a bit longer or shorter, you see. But it's, it's good. This is life. This is life. Don't worry well, it about makes, it. Well, it makes it all, it makes it all individual, yeah. doesn't it? I could have had right, a posh name for it, but I didn't. But look how lovely that is. Oh, no. Beautiful. I want to just mention this book before yes, we go Yes, do, do mention it. Do Only because I love it so much. Yes, it's a good uh, one. This book, one of Mandy's millions of books, with a forward by Cassie Ossop, her friend. Um, <laughs> I love Cassie Ossop. She's, she's, oh, she's very, very lovely. Oh, she's very lovely, very lovely. All different celebrations within yes, your life. Yeah. You can tell she's lovely because you can tell when people are being fake. Oh, oh, oh no, she really is very, very lovely. Yes. And um, she did, you know, we were busy filming in the studio and she uh, went in and get, got the lunch ready and things. She's very, very ordinary. Oh, she's lovely, yeah. She lost a lot of weight, hasn't she? With this Amelia Freer's book. She lost all... Anyway, that's yes, by the way, because yeah. we've only got seconds left. Oh, no. We've got one minute left. Mandy, it's always so lovely to see you. I'm back in a month. June the 8th. Yeah, and yeah. it's, we have checked, it's with me. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but you're with Bob. me again. Um, so we're bringing lots and lots more. Now, I'm afraid the quilt and the bag Trug. and the chug and everything sold out. We've got a few of the books left. Yeah. And the rag doll's gone as well. And we've got a few of the Pip in the Mouse, yep. Mice Mouse left as well. Uh, they'll, go, they'll be gone. If you're watching on a replay, please, please, please just check to see if they're still available. Get this book because it's beautiful. And yeah. don't be thinking, oh, why are they showing me Christmas? Christmas in July. Christmas in July. And actually, I'm planning for you to make some wonderful things ready for Christmas before the stress. Yes, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, the, we, everybody does it. The, yeah. the, the Christmas is on the same day every year. Yeah. And everybody does yeah. the same day. Oh, I've got, I haven't got this, I have yeah. got this, I have got this. So we're getting, you're sewing out of the way, of the way in July. And you can just yeah, then yeah, do your yeah, pudding yeah, yeah, and yeah, your cake yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. like yeah. that. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's been such a joy to see you. <laughs> now, don't leave anything behind this time. No. You left loads behind. Yeah. Don't go Jennifer. Jennifer is up after this break in three weeks. I'm making this really, really gorgeous uh, little vest top from that man that won the sewing bee. Yeah, see you in three. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts.
So we're going to show you how to do a backstitch. Now a backstitch is a great one to use when you haven't got a sewing machine available um, but you need to repair or fix a garment and the backstitch is a really strong stitch to do that with. So I'm going to be using um, embroidery thread here so you can see what I'm doing and I have put a knot in the end. Um, first of all you need to start with the wrong side of the fabric first. So I'm just going to place my needle through to bring it through through to the front. And then you're going to go backwards. So I'm going to do quite big stitches here so you can see what I'm doing. So that's the first stitch. Now this time you're going to come and bring your needle through but the same distance as your stitch. And then you're going to go into the first hole that you came out. And then go back through to the back. And then I'm going to come all the way over again the same distance and then through again and just keep repeating that process. So this is my final stitch now. So as you can see there's my row of back stitches and if I just turn that over for a second you can see that it's almost as if it's double stitched along the back so you can see it's a really secure stitch to do when you haven't got a sewing machine to hand. Join us on Monday the 8th of May when the new Craft House team are back to show you some beautifully simple kits. The new Craft House team shows us how to make some of her favourites, including their brand new bow tie kit and makeup bag kit. So, join us on Monday the 8th of May at 9am and 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on the 9th of May when Jo Carter is back. Following her sellout show last month, Jo is back with her adorable unicorn toy project this time in brand new colour options. Jo will talk you through the simple steps to make this popular unicorn softy, but be quick, this is sure to be another popular show. So join us on Tuesday the 9th of May at 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. I'm exhausted after all that, aren't you? It was great fun, wasn't it? But I just need to tell you, before we start on with Jennifer's um, uh, sewing uh, kit, we just just a few of these limited cushions left from Jennifer's first hour. There were two kits, there was this. Now remember, it comes with the book. It comes with the book. So I'll show you still of the, um, of the kit, there you go. You get, what well, you get is that, K Facets, uh, brilliant little patchwork cushions and pillows. That's a book that normally sells for 16 95 You get half a metre of the cream fabric, half a metre of the red polka dot fabric, a reel of thread, and you get a charm pack of 30 fab pieces of... Uh, it's the Cave um, Classic Collective. It's the Cave Classic Collective. That's the red one. That was the red one. Oh, I didn't see the... Uh, yeah, now, now we're bringing the purple one. This obviously isn't the... There you go. The Cave Facets have now. It's called purple or green, depending on where you look. It's £37.95. Remember, the book sells on its own for £16.95. It's a premiere today. So again, you get the book, the two half metres of fabric, the thread, and the, uh, and the charm pack, all for £37.95. Very, very, very limited. Right, stay on the pit. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Right. Moving on, though to Jennifer's um, uh, dressmaking, dressmaking hour now. Now, what we're making is this beautiful, beautiful, um, I don't want to call it a vest top, because it's not a vest top, it's just a very lightweight summer top. Um, now, I'll explain in a minute how you get the pattern for this, right? What you need to do is you need to buy the Make It, Own It, Love It book here by Matt Chappell. And I'll explain in a minute, this is one of his patterns, but some of his patterns come in the book, and you download this pattern, but I'll explain it all to you in a second, right? So this is the book for £19.95. Um, I'll explain all of that in a second. What we've then done is we've then chosen five fabrics we think you might quite like it in. Obviously, that one there is the one that uh, Jennifer's already made it in, and I'm not quite sure which fabric. Oh, I know, she's making it in the purple, this one, the Helen Mirren one. She's making it in the Helen Mirren one. 
Um, yeah, they're all, they're all numbered, these, the frou-frou fabrics. They're all numbered. So let me get, take, you through, take you through the fabric. So which one first? The one she's made out of, this one. You get a metre and a half of this. So what we've done is we've bundled the fabric together. You just get the fabric, right? Uh, enough to make the, the version that you're seeing on the stand right now. So this is the fabric that Jennifer's already used. Now, they all come with numbers. This is number 20. This is number 20, this. We love this one. This is the one that I said, you know my friend Elizabeth in uh, a very big in publishing, got a funny little friend called Kevin. This is the one I said she'd like, this one. Uh, so you get a metre and a half for £25.95. Now, by buying it in that bundle, you are making a saving. By buying it in that bundle, and that's enough to make that top. Right? So that's, it's frou through flurry. It's frou through flurry. So that's that one. That's the, the number 20. Then the next one is the, the same pattern, but in a purple. This will be number 12, then, this one. Same pattern, but in the purple. It's beautiful, isn't it? Again, metre and a half for £25.95. It's lovely. I'll go through all these fabrics properly. With I just want you to see them all at the beginning so you can make your mind up. Metre and a half for £25.95. And, and then last but not least in the frou-frou is this one, which I call the Helen Mirren fabric, this one. I can imagine Helen Mirren wearing a tea dress I made out of this at a garden party. This is number 21. Number 21. It's got that lovely, lovely... Well, now, what colour would you call that? Deep... Cyclamen crushed raspberry colour for 25.95 for one and a half metres. OK, I'm just doing this quickly, so we'll go through them again in a minute. Then we've got the spot on fabric, a metre and a half of the spot on fabric. This one will be sand. Oh, I was going to guess that and I thought I won't guess it because I'm bound to be wrong. This one's sand. Again, you get a metre and a half of the fabric, this time for £13.95. OK, and then the last but not least, we've got it in baby blue. Now, this is a heavier fabric than the one that Jennifer's made out of. So you will get a different look when you make it out of this. OK, this is baby blue. This is baby blue. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Spot on fabric. I mean, you might, the thing is, you might not want to make this vest. You might not want to buy that book, but you might want a metre and a half of this because you're getting it um, at a more affordable price. Spot on baby blue fabric, one and a half metres for £13.95. OK? And it's the book. Right, let's go and see um, Jennifer. Oh, how am I going to do this? Because I need to do everything. This... Right. Hello. Hello. No, no, because I could do, couldn't I? I'm going to get this as well. This is gorgeous, isn't it? it I looked is. at it first of all in the book, and I wasn't too sure when I looked in the book. But in real life, it really comes to life, doesn't it? I think it? it's a classic. It's the sort of thing that you could wear with so many different things. And the shape. Simple. Very, and very simple. I was simple. reading more info about it. Yes. It's deliberately roomy because the, there are no um, zips or anything like that. But the design means that when the weather's really hot and you have this lovely well, cotton, it, it's going to waft. Yeah. It's going to waft, is it? There's and it's going to breathe between your being body cotton and, and the fabric. Everything. What page is it again? I can't remember. It is. Seventy-four. One hundred twenty-six. One hundred twenty-six. See, I should have put them away, shouldn't I? Right. Let's explain how you actually... Because this is it in the book. This is, yeah. Let me move that out of the way. This is it in the book. Now, and this book is fabulous. This is uh, Make It, Own It, Love It by Matt Chappell. Right? And he was on the... Um, did he, I think he won it, didn't he? Won, yes, won the sewing so. bee. Yeah, yep. winner. winner. Winner of the sewing bee there. Um, right? He started off... By, he was in the army, and he started off by making clothes for his wife and altering his wife's clothes, and that's how he just got into it. Anyway, uh, some of them... Some of them, there are patterns in here. But what you do with this one is you go to the website. When you buy the book, it tells you which website to go to. And you download it. What you do. It? Yeah, download yeah. it. That's, I don't know what the terminology is. No, it's, it's a... Well, right, so you yeah. download it, right? And then what you get... Can I have a look at your... Um, yes. Yeah, I think this, this is a new one for me. Oh, yeah, well, I'll just show this first of all. Oh, right, OK. This is what you get, right? So you can print it up and keep it in your... Um, uh, pattern book look because you get all of this now because yeah. there are different versions of the tops but these are all yeah this is the one I've made this is the one we've made the Sorbeto flat version one this is the one we've made but look 
There's version two, which is longer. Mm -hmm. And there's version three, if you want to have little sleeves in. Now, the only thing I need to say to you here is in the bundle, we've only put enough fabric for version one. If you want to make version two or version three, you'll either have to uh, buy some other fabric or use something you've got in your stash, that's all. Uh, if you want to make version two or version three. But if you love our fabric and you want to make version one, then there's enough fabric in our stash to do that. But if you carry on, look, all the information, these are all his notes. Now, this is really important. Th yes. Yeah. This is very, really very important because, because you can't just go, oh, I'm a size 14, I'll make that one. Check your measurements against his measurements because no uh, patterns are standardized standardized sizing. Is that They're right? They're not. And also, these aren't UK sizes across the top. I oh, yes, because we don't have size zero in UK, do we? So, yes, yeah, so it, they look almost so American. I'd say focus on the measurements. Yes. And then go up, up and see which size. one that relates to. And the sizes are obviously in inches. And then it tells you how much to buy. He's done the fabric in yards there. But then again, so, and that's the Finnish garment. It gets very complicated down there. That's the Finnish garment down there. But then, getting started. Oh, it's all, oh, look, we didn't turn over the page. It's metric on the other side. It's metric on the other side there. Yeah, still, again, I'd focus on those measurements and then see, just for reference, because the beauty of making your own is that it isn't a stock size. So yes. that, those are reference only. Yes, exactly. Um, pattern inventory, so you know that you've got the right pattern. And then this is us. This is Fit Guide version one. That's one we're doing here. Yeah. But then, look, we'll show you this in a bit. This is how your pattern arrives when you download it. But then it carries on. That's the longer version. That's version two. I won't spend too much time on this one. And then you've got the one with the little sleeves in there. There's also layout, how to lay your fabric out and everything. Mm. Um, oh, and then carrying on. There you go. Then all the different light layouts of fabric there. Then instructions of how to make everything. I mean, very, very precise and clear and everything. And then um, just everything you need. Yeah. Everything you need. And when also. you're printing, that, that bit is really important. It's a little bit like when you are knitting and you have that gauge when right. you make the 10 centimeters Oh, a test sample. square. Yeah, so the test square, you need to make sure when you print it out that that is the right size. Oh, okay. So that's so really... So does it tell you what size it should measure? Yes, it does. Right. Yeah. So on, on number one, the first sheet that comes Which I out cut of off, the. But it was there. Yep. And so the first sheet that comes out, it's got a square in it. Measure that square and make sure it's the measurement says, then you know. Because yes, because if your printer prints out slightly smaller, yeah, if the then scale your pattern's was going to be smaller. If yeah, the scale then was out, you've ended up grading your pattern to a completely different size. So, oh, our Millie that works here, Millie wears a different necklace every day. She's watching. She does all these. Ah. I like those. Um, right. Hello, Millie. Uh, it's gone very hot. It's got, the temperature in here is fluctuating like Billio it today. Oh, there she is. Loving the show. I've seen the you come here. Loving the show today, John. Can't help but watch on the weekends. Love graphic designer Millie in Redditch. Oh, do you live in Redditch? Um, I hate that roundabout in Redditch. And you, oh, I hate it. Well, you come out from, is it the Peacock or the, there's a, there's a, a, a centre with a shopping centre and you come out the six lanes of traffic and for me to get home you have to cross six lanes of traffic to get onto my turn off. Anyway, that's by the way, that's by the way. So you get this, you get this and then the pattern pieces are, you have to join them all together. You do, yeah. So you take them together, you've got uh, triangular notches and know, we'll each piece is numbered. Right, and so there's a plan of the thing in the instructions so you know where each one goes to. laid out in graphics there as well. So you yeah. will need sellotape. And there's a length and I'll shorten here as well, which we've talked about before, yes. haven't we? So if you wanted to... Oh, so if you've got a short... Do you know what I'd do? Is I'd make it out of like a calico or muslin or something. Let's try it on first to yeah. see. Because if you then think, oh, this is a little bit too long for me, a little bit too short for me, you can alter the pattern to be exactly right for you before you cut I was cut thinking that. about that when I was making this. We haven't talked about toiles or calicos. Oh, well, I have. Way. Just not with you, but yeah, yes, yeah, we yeah. No, no, we haven't at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because when we do the Alice in Glass patterns, they suggest you do the twelve first. And I always make a twelve, especially when I bought beautiful fabric. I exactly. wouldn't go straight to the beautiful no, fabric. No, exactly. Uh, every dart size that you need, all the different sizes are done in different markings, aren't they? They are. Each sleeve. So basically, when you find out which size you are, you just yeah. follow that pattern of the line. So you've got your different armholes, your different shoulders, your different necklines, your different bust darts. Yeah. Um, and to keep the pattern intact, I did what I've done before. I found out which size I was making, and it's the long line and a dot, and then I fold them, folded them all back to that to point. To that size, so, so you don't that waste it can the be used pattern, again. Yes. 
Or and what you could do, if you've got some of the pattern paper we had on last time you're on, just trace through to yeah. your one if you wanted it. Yeah. Okay, so you're doing size, what they call a size eight. Yes. Um, and it's such a, let me just take that one from underneath you there. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful, like you say, uh, you can wear this in the summer. Just put it on a hanger. And it's going to be lovely because it's going to move with the breeze and things like that. Also, what you might not have noticed is on the front, it has like um, a pleat yeah. all the way down the front. Box pleat. That would show up a lot more on the um, spot on fabric. Yes. So it's just a little detail that you might not, people might not notice, but it's just that really, really lovely box pleat down the front. OK, I'm going to hang this up and we'll start okay. with... And thinking about that box pleat on floral, I played around with a little sample where I used my, after I'd sewn it and then pressed it flat, I then folded it up and just did some of my machine stitches to add a bit more to that, yes. to make more of a feature of it. Or you know it would look nice. If you, sewed, if you had some really beautiful buttons, mm -hmm. you could do what you've done there, machine two lines and put buttons down the middle or something like that, so it looks like it's been a buttoned up. But anyway. Yeah. So I've okay. um, It's simply a front and a back. Oh, OK. Both places. So we'll be over in five minutes then. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> <laughs> um, both place to fold. And right. that, all that information is on the pattern pieces. Right. It's all there. So I've stay stitched quite close to the edge because I've bound all of the edges on that one. Right. And I have, because of the amount of fabric, I've done the binding where it's gone to the inside. Now, I did a sample of where the binding is on the edge, and I like the idea of the two florals together. Yes. Um, but I needed what did you to cut out? You didn't cut out with rotary cuts, you cut it with scissors. I cut this with scissors. Yep. Yeah, uh, but I would cut the binding with, I'd use the set square, the mat, and the rotary Okay, cutter. we'll come to that in a and second. And I've got so, a 12 millimeter binding oh, maker right, as well. Oh, right, brilliant, we'll do that in a second. So these are the scissors here. Fisker's soft grip dressmaker shears. Uh, nine and a half inches, these are very, very, very popular. 22 pounds, 95 pence. They've got a uh, safety guard on them. And then when you use, you see, use them now, uh, what it is, is a lot of people um, say who have got, um, uh, uh, problems with their um, mobility and things like that, or, or like our Jay, you know, Jay Floor Manager, he, has, he hasn't got, he can't press, and he works these brilliantly, but he, in one arm, he has problems with it. It just takes the effort out of cutting, but also, you cut in a straight line like this, you don't need to keep lifting them off the table. And then once you're finished, just seal them up again, and they're, they're kind of safe and secure, aren't they? £22.95, they always sell incredibly well, those. £22.95. Right, okay. So that's the inside binding. Because I put a join in the binding, there is a join in there. Yes. Um, I didn't want it to be the sort that's noticeable on the outside with a join in it. That's right. why I chose to make it the sort that turns to the okay. inside. Well, let's get to that when we um, yeah. do this thing. So you've got two pieces, a front and a back, and both a back. cut on the fold. Yes, and I've marked the darts with the dissolvable pen, because I like the precision of oh, it. Oh, right, OK, yes. And the fact that it's really, really clear. Right. You're going to love these retractable pencils because... I know I am. I uh, you can, there's a rubber at the end where you press the thing and it, and it rubs... Oh, Jeff, have we got one in stock at the moment? We'll get sorry, one on. I'm going to have uh, we to should, get we'll some of We'll need either the white one or the yellow one or one of those if we can to show on this. But uh, it also washes off. So if, it doesn't, if you don't rub it off with the I eraser... Have, I have to get some. Oh, no, you'll love it. You'll love them. Anyway, if we've got one in, we'll show, we'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to sew the bust arts first. Right. And I've got that lovely clear line. And I marked what I did with the pattern paper was to mark... I put a pin through the dark point of the correct size. Yes. And then I marked a dot with a dissolvable pen. OK. And then when the paper's lifted off... I had the dark point and two lines at the end. Then I have joined those with the set square. OK, brilliant. And I start at the widest point, putting a pin through and matching it to the pen line yeah. underneath. And then I put... So the bus starts go in before the pin tuck down the front? Um, either or, actually. Yeah. yeah. As long as that front gets... As long as those are done. Yes. I don't think it really matters which order. Because I you think find if I was making it, it was my pattern. Would you do the... I would do the... And I'm not saying you're wrong here, because we always say no, no, right, no yeah, wrong is wrong. Yeah, you do that first. But I would do, only, only because you've still then got a flat piece of fabric. You're right, you know. Whereas if you do a bust up first, you've got a shaping, that's all. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean, it's... 
I don't know what they tell you to do, but it's yeah. one way or the other, isn't it, really? It is. As long I mean, as the bus stop's far enough away from it, it is. for it not yeah, to worry. Yeah, and that's nice but... and flat. Yeah. It's not distorted, is it? Yeah. That's probably why I chose to do that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. sorry, carry on. So, um, right, bus starts. Yes. I put one in at the beginning, one at the end, but I make sure my the metal of the pin is yeah. just pointing, sort of acting as a guide, saying that's, that's where you finish. That's the bottom point, yeah. And that midway one, again, through, through the pen, but then I'm just going to smooth it out to make sure it's absolutely lined up. This is why I think it's important to do a twirl or making out making out of fab some yeah. other fabric. Because no offense to old ladies, but people, ladies' boobies are all in different places, aren't they? Of all ladies. So you know what? So when you do a pattern like this, yeah. they're saying, not this is where your bus dart should be, but the bus dart is the dart that comes across the side yeah. here, and if which it's is giving you shaping. It really and if, it, if, out. if it's underneath your, if you've got, I'm not going to describe what kind of, but you know what I mean? If it's not in the right place, so if you've got a dart going here and it's not going to, because it should really be a, I'm getting very technical now, point to point, it should be aiming at your point to point, shouldn't it? Yes. This vertical measurement in pattern cutting is so crucial. Yes. But very often, the emphasis is on the horizontal yes, exactly, measurements. Yes, exactly. But I've, when I did made to measure, this was fascinating. But, well, when all you different do made heights to measure, of people to go shoulder to waist. Yes, but you also go shoulder to, to point. Absolutely. So you go, you put your tape, sorry about this, it's very boring, but you put the shoulder at the centre back there, you measure to the point where the dart's going to go and then to yeah. the waist. So you can then work out exactly where the dart and the yeah. seam has to go when you're pattern cutting. And that's the beauty of a toile. Exactly. And, so if, and vertical measurements yes. as well as horizontal yeah. measurements. Anyway, yeah. I'll shut up. Don't shut up, it's interesting stuff. Yeah. Oh, we've got the pencil. We've only got it in white in the building, so I'll be able to show it to you. Oh, good. Uh, this, now, this fabric, remember? This fabric. Am I talking? Am I shouting? This fabric is number 21. <laughs> is this number 21? Yeah, this is number 21. So yeah. I'm sewing along that lovely clear line towards that mid pin. And then I'm going to slow down as I approach that end dot. And at the dot, come off like that where are my snips um, now snips. Um, this is a question from Haley now producer Haley who's yes. not very new to sewing great would you not just carry on sewing she said carry on sewing at where? the bottom of your dart just run it off on your, off your fabric yeah I did run off that's what I've done I just ran off at the dot yes yeah exactly. and yes you can carry on sewing onto nothing Haley with your sewing machine it's fine yeah. Yes, but she thought you couldn't do it. I on don't the same reverse no. because it can make quite an unsightly end yes. to that dart. And also, sometimes if you don't run off the end, you get a pucker, which accentuates the end of the dart yeah. even more. I want it to look. Uh, remember earlier, I was saying if you spend over ten pounds with your first order, you get saying, "I found it, Munch." It was it. It was here. Uh, if you spend over ten pounds on your first order, and there's lots and lots of new customers in today, if you spend over ten pounds on your first order, you get one of these valued at fourteen ninety five. It's added automatically, you don't have to do anything. Oh, oh no, I thought somebody had taken one of the threads and it's black, I couldn't see it. Uh, you get all of that. This, yours will be neat, neater than this. This is the one that we use on set. There's some because there's something missing there. Look, there was another there was another safety pin in there, and there were some needles. There were some needles in there. So yours will be uh, better um, stocked than that one. So I'm just going to sew the other dart in the same way. Okay. Oh, shall I be getting the pressing cloth out? Oh, that pen's arrived. I'll show you that in a minute. What do you finish? It's too no, because you wouldn't use it on this pro project. Thank you. Remember earlier, I was talking about the Teflon pressing cloth for when we were doing the uh, Bondina Bonda web. It's on the website. We haven't got it here, I'm afraid. I'm just going to turn this around. Yeah, I'll finish. I'll let Jennifer finish her sewing, and so then we'll get. So towards the end of the dart. And it's well worth slowing down for this bit and keeping an eye on that end dot and then just coming off at the dot and then pulling enough thread out for us to make a neat little knot. Put a pin in. I do have to apologise. Hayley's wittering away upstairs. OK, pin in that's just taken to the end of the bus point. And then 
I will thread a needle through that and take that back into the dark. So it's really neat. Oh, you want to just chop it off? Mm, I think it's nicer to have threads oh. taken away. Okay. I I'll fixed that patchwork cushion as well. What? I fixed, I fixed that discrepancy. Oh, you did part. not? I, I did. Oh, it's got munch has put it away already. No, it's, gonna... it's here. Oh, you got it here? Yeah. Oh, I'll, my, I'll show it to me. I'll show it to me. Right, so that's... Right, before you go any those. further, you've done your darts. I just want to show you this. Ooh. Now, you've not seen this, and you, you might have seen it if you're watching one of my I shows during the week. I have seen this. So this is like, you know the old-fashioned retractable pencils, right? I love them. This is how it comes. It's 9 95 So, what you get... I'll get you some fabric to mark on. So you get... Oh, somebody's been at this one. You do get six <laughs> refills. And someone had this since I had it last. There's only two refills left. I need dark, I need dark fabric. Ah, but anyway, okay. anyway, anyway, I'll just explain how it works, no. right? So, it's like a normal, you press, you press the end there, right? And you see the lead coming out the bottom, the white lead coming out the bottom there. I normally, no, no, I tried it the other day. The, 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 you can store the, 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 the refills in there, but no, they're not in there. Um, right, so you, your um, lead comes out the bottom by pressing, now this bit here that you press, it's actually a rubber and a razor, so if you make a mistake, you can rub it out. I like it. And then, if you want to draw your darts in, oops. Oh, lovely. It's very fine. I You're going to love this. I love that oh, precision. Don't press too hard. Because sometimes with Taylor's chalk, I like those triangles, but sometimes it ends up being a bit we have of to a... Keep, we have to keep sharpening them, yeah. don't you? Whereas this, That's lovely. you draw your dart in on your fabric. Now, if you make a mistake like I just did there... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Oh. You can just rub it out, it's not getting rubbing. There you go. It's rub you can just rub it out. And then it washes out yep. after you've finished or, all of the construction. Um, you can wash it out when the finished garment is um, done. Oh, can I have a feel? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> if you, we're showing you the white one. There's, lot, there's black, green, like yellow and white and pink on the website if you want those. Mm, nice. So, there you go. That's on my right, list. Right, anyway, sorry, we've just disturbed. So that, because I just thought of that, because when you said you're marking up the darts, you could use that really to great mark for your darts. darts up, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at the moment, right, this one, the fabric we're using here is fabric number 21. It gets very confusing, I haven't got names the through through. The one we've made already here is number 20. So this is the fabric. This is 20 fabric. That's it from a distance, and then this is it close to. Twenty-five. That's number. Tw that's number twenty. I launched the Fufu range. Do you remember? Uh, it's very essence of liberty, I'd say. Liberty lawns. Very essence of liberty. Anyway, I'll put that back. Don't forget you buy the book as well. We'll go through the book in a second as well, because there's lots and lots of patterns in there. Get a metre and a half fabric, remember, for £25.95. £25. What are you doing now? So to create this box pleat down the centre front, I didn't press out the fold from when the fabric was laid out. Right. So I've still got that nice sharp crease. And this lovely machine has got a five centimetre marking. That's Mine the hasn't 680, at home. isn't it? Yeah, yeah I yeah. put masking tape along yeah. mine. Wishy-washy tape, which I'll show you about later. I'll show you about later. <laughs> so all the way down the front, five centimetres from the folded edge, in order to create that box pleat which we then press open and flat now if you're not as competent as you yeah could you use that pencil and that ruler to draw the line absolutely in? then you know because you're just doing it with the gauge well, at the side yeah. aren't you but yeah. if, you, if some people be frightened by doing that that would be lovely and then you'd have a really clear sharp line yes. to, to sew over yeah all the way to the top uh and from cheshire says Set your printer as actual size or 100% to get the correct size to match the square. Anne. Thank you, Anne. So that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Very useful. Uh, Julie from Murray. Yeah, said it right this time. The soft, grip, the soft grip dressmaking scissors are brilliant. I have... Oh, right. This is Julie saying this. I have arthritis in my hands and I can use these without pain. I can now cut out patterns without... And then... That's more than 46. There are more than 46 letters on that message. 46 messages, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's four words, five words, 46. Anyway, sorry, thank you, Julie. 
Um, she said she's got arthritis and she can cut with these. Obviously, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't say that because I can't guarantee that because we've all got different kind of arthritis. I've got arthritis in this funny finger here. I've got a question for us as well. This is for you. Uh, is there a pattern piece? Hang on. Is there a pattern piece for the armhole and neck facing on the paper? No, because they're bound. No, because they're bound. That's a oh, no-name customer. Well, we'll explain that now. We'll explain yeah. that now. But if you wanted to do a facing, mm -hmm. you could just use the top of the pattern. Yeah, because and the, the facing the is just a duplicate of a portion. Yes, so exactly. if you felt confident enough, you could just trace it off. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Right, so your box pleat that you've but done But bear that. in mind that facings always dip above the bust. Yes. So don't take it too low. So I've sewn that five centimetres down the front, and then I have that sharp crease, yes. which I can line up with the stitching line, and then press that. And at the same time, I don't think I've got the ham today, have I? Not the ham. For the, for the bus darts. No, could you use a... Could you use a ham um, today. Well, except the, the arms are curved, isn't it? The bus darts are straight, aren't they? Okay. So what's do you want that? If you want the um, armhole, then they, um, not the armhole, the um, sausage, it's back in stock tomorrow. So I'm just going to lightly press those like that. Yep. Pressing that down so that when I sew the French seams in a moment, those oh, it's on the website already. The you right want position. the uh, sausage? Uh, last last week had the ham and the sleeve. They call it sleeve uh, ham, don't they? Sleeve. Uh, uh, they're on the website again now. I so thought they were being saved to my show tomorrow. Starting to take shape. Yes. From a flat pattern piece to something more three dimensional. Yep. See, I told you we finished before the end. <laughs> we're halfway through the show, by the way. This fabric is. This fabric isn't. This isn't 20. No, this is 21. It's very confusing with fabric. This is fabric 21, the one we're using. That's 21. This is 20. Right, that's 20. And I'll have to get you the other one in a second, the one with the one we've got available, so. If you like the one that that one was made out of, but you want it in a more purpley, pinky hue. Did you say this was number 12? This is not, all the ones and twos today, isn't it? This is number 12. There you go. So this is the number 12 one. Get one and a half meters for 25 pounds and 95 pence. It's lovely. The thing is, you don't have to make, the, if you don't want to make this out, if you've got another project for a meter and a half, it's nice, isn't it? Really, it's very lightweight. It is like a, a lawn from the essence of liberty. Very much it? so. Very like a tarn yeah. lawn. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Uh, it's always been popular. I when I launched it, this was very, very popular as well. So you get a metre and a half. You know, the thing is, I do apologise if you bought it before, but you are getting a better, a better price today buying it in the bundle of one and a half metres. You have to be honest, don't you? Right, sorry, what you saying? So I've put front and back together, wrong sides together, and I'm starting at the lower hem, and I'm sewing up the side seam in preparation to... Why are you doing it right, so, wrong sides together? Because I'm, I'm making French seams. Oh, French seams, French seams. I know I have a thing about them. Yeah. Uh, but they really lend themselves well yes. to this way. So just cotton. explain then, we're halfway through the show, explain yeah. how you do the perfect French seam. Well, you need to bear in mind the seam allowance that's been added on the pattern, and they've added uh, 5 eighths of an inch, so 1.5 centimetres. Yeah. So French seam is a two process seam, wrong sides together, and then I'm sewing about four or five millimetres from the edge, Yes. from the raw edge, and then I'm going to turn it the other way around and then sew a second line of stitching, which will encapsulate the first that's one. That's a nice word. I know, I got it from you. <laughs> um, so the total I've taken is 1.5, so yes. I haven't altered the fit, no. and that's really important to bear Well, yeah, mind. that's what you have to remember. Don't do your first stitch at five-eighths of an inch, because that's taken up yeah. the whole seam allowance, and then yeah, you make it smaller. Smaller. Like, yeah. yeah, A lot smaller. Mm. So you're just stitching just inside, away from the, the raw edge, really, yes. aren't you? Though? Yeah, making sure that I'm uh, catching that dart into the first sewing line oh, as well. Oh, yes, of course. And that's pressed down towards the bottom. So up towards the underarm position. And then straight over to the shoulders. So you're doing every single seam as a French yeah, seam? Side yeah, side seams and shoulder seams. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, well, that's all there are, aren't they? Yeah, it, it's not bulky at all. It's, yeah. it's the perfect fabric for a French seam, really. 
and then when you bind over the top of it, you still haven't got any areas that feel yeah, sort of heavy. chunky yeah. and like there are too many fabrics in one space. Who wants to see them? Elaine. Elaine, my love, these are the scissors. While you're, you're not missing anything, don't worry, you're not missing any stitching at all. Um, these are the scissors we were just showing. They're the Fiskars dressmaking shears, 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches, 22 pounds and 95 pence. They do have the uh, safety guard here. And then, uh, as you can see, this is then open. If you have to cut, you don't have to move it from, uh, hang on, let's do it properly done. You can just cut, oh, hang on, I'll start over here and work into it. So 25 pounds and 95 pence. You see, just cut on there. Then, of course, you just put the safety catch back on at uh, 22 95 now. They always sell, always, always sell very well, these are. Now, somebody's just asked about where the pattern comes from. Chrissy, Chrissy asked where the pattern from. Right now, it comes from the book, the Make It, Own It, Love It book. But what it is, it's not a pattern inside the book. What you have to do is you have to, it'll tell you where to go, and you download the pattern. So you download it all, Chrissy, and you get this. And this is all of it. Well, let's have a look. I thought some of them had patterns in. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no, because a lot of these are alterations, aren't they? He yeah. doesn't have that many actual... I think it's based yeah, so on... Yeah, so all the patterns you need, you do have to... Yeah, um, it's based on downloads. Download them. Or... Oh, there you go. That does... They say that it sends it here from make it from scratch. So this last little section of the book, well, the infinity scarf you won't need to pattern for, but the scuba skirt, the Sunday sweatshirt, and the pyjama trousers, and the, oh, that's another one, summer dress. You'd have to download all of the, imagine how many pattern pieces you're going to have for those. But anyway, so what you do is it gives you the web address to go to, and you download it, and you get this. So let me put that back. And this is what you actually get. This is one Jennifer printed up. And you get all of this. The top, you see, I think they've done it like this because it comes in three versions. Version one, which is the one we've done. Version two, which is the longer version. And version three with the sleeves. You've only got enough fabric uh, in it to make version number one. If you want number two or number three, you'd need more fabric. But anyway, um, glossary measurements, because also the sizes start from zero. So you really need to check what size you are. Don't just make a size 14 if you buy a size 14. Getting started, this is what it looks like. This is how the 14 sheets, is it 14 sheets come through? Yes. 14 sheets come through and you have to sellotape them together. I'll just show you, Chrissy, very quickly. The other advantage is that you have a long-lasting pattern because of its, the quality yes. of its paper. Yes, oh, because it's whatever paper you've got in your machine. Yeah. So this is how it comes, Chrissy, you see, like this. So it will come on 14 sheets and you stick them all together. But you do have the triangular notches there yeah. to join them all together. And, and that... Really clear. And the really clear lay, drawing lay underneath as well. Yeah. Uh, so, Chrissy, you get everything, everything you need there. But so today you can buy the, buy the book or you can buy the fabric. Now you're getting a bundle of a metre and a half of the fabric, which makes it more affordable. And you might not want to make this. You might think, I know exactly what I'm going to make out of that with my metre and a half. It's 42 inches wide, the fabric, just in case you're looking at patterns. So these right. are all still linked, because I started at the bottom there. Yeah. Went straight over to the shoulder, over to the other shoulder. And then all the way down that seam. So you've sewn them all wrong sides together? Yes. Yeah. And then... And the good thing about the stay stitching is while I'm doing all this handling of it, these can't stretch out of yes. shape. Which is great. And then... The fabric we're using here is number 21 of the frou-frou. It comes with numbers, not colours or designs or anything. Those all need to be rolled and pressed so that you get that edge right on the edge. Yep. Uh, the book, for, uh, 1995, by Matt Chappell, the winner of... I don't know which one he... Did he win the most, win the most recent one? Um, um, £19.95. I think it was the one before, wasn't it? Give me a little bit of steam. Number 12. Oh, this is the most popular fabric so far. The one we haven't really been showing. It's very pretty. The one I wafted, maybe it was my wafting that did it. <laughs> That'll be it. It's very good. I, mean, I love the fabric. It's lovely, lightweight. It's made in Japan. Uh, the design comes from Paris. And it's that lovely, lightweight, really beautiful, lightweight um, fabric. 
So we've got a nice sharp edge on that. Okay, French I'll come back seam. to you to your sewing. I'll just do the oh, others. Do I've one, only yeah. done one. <laughs> come on, go. I'm trying to be efficient with time. So what you're doing now is you're literally just rolling the seams. So you're finding exactly crisp yep. edge where so the that, seam is. So that that is right yeah. on the edge and doesn't roll to one side or the other. Yeah helps to have a bit of steam because if you roll the fabric and it's slightly damp, it's much easier to handle. Yes, the air conditioning's just catching. If it was over, if it was hanging over there, when we have a quilt, the whole quilt is wafting in the wind. It's much more, we don't have the waft coming over here. That's just getting the edge of the waft from over there. <laughs> Oh yes, we've got spot on. If you don't now, the spot on fabrics will make a completely different top, right? Because they're much, much heavier than the frou frou fabrics. So these would make a more sturdy top. Also, the pattern has um, it's full of information printed on it. But if you want to eliminate that box pleat from the front, you simply move the pattern over to where it says. Oh, okay. Place so it's like our like like fiscus rotary cut. You just fold it where you want it to be. Oh, well, that's yeah. a good idea because I wouldn't necessarily. Mind you, even though you can't really see it, it just adds that like, subtle, kind of designer detail. Lights, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so this is sand, spot on fabric. Now, the thing is, you might just want a metre and a half of spot on sand fabric for your stash, and you're getting it to a more affordable price buying it like this. Metre and a half stash for £13.95. And then the baby blue. But as I say, this will make... Because uh, if I waft it, well, you know what this is like, you've seen this before. It's still a fabulous cotton, but it will make more of a four... Oh, yeah, there's not a metre and a half here, you get more than this. Um, you get more of a formal blouse out of this. It wouldn't be quite so floaty. It'd still be gorgeous, but it won't be as floaty as the one you're seeing behind me. But I'll fold those up while you do the next one. And the box pleat would hang differently too, wouldn't it? It would make more of a sort of... Well, uh, well, I was thinking if you wore it on, like you always wear a cardigan or ladies, you always wear a jacket, it'd mm. be quite nice under that, wouldn't it? Rather it than it being floaty, it'd be more formal, maybe. Yeah. Not that you're formal, but. <laughs> or if you work in an office, um, if you work in an office and you've got to wear a jacket, you don't want sleeves, and, mm. you know, rather than just wearing a vest top, this would be quite nicer, because yeah. it's still quite stylish, isn't it? Right, so now what you're doing, the other I'm doing side. doing the second line of stitching that encapsulates. encapsulates and encloses that first line. Mike says we should have a word of the day. Oh, no. oh here we go. Amy's getting used to producing now. The pencils go back in the graphics because you're loving it so much. There it is, 9.95. Mechanical pencil. I think you've got a picture or you want to see this one. Low line fabric, mechanical pencil, 9 If you go to the website, this is the white one. We have got it on the web in yellow, pink, green, and black. White is another colour. £9.95. And for that 9 95 you also get the six refills as well. Oh, do we? We sell the refills separately as well, apparently, I've been told now. That's handy. Green, pink, white, yellow, black, yeah. That's right. So I'm, I'm doing a very similar... Um, tailgating, as you call it, yes, for the second line That's as well. We'll show that because as we go round. Now remember the fabrics that we're using. This one, this one's number twelve. If you're looking on the website, because I'm not sure how good the pictures are today. This is number twelve. Oh, they're all right on these then. This is number twelve. It's when we did the whole frou frou show, and they were all the same colour, and there were ten of them, and it was like, mm, what number's this one? Mm, what number's this one? So that's number 12, a metre and a half for £25.95. Uh, this one that the sample is made of is number 20. Is that 21? Yeah, this is number 20. It's beautiful. It's the same, it's the same print. I'll put it together, look. So, same print, but a different colourway, look. Now, I'm not always right, Hayley, but, uh, you know, I'm an expert on my frou-frous. £25.95 for a metre and a half. Remember, and you're getting a, if you've bought this before by the half metre, you're actually getting a, um, a better deal today. And then we've also got the, um, that one, no, which is number 21, the one that uh, Jennifer's using. 
Right, so we've done the uh, French seams now on all of the seams. Yeah. So we're finished now. Binding the armholes to oh, the yes. neck and hemming it, and then that's okay. done. Okay, let's do some it's binding beautifully then. Beautifully simple. Yes, so we've got a 12 millimeter binding maker. Oh, yes. Which is lovely for this type of top. It's so neat. 15 minutes left of the show. Uh, this is Tobias Binding Maker here. And this is the, uh, we do three sizes. This is the narrower one we do. It's very nice little gadget to have. I'll show you how that works in a second, or Jennifer will. So I would press all my seam allowances to the back before binding, because right. that's quite useful. But yeah, it's um, coming together. So. If you like that kind of um, shabby chic look, you could leave it like that, couldn't you? Just let the armholes and the neckline fray away if you wanted to. Yes. Anyway, bias binding. <laughs> yeah. Yes, John, no. Actually, bias, um, I haven't done it on this top, but cutting a bias strip and then doing a line of stitching and then attaching it to a neckline or something, and then it frays, but it doesn't fray back very much. That yes. can look really pretty. So I'm going to cut a piece of bias... 24. Is it the square one or the long one? Um, I just need to go across there, so the square one will be ideal actually, and I don't need double fabric. So I'll take that out of the way. Except it's joined, so I'll move it over there. If you make your bias binding with the uh, spot on fabric, it's really easy because the spots go diagonally across the fabric, so you just follow the spots. So, how wide do you need to cut? 24. Centimetres. Millimetres. Millimetres, obviously. Yeah. Centimetres. <laughs> right. Make sure that's out of the way. Right, OK, so what are we lining up then? I'm going to uh, go for 45 degrees. Along the straight edge. From the edge. selvage, so I'm yeah. going to use that part of the set square and cut along there, and then I'm going to move it along slightly. OK. This is where you could do with so the rotary cutter, a rotary... Matt, but it's not long enough, I don't think. But. Yeah. And, um, like I said, you need a join to do the neck and the armhole. So I've put a, a neat join into okay. the bias. Now, because I'm right-handed, there's a better way of doing this. Bear with me. Okay. I'll do it that way. Yeah. And then that's a much better position to be in. These are the Fiskars rotary cutters. Uh, they're not geometric. Yeah, these Ooh, are the floral ones. Different from earlier. There's the floral ones, yes. We've got oh, geometric and floral. You had the geometric earlier. These are the floral ones. So basically, the bias is a 45-degree angle across the fabric, so the two different grains, which you do a bias because it's going to go round corners. If you do straight, it wouldn't go round the bends of the yeah, armhole. It's and got the a nice stretch in it, particularly when it's light cotton like this. No, no, I have to, you have to stand back. Joy told us, say, Joy, you know Joy, expert Joy? Yeah. She did a, a show on rotary cutters and things like that. So we were doing, and I was standing here, and she went, move away from the table, John. So now every time somebody gets the rotary cutter, I have to step away from the table like that. In case until you go... they put their... <laughs> Yes, exactly. I won't. Right, okay. I won't be doing that. So I'm going to use my... What are you looking for now? Uh, dissolvable pen. Or that lovely... Where's pencil. that lovely new pencil? Because I know I need 20... 24, oh, 24, 24 now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 24. It's twice the width. Yeah, so it's a 12 millimetre. It's a 12 millimetre finished bias binding. So what I'm going to do is just put a mark that gives me a line to eye that up with, because this okay. is just imperial, isn't it? Sorry. And this is metric. So I know I need a metric measurement for the binding. Yes. And this is imperial. Yes, so I just right. did a nice little mark there and then I can, again, I'm going to move that around. <laughs> <laughs> so that way, and then I can see my yes. line Yes. But basically, there. in the old days, so before you cut that, but in the old days, before we did all this, and oh, we haven't got a piece of fabric, I'll show you on this one. In, what we're in, is, in effect, what we're doing is you're taking the the straight of grain, and you're taking it across like that, mm -hmm. and you're cutting yeah. diagonally. Have you got, did you get that, Michael? 
there, and you're cutting diagonally across the fabric like that. Mm. Okay, right. Hayley's saying, this is, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Hayley is our production manager. I think, is that your title? Yeah. And because uh, producer Hannah, who I normally work with, is away in Cuba on holiday, and little Paul's asleep in bed, um, Hayley's producing for the first time today. And that, because she's watched her show, I want to buy that, and I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to buy that. She's going to buy rotary cutters, and she's going to buy a bias binding maker and the ruler. You do need tools, but you have to make something, Hayley. You can't just buy it and leave it at home. Even Hannah's made a makeup bag and a kimono oh. for our holidays. Did she, she make the... it? Yes. Brilliant. Well, I did wonder. Well, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what fabric it was she used. Right, look at this. Look at, see how to make the bias binding. So it really helps to have uh, the angle on yes. the end when you feed it in. Just hang a sec. Hang on. Right, so you just Wait. feed your bias bind through it. If it gets stuck, you can get a pin. You see the slot in the top? Oh, there oh, he goes. You see the slot in the top here? Mm -hmm. If you... F Sorry. If your fabric gets stuck there, you just get a pin and you can just pull it through using a pin like that. But as you can see, it automatically curls and turns into a bias strip, uh, into the bias binding, as you know, with the two bits that go across like that. Uh, there are different sizes on the website. If you want bigger ones, they're on the website. That's the smallest size we do. Now, what I did with that was to measure the curve of the pattern. So, if that's the pattern piece... Oh, to, you want the uh, pattern piece? I always... Well, I can measure it on here. Okay. I always make the binding a bit longer than I need. Right. Because it's much better to trim a bit off than think, oh, I need yes. to add a bit in. So, I cut about 60 centimetres. Right. So that there was plenty. And that has a join in it. So I joined the binding and then right. the join happens before you feed it through here. Yeah. Or you can do what I do, just make reams and reams and reams of it and just put it on a piece of cardboard and use it as you need it. Yeah. But then that's wasteable, isn't it? Uh, waste if you don't make too much. The book, make it... Oh, where is it gone? Make it, own it, love it. Uh, I was looking for the graphics, not for the actual book. Now, it is 1995. Now, all the patterns for these are in there. You just have to download them. But the book's brilliant because it's got all about alterations, how to make uh, trousers short, how to let waistbands out, how to make a long sleeve blouse into a short sleeve blouse, how to make your jeans into shorts and things like that. Look how easy it is to make this bias binding then. As you just pull the thing through and you follow it on with your hot iron. And I'm making sure that that is in alignment as well. Yeah. Otherwise you end up with a bigger seam allowance. On one side. On yeah, one exactly. side than the other. And having the sole plate near where it's dispensing, if that's the right word, yes. <laughs> helps. Because if it's further away, it's got time to, to be less accurate, again, yes, hasn't exactly. it? Brilliant. Now, I have pre -made. So the whole project's been quite simple. I'd say this was the most difficult, one of the most difficult bits. Yeah, it's kind of, of the finishing system. touch, I think. Yeah. Now, this piece has a join in it, which, similar to earlier on, mm -hmm. I was describing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It looks... When people first do it, they kind of want to move things over because that's it's one of those things that your brain tells you it should be in a different position. Yes. So I've joined it, and it's amazing how that kind of disappears, yes, isn't it? Yes, because it's on the diagonal, isn't yeah. it? It's going with the flow of the grain. Yeah. But those corners need to be removed because then that will make it less bulky. And then I like to have... The binding. I'm just smiling because Hayley said, oh, is she, is she joining two pieces together? The whole, this whole section is about joining two pieces together. If the fabric was wider and I'd had more, I would have done one whole yes, piece. Yes, exactly. But as it works out with the lay plan, the way the pieces are on there, yeah. it's best, or is the only option really, is whoops, oh. to um, 
for the neck and the armholes is to join pieces. And the neck is quite a wide, round neck. Yep, so uh, um, uh, I'd measure that and, again, make more than I need. Yes. Not masses more, but just, you know, a few centimetres yeah. more. And also, um, if, uh, if, you had more, if you're making this at home and you've got more fabric, it's just a bit cost-effective to make it shorter because you can waste a lot of fabric by cutting yes. right the way across the uh, ream of fabric, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go with the bias binding. So I like to have the join just beyond that seam at the back because right. it's kind of the least noticeable place. I mean, it's inside anyway, yes. so it's hidden. Yes. But particularly if I'd done sort of binding like that where it's... A different fabric. Visible. Yeah. I like to have that join under the arm, but slightly to the back. And the other reason for that is we don't want too many layers crossing over each other. We've yes. already got a French seam, so I don't really want to join on top of that as well. Okay. Because that would end up being a lot of layers of material. Okay. We've got about six minutes in total. So I'm going to turn it that way around. And that's our bust start, so mm -hmm. I know that's our back. And I don't tend to do much pinning. No, not with bias binding. I just yes. put that under a slight amount of tension, but not stretch it. And the stay stitching that I did before should be within the seam allowance. Of course, but if yeah. it's not, it can always be removed afterwards. So I'm following the curve. just taking it really steady and keeping those raw edges together and sewing in the crease. Yes, so it's like, it's like you've got, when you have shop-bought bias binding, it's already got those two creases in it, so yeah. you've just made your own kind of shop-bought bias binding. The fabric is beautiful, isn't it, for this, pro this kind of project, because it's going to be, I mean, you can wear it all year round, but a lovely summer top, and when it gets really warm outside, and that, that summer breeze and everything, it's just going to move with you. Being 100% cotton, it's going to breathe as well. So I've gone over the shoulder seam, which is um, pressed to the back. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. I've got confused. I, I, like I was saying earlier at the beginning of the show, oh, you've got the tomorrow's menu ready as well, Hayley. Um, uh, what, if you go, you know, if you're watching on the watch page on the website now, right, uh, you can see there at the moment the graphics must be in for the book, right? But if you scroll down the page, you see all of that. There's all the, everything we've shown from the rotary cutters to the scissors to the bias binding maker. There's the fabrics there. Um, and uh, all Mandy Shaw's uh, kits are there. The ones, I think some of them are sold out, though. Oh, it's just, is it just the mouse there left now? Are there the others gone then? The others been taken off. Okay, then. then you've got the spot on fabric there as well. So you can see everything, and that's just literally below where we are now. Now, um, if you think you've missed anything, you just click on them and pop them in your basket. Make sure you check out that. So I've sewn all the way around, right sides together. And then I want to put in a diagonal join. Okay. So... It's become so much more three-dimensional. Yes. You just have to kind of fold everything out of the way. And then fold out those so they're open. And I started and stopped there. So we want to make sure that joins together there. It's quite yeah. fiddly, but yeah. we're worth it. <laughs> so I'm going to be sewing. Where's that lovely pencil? Uh, uh. I'm going to be sewing from there. Does that show up? Yep. In a line to there. Okay. Just a little hiccup then. Sorry, <laughs> that funny noise of me doing a hiccup. <laughs> and then when we open it out, it should have a nice join in it, and then we can fold that in and fold that in. Okay. How are we doing? Time? You're all right. You've got a minute or so. Right. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. So you do the same for the two armholes and the neckline. Yes. Keep so. And then, and then a hem. And then the hem. And you... then it's done. But did you bind the hem or did you hem no. it, hem it? I've turned it up uh, six millimetres and then about 1.5. 
So just a neat, a neat hem. No raw edges, double fold. Yeah. Uh, this is number 20, 20, this fabric, isn't it? This is number 20, this fabric that you're seeing on your screen right now. One and a half metres in the bundle for £25.95. Remember, you only pay one PMP no matter how many items you've bought all day. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there's three different frou frou fabrics. This is number 20. That's number 21, the one that uh, Jennifer's using. And then this one here. It's number 12. Who's that from? Do you, why are you not sending them through here? No. Don't worry. Uh, somebody's just messaged in saying, watching you sew is like reminding them of their sewing exam at home. It's very school, very oh. precise. No, no, not bad. Not a good thing, because it's all very precise and perfect. Oh. I well, don't know who it was from, It though. should be fun, too. Do what, what? It should be fun, too. That's oh, important. no, no, they're not saying it's boring. I know boring. sometimes I look really serious, because no. I'm concentrating, but the, it the should techniques. De definitely be fun. Erica, that's it. Now, Erica, look what you've done now. No, I'm just... I think... There it is. Oh, it's, oh, it's that Erica, my mm -hmm. guess. Jennifer Stone, remind me of my dressmaking exam at school. But you meant fun as well, didn't you, Erica? Oh, Matt Chapel won the 2015 sewing bee. That's from Anne it's in Cheshire. That long ago already. Whereabouts in Cheshire, if you might? I've been up in Cheshire this weekend. I was Eaton Hall this weekend. Got a question from Sandra in Wiltshire. Is there a knack to rolling the seams for pressing? Uh, steam helps, or sometimes I have a mister spray and just roll it between finger and thumb, and that's the key, like that. Oh. 20 seconds, that's suddenly come around. We've got 20 seconds, we've got to go. Look at menus tomorrow for tomorrow very quickly. Classic cloth clips, chocolate, cha 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 cha, just making John's Fabric Finds Part 2. Um, I'm ever so sorry, Jennifer, thank you ever so much. You're in tomorrow though, aren't you? Yes. We've got to go. I can't even do my roundup. Bye bye, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you, Jennifer. Sewing Quarter is at the very heart of sewing as we bring you all things sewing and quilting. The team behind us live and breathe sewing day to day. We strive to bring you exclusive offers, exciting live demonstrations, and most importantly, we will custom cut fabric to your specification in our very own cutting room. We will also be bringing you TV exclusives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So come and join us today at the Sewing Quarter. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter. Quarter.